What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Spring Game Showcase Live, presented by Kinda Funny and The Mix. Thank you, Barrett. (laughs) For the next six hours, we have more than 14 amazing video games brought to you by Kinda Funny. Hi, I'm Greg Miller, and of course, The Mix. Hello, Justin Woodward. What is poppin'? What's popping? It's going to be a crazy week, dude. It's going to be a crazy day. I'm more excited about the day. All right, let's get through this, everybody. Nobody pay attention to Billy and Dan yet. We haven't introduced Billy and Dan. Don't worry about them yet, all right? So much good stuff coming. Of course, yeah, of course. uh, This is, you know, what, part two of the Mix Kind of Funny partnership. We did the Spring Game Showcase taped on Friday. Yeah, Amazing time. Thank you all for supporting it. So many people wish list games. We can't tell you enough how much that helps these developers. Of course, that will be the message today. But on Friday, you all came out. So many people watched, too. So 12,000 at one point on Twitch? Good Lord. Like around over 600,000 people, I think, have watched the the VOD. I appreciate that. It's nuts. But so so much great support. Thank you guys for coming out, for sure. Uh, Of course, like I said, this is just part two. On top of that, the mix slash kind of funny is tonight as well. Talk about that, Justin. What's happening there? We have 60 games at the Terra. So some of the games that you've seen here, some of the games that you've seen uh, on Friday, and it's just going to be really fun, like industry folks, press, devs. Just getting visibility for all the, the devs. I have it on good authority. Gina Garcia will be there, so go hug her. Yeah, um, and on top of that, then taking over the SF MoMA. Yes, the MoMA, the white box. We have 13 games, so... It's really cool to to have games in a gallery. We've never done that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Museum really cool. of Modern Art. That's pretty cool. I'm yeah, say yeah. Some it's, yeah. it's gonna be a really sick time. Yeah, this has been a sick time already. Of course, it's GDC, so there's gonna be all manner of developer through here around San Francisco at the mix and everything else. We wouldn't be able to do the spring game showcase without thanking our sponsors. So <laughs> if you'll excuse me, <laughs> thank you, Zai, United Negro College Fund, PlayStation, Raw Fury, Maximum Entertainment, Hype Train, Noodle Cake, Planet of Lana, Xbox Developer Acceleration Program, Freedom Games, Indie Angels, uh, Ravage, uh, Ravenage, Screwed it up. I got it there. <laughs> it's in the end, uh, Neon. Well, it's because when we were doing the tape version, yeah. we, we had a long conversation. Wait, is it Raven Age or Rav- Raven Age? Yeah. Raven Age, I'm sorry, but there you go. You got your name said five times. Neon Doctrine, Astro Lab, and of course, Willin, uh, Will, Wilson Sunsini. 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 Another yes. one. I spelled phonetically on the page, so I didn't screw it up then. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsors, of course. Or, I'm sorry, our supporting partners, our broadcast partners, uh, IGN, GameSpot, and Twitch. We couldn't do it without you. But today is all about the developers. Ladies and gentlemen, so please welcome to the stage, even though they've already been here, Billy and Dan. Hello. Hello. Billy, you're a young lad, a little boy. Little boy. You look like Harry Potter. I'm sure you get this all the time. A few times. Okay, yeah. cool. Actually, I was Harry Potter <laughs> for Halloween when I was 18 years old, so I was. that's when I realized. That, that must have killed it. That must have been I amazing. Could, I could be Harry Potter <laughs> if I want. And then I had a job where I worked at a, a middle school, and I was like... um intern at the time making games and all the students are like you're harry potter <laughs> <laughs> Wait, darth, dewey, darth dewey says greg he's a guest haha <laughs> hey we're gonna we're gonna call it down the middle you're come to kind of funny you know you're gonna be called out if you look like harry potter i'm ready it's a good look i'm not it's a, it's a, for the record it's a good harry look potter is fine okay. as a character yeah of course as a character yeah, as, yeah. don't get me started don't get me started on the other aspects wanna, all right <laughs> no, I'll, I'll break out the soapbox right dan how are you i'm doing great how are you i'm great dan this is your you are a rare Triple crown winner. Yeah. You have been to the literal spare bedroom we started kind of funny in, the comic book shop, and now the real spare bedroom. Yeah, we were, we were talking just before this uh, this broadcast here about like way back when, when you first started kind of funny, I was like there working on Axiom Verge of originally. And Mr. Yeah. Hap, what's up? And yeah, I will I will tell him you say hello. Yeah. Um, was that for one? Axiom Verge wow. won, so, yeah, yeah. so I had just okay. left Nintendo right at around the same time you left IGN to start kind of funny. So we were kind of like all like we're doing the corporate it. world, and we're yeah, we're in the you know we're doing the indie life thing, and <laughs> here we are, like God, nine years later or so. Yeah, nine years. Yeah, you know that. yeah, 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 and we're yeah. still both. We've survived. We've done somehow. Yeah. <laughs> we continue to survive. But it's not about us. It's about Billy. Billy. It's about Billy. Of course, your studio is called Shared Memory. Yeah. The- your game is called Animal Well. Yes. I feel like it needs no introduction, but as Kevin throws it up on screen, what is Animal Well? Because oh I'll tell you right now, this is one of those games everybody flips for when it pops into a showcase. Yeah, for real. Oh, that, that, that's good. There's pressure. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> uh, so it's a game that... Uh, I really didn't have, <laughs> like, 
I didn't talk to anybody about it when I was making it, so um, it just kind of is what it is. And then when I was working with Dan early on, I was like, how do we how do we pitch this game? And yeah, like, and it, the, it's it's it kind of defies genre categorization. So like, there's like Metroidvania elements, but it's there's there's like no combat. So okay. it's not really a typical Metroidvania. There's also you know, puzzles in the game and ARG kind of things in the game, but it's not like a puzzle platformer either. So kind of like Billy said, it is what it is, but if you like Metroidvanias, if you like platformers, if you like uh, games that make you think um, and look for lots of hidden secrets, this will be, this will be the one game. for you. Yeah. Okay. We'll start it up, Dan. Show me what's up. Right. So how, just, I got a question. So okay. how long were you in development before you went full force? Like this is, I'm going to go into this game. Cause you know, we, you know, yeah. we, we make prototypes and all mm. kinds of stuff like that. So this was always like a kind of an after work hobby project. I started in 2017. Um, it's just like, uh, I was building the game's engine along with it. And, um, and it was just kind of like the project I would go to after work, like to to just like have fun in and like add whatever ideas that like I didn't that I would want to see in the game that uh, um, sort of didn't have the freedom to my like day job. What was your um, day job? Um, at the time, I was working at this uh, like medical video game startup. Um, we we're trying to make like doctor games, but they're more like kind of like interactive PowerPoint presentation. Oh, okay. <laughs> just like, Why is it every educational game has got to stink? You know what I mean? Why can't we figure it out? So I like, it. Um, yeah, and they were like mobile games. And it's just like, I was, I wanted to make, you know, just a good old real real video game and do everything like the, in the purest way I could and like kind of have a place where I'd like no corners were cut and like it felt it was just like the purest representation of what I thought of video games. Well, okay. this is a real game. Yeah, yeah. jump yeah. in, man. Show me some of this. All right, so we'll yeah. jump right in. Remember, so ladies and gentlemen, drive. throughout the day, the biggest thing you can do is go to Steam and wish list all these games. There is a QR mm-hmm. code in the wide shot, I believe, Kevin. Is that where it is? Uh, where people can go on and get to. And if not, we have it. Yeah. And one thing uh, we should announce uh, or, or call out is yesterday we announced our official launch date, Ooh. which will be May 9th. So nice. that is hot off the presses. Yeah. We just announced that yesterday. So. Congrats, guys. Thank you so much. I know it's rough to get to that point. Like, uh, are we confident enough to get (laughs) to put an actual date on this? Yeah. 8 a.m. Central time. (laughs) (laughs) Mad specific. (laughs) Listen, this is where you got to, but you got to turn this key. (laughs) You got to eye on this one developer. (laughs) I'm sure Dan is like, are you sure? (laughs) Oh, we've had that conversation many times. I love it. This game is like the ambient side of it. It's so gorgeous. There's a little bit of lag in the controller, so I may not. So if I suck at the mm, game, it's we're not because I haven't played sure, it for like sure. hundreds of That's hours and know exactly That's what. Hold on, oh, give, and those. There you go. No, there you go. Kevin oh. did it right there, so now oh, you're set. Go. Oh yeah. Now you're uh, set. Uh, like, now you have no complaint. Yeah. No, All right. No if he, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if Dan dies, it's Dan's fault now. That's what you need to know. Okay. Yeah, it's super responsive. I, I'm sitting here. Here, I can vouch for, for yeah, that. He's like <laughs> looking at. He's looking at your thumbs. You know what I mean? He's like. So, uh, so right here, um, this is like the first decision point you have where you can go either left or right. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't matter because you will have to go the other way eventually later. Um, so I don't know, Billy, if you want to narrate while. All right. So, yeah, so there's that, that ghost thing, um, that just scared you away. Yeah. So I'm going to save, save so I yeah. can, uh. I can go back and get killed by it. <laughs> yeah, so, like, yeah, the first time playing, like, you might not know, like, oh, what does this thing do? Oh, I'm going to turn this crank, and then, oops. Oh, yeah, thank it you. It killed me. You're on there. Uh, you know, I didn't see Kevin yelling yet. When yeah. Kevin gets up, and when he stands in the window and looks at Billy, that's when I know he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Justin, just so you know, you've been getting away from oh! that a little bit. A little bit. Oh, oh, look at that. Latency. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, there was uh, an escape. Uh, path that I could get um, in the left side, upper left side of that screen. So I took that route and come out over here. Mm, press that button. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'll press that. Oh, what? <laughs> and, and what happened? Yeah, there was a, a light on the door on the oh, left. Interesting. There. I see two other 
possible lights that aren't illuminated yet. Yeah, and I see two buttons. How should I get? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is kind of like an intro, like tutorial without being a tutorial mm. area. Yeah. Um, so it kind of um, forces you to learn the mechanics, um, and without like just saying like. Hey, come over here. Press this button. Um, so, what are some of the mechanics like, mm. like that you start off with? So the pressing buttons. Um, yeah, so pressing <laughs> buttons. Uh, it's, the controls are very simple. It's um, just left and right, and then you um, A to jump, and then later on we'll find some items. Um, but one of the kind of mechanics—I don't know if mechanic is the right word—but like one of the elements of the game that's kind of special is. There's lots of, like I said earlier, a lot of hidden secrets. And so one of the things in this kind of intro area that it forces you to do. So like I, I use this crank to um, raise a platform to come over to this side. And now I can't get back. Oh. So I have to discover that there's a little secret passageway here. And so we've seen, you know, when we show the game at PAX and, and at the Mix and other places like... People might spend like, you know, a good 30 seconds trying to figure out like, well, how do I get here? And then once they see like, oh, if I go through here, yeah. then that's like their cue to be like, okay, I need to Look keep there. an eye out for any of those little secret passageways. Sometimes they think the game is bad and they're soft locked um, in the tutorial, but... Yeah. You're like, no, you're, like, no, you're just bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, trust me, there's something to find. <laughs> No, you just suck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember if you like what you see, ladies and gentlemen, kindoffunny.com slash mix. That will take you to the Steam page. You can wish list this and all the other games you'll be seeing today. So I just got the first item here, a firecracker. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. Are those all firecrackers? Right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, these they grow from the ground. Yeah. Oh, nice. Just like real firecrackers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so there's another of these ghost things that killed me before. And now I have firecrackers, so now I know that if I throw a firecracker, I can, you know, try to use that. And sure enough, that got rid of that ghost. So now I am armed with a firecracker, and I can. <laughs> You're the most dangerous man alive. I can go alive. back to that area and show that ghost what's what. <laughs> He's already dead, man. Like <laughs> <laughs> He's up on it. <laughs> Those, those effects are sick, too. Thank you. Yeah, right. Billy, do you want to talk about, like, the lighting effects and fluid sims? And here, I'll just, like, show the real-time reflections and, like, oh. the platform there. Sure, that's why you fell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is um, literally why. Oh, no, sure I was down. Uh, yeah, here, yeah, you can yeah, see. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, it's been just, like, a, a lot of iteration and work to try to, like, take pixel art and make it look, I guess, fancier and see see where I decided early on that I was, like, I'm not going to go for, like, the sort of authentic, like, 8-bit yeah. uh, pixel art look. Um, you want to stylize it a bit? Yeah, and so see, it's like, lighting. okay, let's just embrace, like, modern computers and see, like, what kind of pixel art style can you come up with where you're just fully leaning into, like, doing more graphics effects on it um, and still make it look like pixel art and kind of maintain some of the, like, restraint that, you know, it has. Sure. Uh, so there's a lot of real-time lighting and shadows um, that are kind of custom made for this game. Um, there's some like a fluid sim that's driving the smoke effects you just saw with the firecracker. Um, yeah, like, and you did all the art. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. The game is just, <laughs> just me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just me. What's Madison's deal then? Madison is my partner that <laughs> I'm dating. Oh, uh, so, okay. So it's just supporting, just support. Helps a lot with uh, coming to shows like this and, um, yeah, it's just a very good and, person. And she's awesome. also an indie developer in her own right. She uh, made a game called Birth. Oh! Um, which uh, yes. was a um, pretty successful game. So that launched... Madison! That launch? <laughs> I was like, Madison, come here! Six <laughs> months ago. <laughs> come here. So, yeah, come Birth in. is awesome. So shout out to Birth. Yeah, come in, yeah. This, yeah. Come in the scene. Madison, where can people get Birth? You're going to need to talk into a microphone. Here. You can get Birth on Steam.com or on um, the Nintendo Switch store. Ble blessing, I screamed Madison. That doesn't sound anything like He's Blessing. That's how these employees are kind of funny. They know. I'm sorry. Back to you, Madison. Greg shouting. Xbox.com. Also, it's on there. Go to Xbox.com. <laughs> Wait, is this spelled Birth like? 
like Greg Burr, like, like yeah. there's no use extra use. No. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> I see, you know, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, be careful when you Google it. Yeah, yeah. Don't, I would not recommend Googling birth game. <laughs> Just go to. Ex <laughs> yeah, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now <laughs> I got it. You should do it. <laughs> it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> He's actually doing it. There it is. Went, it it's you. Up. Okay. Oh, You're more great. popular than birth itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You show up in the search results at the top. Madison, how proud are you of Billy for Animal Well? Oh, I'm so proud. It's the best game. Okay, good. It's good. the very best game. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Madison. Yes, thank Thanks you. for letting me drag you out here. <laughs> okay, so back to yeah, Animal yeah, back. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop promoting the other game already. <laughs> now, always happy to give a shout out to Birth. Yeah. Um, so here I, you know, came across this weird looking uh, uh, dog thing and there's a disc so i will take that mm, that looks haunted sick. you better get out of this room y'all know i love ghosts you got me a ghost <laughs> you can't hit him with firecrackers let's try um, it does nothing <laughs> run he likes the firecracker more than than you so he does cause me damage. He doesn't insta-kill me like the ghost did, but... And he travels across screens, which is kind of a... Terrifying. Yeah, yeah it is pretty, so pretty scary. I don't expect to be broken. So you know what? I am going to give back his disc, and I will figure out what to do with that later. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll put this back. Yeah, We're cool, yeah. and uh, I'll see you in a little bit, Ghost yeah, Dog. He, he doesn't seem to like... People taking his his disc. Understandably so. so. Yeah. I'll just head over here. So I'm gonna ask a really stupid question, Billy. Mm hmm Like, you got the ghost dog, Metro Union, you know, there's no weapons lost. Like, mm -hmm. is there what drove the idea for this game? Was it a story, a mechanic, and then how do you figure out how to put stuff like the ghost dog in it and all this other stuff without, I'm sure, giving away your narrative and overall of what's going on? Yeah, I think um, a lot of the gameplay mechanics are kind of come from like old survival horror games. Like, okay. Uh, just kind of um, like you see certain moments where the game kind of like tricks you or um, it's like take making like a puzzle, but you, it's like how do you make a puzzle scary? Yeah. Like how do you um, sort of blend, like, take, like, adventure game stuff? Like, I'm thinking of, like, the original Resident Evil or Silent sure. Hill, where it's like... Can you can you tell us a moment that kind of... Sure, like, out? yeah, like, one example I can give is, like, uh, <laughs> there's, like, in the original Resident Evil, there's, like, a uh, art gallery you go in, and it's, like, a color puzzle where you're, like, trying to, like, shine the right color on the right, like, painting. But, um, and that alone is, like, like kind of a basic adventure game kind of puzzle but there's like all these crows <laughs> watching you the whole time and if you do it wrong they like attack you oh. <laughs> so, um there's actually kind of like a reference to that uh in this game um oh that's cool. and or like uh yeah i thought it was like in a metroidvania you like are kind of collecting these items but so like the ghost dog you saw i thought it'd be interesting like where it's like what if you can like collect an item but you can't like have it right away you can almost like you get teased with it and you could take it but uh you're kind of like it comes with this big cost um yeah. so it's like <laughs> you're okay how do i how do i actually get this item for real um without getting like haunted <laughs> in the game um so i like i'm trying to the game is just like filled with these like interesting i think moments and there's always like a there's like a little um sort of narrative behind all of them not in terms of like the game's plot or lore but like uh it, like each one is like sort of has a setup to it, I think. And who are these guys? All right, so that's a, a dachshund. <laughs> that is Hell yeah, scary. it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the like... difference between them and other dogs is they were bred to burrow into holes wow. and, and hunt, hunt the badgers, the the, the things, <laughs> the rabbits or whatever. Wait, that's real. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you know, um, kind of funny fans know that I have a long history with dachshunds. Obviously, I'm on my second one now, but like. That was the thing, you know. I, I mini dachshunds every time, Portillo and now Cole. And I had a friend back in Missouri who told when he I, when I got Portillo, who told me a story of like his dad was walking his miniature wiener dog in the woods off leash, and he was like, 
the most pampered wiener dog like <laughs> yeah are, you know what i mean just lounging and uh, here comes the the portillo emos in chat thank you very much <laughs> and uh he was going and he saw there was a badger that came out and scurried down its hole and the mini wiener dog took off down uh -huh. the hole and the dad just heard the yip and the and he's like, oh, my God, this badger just killed. Our, and, and sure enough, 30 seconds later, the wiener dog came out with a dead badger. And it's really? Because, like, that's wow. what they I are programmed. the badger killed the That's dog. what the dad thought. Because, oh, okay. I mean, it was yeah. just, like, this fat little sausage dog that sleeps on the foot of their <laughs> yeah. bed. You know what I mean? Like, But, like, they're bred, like, so yeah. in, ingrained in their head that that's oh, what Oh, that's really doing. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy when, when a dog is, like, bred to be good at one specific yeah. job. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Genetically okay. modified. <laughs> yeah. Bred to be this, yeah, like, to have a this thing will fit in holes and get things out of holes. That's great. Yeah. So speaking of of you know those animals, there's uh, a bunch of different animals in the game. Um, so here's here's just some examples um, right here, and we'll come across some more. Um, but That's cool. since we were in that room, I wanted to like pause there and just point that out. Um, this is a little puzzle where you have to kind of adjust these. That's that's awesome. To uh, fill the cup here. Mm. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. And this is the bubble area. It's like bubble bobble, you know? That's awesome. No pressure, Dan. No pressure, Dan. <laughs> Thousands of people watching, Dan. No pressure. Don't worry about it. You're on IGN, it. GameSpot, it. Twitch, Steam, yeah, YouTube. The, the fish down there, they were bred to blow those bubbles. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indefinitely. That's, that's, real that's, that's from real life. That's, yeah, that's a real thing I researched. <laughs> Bubble fish. Don't they do it? They do have those. They like, make bubbles around like spiders. Uh, have you seen those? Those fish? That sounds familiar. But... I haven't seen that fish. <laughs> that's that's terrifying. terrifying. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when you die? Um... Question I've been wondering a long time. You you, you you respawn and you lose some of your stuff and some things in the world reset. Oh, okay. But um, puzzles that you solve, like pressing these buttons, they, they're persistent. So That's great. I, I I realize it's not fun to solve a puzzle two times in a row, um, <laughs> but it is kind of fun to maybe do like some platforming or like get past an enemy multiple times. Um, so finding, it's kind of a finding that balance of the save system works, took some iteration. Yeah, so if I die, though, I would just teleport back to that telephone. Um, so I'm totally anticipating speedrunners will, like, deliberately kill themselves to, like, to go back, teleport back, back yeah. to some other place. So I'm interested to see different uh, speedrunning strategies incorporating that. Uh, in the chat, Crushed Lemons said, this game looks great. I've already added it to the Steam wish list. I'm adding this part. Kind of funny.com <laughs> slash mix, of course. Uh, but are there more games coming up in this showcase? Of course there are. We have more than 14 games over 16, or I'm sorry, six hours. 16, Jesus. Uh, 14, more than 14 games over six hours here on uh, whatever platform you're watching us on, whether it be IGN, GameSpot, Steam, Twitch, uh, or YouTube. Thank you for your support. Remember, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends right now. And of course, go to kindoffunny.com slash mix to wish list all the games. I've said this before. But maybe you're looking at some of these games you're like, well, I'm never going to buy it on Steam. I'm going to buy it on Switch. I'll buy it on PlayStation. I'll buy it on Xbox. That's all well and good. But you're a gamer, so you have a Steam account. So go wishlist it all the same. It helps out devs a lot, right, Justin? Yes, for sure. What does wishlisting do? It shows interest, right, mm -hmm. I guess? So they have an idea of what's happening? Is that the idea? Also, it helps with the algorithm ah. on Steam. So it starts to push it up to the top. So there you more go. people see it. Also, Ladies and gentlemen, then, game the system with us. I don't <laughs> care where you <laughs> buy Animal Well. I just want you to wish list it on it's, Steam. You got to build a community, too, yeah. right? You get, yeah. That's a big part of it. You want it, They want to like touch the community. I don't know why I said touch, but yeah. you, wanna, <laughs> you really want to yeah, engage you wanna with, go, yeah. <laughs> we gotta, with you Ask everyone to go touch Animal Well on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so I just got, and I, I kind of just went through this, like, first kind of what I would consider a boss battle, um, probably a little too easily because I've, I've played it once or twice. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so the first item I got here is a bubble wand, which now I can produce the bubbles that the fish produce, mm -hmm. and I can use them to nice. get around the world. That's fun. Yeah, so all of the items uh, that you get are basically, like, either household items or toys or, like, so the things that you wouldn't normally expect to get 
in like a Metroidvania, for example. There's no like, now you get the super gun or you get the double <laughs> jump or yeah, yeah. a mid air dash. The Slide under the wall, dash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 I love all these dashes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like more traversal uh, options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, the way I think of it is like for, you know, a Metroidvania, it's like there's like a, if to the extent there's like a spectrum between like combat heavy versus exploration heavy, this is dialed all the way to exploration. It's all about like, not just like moving around the world, but like, finding hidden stuff. So for example, in this room here, like, um, and we were kind of talking over it, so I don't know how many people notice, but these things here, the thing I'm standing over is a fan that will, will blow me up, um, like lift me up. Um, and usually there's an on button that I need to find and I'm not seeing one. So if I like look down here, these ones are on cause I press that button up there, but that, obviously didn't control this one. So I've got to figure out, well, where is the button? And now that I'm an expert in the game, I know like, oh, vines often hide these mm. kind of secret oh, passageways. Okay. You got that waterfall back there too, you know? Yeah. So good water effects always. And all all these like interesting background effects. I was, on, yeah, like, I, was like, <laughs> I was looking at the starfish. It's really <laughs> cool. Like, yeah, thank you. They want to get you. Oh, really? Is that? Yeah, it looks like they are trying to. Or, I, I don't know. It's like they're drawn to light or something. <laughs> you made the game. <laughs> I don't want to give it away. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Bad, mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what that little dude is. Mm. Right. That's oh, that's a mystery. A that creepy, uh, huh? on May 9th, you can totally <laughs> find it. <laughs> <laughs> on what platforms, Dan? Uh, Steam, PS5, and Switch. Remember, you can go wishlist it on Steam right now. Help out Billy and Dan and by Connection Madison. Uh, if you go to kindoffunny.com <laughs> slash mix, wishlist right now and do that and get ready for Animal Well. Uh, we're about out of time. Is there anything else you guys want to show? Do you like I, some I think that's about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this is a good place to leave it. Um, okay. yeah. But yeah, thanks for the shout out. Um, definitely yeah. hope people Thank you guys. wishlist it and buy it and play it. For sure. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. And we're very happy to be here. Thank you again. Well, hang out all day. Don't go back to GDC. Okay. There's nothing cool happening. <laughs> there. I don't all even the cool people through here. I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay here. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the start of our shenanigans here uh, for the mix slash kind of funny spring game showcase live uh, of course we will be going through more than 14 games uh, a whole bunch of good times developers coming in for interviews and of course why not have a good hype package here or there so while we reset for our next thing i want to kick it over to this one which is a collection of really really cool trailers take it away what's up the mixing kind of funny let's take a look at some exclusive gameplay from our digital tabletop role-playing game tales of fablecraft Awesome adventures need awesome loot. GMs can browse items in their inventory panel, drag and drop them directly to players who then equip the gear on their side. Remember heroes, don't go anywhere without your lucky fish. Players can create their perfect character build using abilities from three combat styles. We recently added talents too, powerful passive buffs that give players an edge. We've dialed up the drama by bringing big monsters to the battlefield. Meet the Malevolent Ooze. When this oversized, acid-spitting slime is defeated, it splits into four mini-versions of itself. And watch out for the Tide Maw. This colossal creature slams more tentacles onto the battlefield each turn, ready to snatch up heroes for an afternoon snack. More thrills await. Add Tales of Fablecraft to your Steam wish list for an epic TTRPG journey.
a fated group of three and their links to 100 heroes' destiny. Those who chase dreams, those with goals all their own, all their hopes and dreams will find form in this new home. Looking good. Setting their differences aside, their love for their home brings them together. The top is expressing the very trajectory of life. Let's do this. For now, this is all that I can see. What's that? You wish to know the fate of these heroes? <laughs> Surely you'd rather learn that for yourself. Come, our tale cannot start without you. Hi, my name is Lucas and I'm half of Lobo Saga's studio, the Brazilian team behind Gurei. Gurei is a 2D action platformer about fighting a diverse cast of boss enemies inspired by Japanese mythology. Here's the twist. Although you need to defeat all bosses to complete the game, you can fight them in any order and their power will be scaled accordingly. Here I choose to go for the Red Kami first. I'll be losing this fight to show you how the system works later. If the player struggles on a boss, they can choose to go for another one that wasn't yet defeated, as long as there is still retries left, of course. After beating a boss, the player gets a unique skill. In this case, it's the bow, a long-ranged weapon. Now, let's keep going. This is the difficulty for Orange Kami. Right now, we've got both the shield and the bow skills. In the final game there will be 10 different bosses, skills and difficulty levels. That's a lot of possible combinations. Remember the first boss that we tried to defeat? We are going to face it again, but now its power will be a lot bigger. Thanks for watching so far and enjoy the fight. Video games are cool, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. It's me, Greg Miller, and just me, Greg Miller, here as the stream rolls on. Remember, of course, you're watching the Spring Game Showcase Live, presented by The Mix and Kind of Funny. Thank you so much for being here and supporting all of these amazing independent developers that once again need your help. You can go to kindoffunny.com slash mix, and you could go wishlist all these games. And like I said in the last segment, but maybe you're just getting here, even if you're not going to buy it on Steam, wishlisting helps spread the word, uh, get eyes on the thing, build the community. You should do it because it helps these games and every click 
quick counts for an indie. Now, one of the things I did see in the YouTube chat was all that juice saying, I feel like game showcases like this get it happen all the time with no announcement. Where have you been? Where have you been? All that juice. Because when, when, when we did Kind of Funny Day, we announced the partnership. And then <laughs> all, all last week on Kind of Funny Games Daily, the number one daily games news show, we promoted this and talked about this. And I tweeted about it. And the mix tweeted about it. And Kind of Funny tweeted about it. And so you really have to look at yourself, all that juice. Brush the Cheetos dust off your chest because you haven't showered in three days. Go look in the mirror and say, what is wrong with me, a.k.a. all that juice, that I didn't do it? Kind of funny.com slash mix, please, to go do that. And you know what? To cool down, I'm going to thank all the people who made this possible. All right, the sponsors that made this possible. Kevin, put them up. All right, I don't want to hear about all that juice anymore. We're going to thank our bronze sponsors, uh, the Developer Acceleration Program, uh, Wilson Sonsini, Astrolabe Games, Freedom Games, Neon Doctrine, Indie Angels, and one that went away before I could read it, Kevin. Well, <laughs> do it again, Kevin, and cut it real quick. Me and Kevin are working this out. Because, see, I didn't. I put all the sponsors down in a fun written format to start the show, but then Kevin, I didn't sync him up with his images. Toss it back up, Kevin. Ravenage, that's who it was. Went too fast. All right, get the bronze sponsors off there. I don't want to see them anymore either, Kevin. Kevin, put them away. I don't I want to see the I explained to you, it doesn't work like that. Kevin, I know that you like to just make things happen, all right? You got all that juice has got me all riled up. Put up the, put up the next one. Give, give me silver sponsors. I'll go faster. PlayStation, Raw Fury, Planet of Lana, Hype Train, Maximum Entertainment, and Noodle Cake Studios. Thank you for sponsoring this event. This is amazing. I love that. Now give me the gold sponsors. <laughs> this is a fun stream. Gold sponsors. Oh, it's the UNCF. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Of course, that is the United Negro College Fund. Thank you. And is there platinum sponsors? They, oh, gold sponsors. Zai. Thank you so much, Zai, for your support over here. And that's great, too. Love that, too. Now we're just experiencing the stream together. Are we done, Kevin? Or you let me know. Yeah, I, you nailed it. You I nailed wrote him down. Time. But you I didn't write him down. Thank you so much, Kevin. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of nailing it, let's nail some more games. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have some more fun and do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we are going to be joined right now uh, by some friends from Hype Train. Uh, what happened there is, of course, uh, they are abroad. They're not actually NSF for GDC. So the one and only master of hype, Snowbike Mike, and Christmas in March. Joey Noel sat down with them earlier last week and recorded this. That's right. We're here with Ivan Bell from Hype Train to show off four brand new titles coming your way. Ivan, congratulations to you and the team. Cannot wait to talk about these games. Why don't you tell me, what are the four games we're going to go over here during this segment? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, we are uh, showcasing four games, which is currently in development uh, from Hype Train. And uh, first one and uh, the most ambitious project is Vivaland. It's a live scene. Uh, with online co-op up to eight players and uh, also we're going to showcase gatekeeper which is a top-down action roguelike uh, with online as well and uh, um, besides that uh, it will be escape from ever after it's a great party-based rpg inspired by paper mario series and it's like hilarious it's very fun and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's great and uh, the final one will be down the dungeon it's a, a turn-based roguelike game, and uh, what makes it special is that you play with dice, not cards. Very mm -hmm. exciting stuff. Four games, Mike, Joey, Ivan, all get to showcase for you right now. We're actually going to kick it off with a live demo of Viva Land. Ivan, you were talking about this is a life sim that you can share with your friends. So let's get into it. What is Viva Land for everyone as Joey kicks on our live demo? Yeah, so uh, just to mention that uh, currently uh, the game which is available for free on Steam, it's just a build mode, uh, which you can uh, try building your dream house in solo or with friends as well. And uh, uh, the game itself is uh, in the middle of uh, development. It's uh, uh, being developed by Studio High Five from uh, Budapest. And uh, yeah, they previously worked on a popular Sims 4 online co-op mod. Uh, and so it became the foundation for their own game. 
And so it started like a more realistic live scene without uh, uh, like all that crazy stuff uh, that you see nowadays in the scenes. But uh, after a while, we decided to bring even more uh, uniqueness to the game besides online co-op. So we decided uh, to put more emphasis in what uh, I believe uh, currently uh, missing a lot in live scenes is just making uh, careers and business in the game more interesting. So I kind of decided to merge two genres, uh, live scene and uh, games like Stardew Valley, farming scenes, uh, management games. And well, we realized that uh, it's a great thing because it works well both in solo and in online call. So just imagine that uh, you have your home restaurant and uh, yeah, you may want to ask your friend to help you in the kitchen or as a waiter and uh, also, uh, he or she might get uh, another unique uh, career, maybe an engineer, so that uh, your friend can influence uh, your house as well with uh, some upgrades, etc. And uh, all players will uh, bring something special to the town and uh, it will influence on everything inside the town. Wow, Ivan, that is a lot going on and very exciting stuff because you have the two biggest fans of Life Sims here at Kind of Funny getting to talk about this game with you. And yeah, you talk about the uniqueness and that's what I'm very excited about. You you said a lot there. There's a demo out and available right now. You talked about careers and making sure that is fun and engaging, but also I love the flair of multiplayer. That is really interesting to me that me and my friends can move into a small town and share this experience together how does that work? Are we all playing at the same time? Can I share my world and people can come in and create a house with me? What does that look like? Yeah, so uh, one player is like the host, the main one. So everyone else joins uh, to the main player. And uh, you can either uh, have your own house in the town or uh, decide to uh, be a part of uh, uh, someone else's family and uh, build together. And even though you have your own house, you can still uh, go and visit your friends and uh, build together and pull up and just chill out. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and uh, regarding building mode, we also tried uh, to make something special there and uh, make it uh, more interesting etc. And for example, uh, you've already tried this. We have dirt walls. This is so exciting. I was like, I don't know how this works, but we're going to make it. Obviously, I wouldn't have walls like this in my normal house, but it's just fun to play with. Like, <laughs> I love all of these, how like highly customizable it is. It's a little, yeah, I am also, not good at playing and talking at the same time. And there's a lot of fun things in this. <laughs> yeah, I also think that uh, it won't be possible to uh, build something special just like in 10 or 15 minutes. You need maybe an hour, right? Just uh, to have uh, an idea and uh, try to create it uh, in the game. But still, uh, it will be fun to play around. And uh, yeah, another thing which is uh, kind of unique and cool is that there is uh, right now you see the grid right mm -hmm. but uh, you can also uh, use the gridless option so that you can put all objects or walls just whenever however you want i love that i feel like with a lot of sim games especially when you're either building or you're putting things on the walls you're limited by that like whole step or half step placement and you're like but i want it centered over the bed and it's not centered over the bed so that's very exciting for me um, let's see what else we've got over here. Click on objects to destroy them. Oh, so if I just wanted to, meh, I don't like this wall in here. We've got that. Ooh, maybe we, maybe we see a little nighttime. Yeah, I picked the go. lakefront property. I wanted some like woodsy trees, but also look at this like beautiful, beautiful view I have. I'm not, this is just the streets, not as exciting, but I love this lakefront option that we have. Um, what else do we got? Snap elements together. Oh, another beautiful option that we have here. 
locked camera, all this stuff. Oh, I'm very excited to get into this. I feel like uh, the idea of being able to play a sim game with other people, I feel like that's always a little bit tricky in how it works. But the fact that we would get to play as like a restaurant or different jobs within our world is very exciting. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, we live for the job sims. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, Ivan, let's talk about the career paths. Of course, we're showcasing the building right now. That's what they'll get to experience in the demo. But there's so much more to this. Of course, we'll talk about creating our own characters in just a moment. But let's let's jump on that career path because you talked about highlighting that and how much fun that can be to get a little more depth in it. So what can players expect when we talk about careers and jobs? Yeah, so... Uh... Most likely, Viviland is coming out in early access later this year. And uh, this means that uh, we will uh, start with uh, a smaller amount of uh, most uh, like interesting and uh, most fun uh, jobs. And uh, it will be, uh, right now, I believe it will be farming, uh, restaurant business. But it can be, it's up to you. It can be either a huge restaurant or just a, a cafeteria. It's up to you. And there is no need to progress to a Michelin star restaurant <laughs> in the end. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, also to the engineer, just because uh, it creates uh, kind of a lot of uh, opportunities to collab with other people. And uh, it's also, up to you how you earn money being engineer because you can uh, start repairing cars for example or just helping other people in town that's what i want to do i'm gonna be person for hire just pop into everybody's world okay okay put me in charge of the kitchen let me run the restaurant i i agree i don't think i'd want like a michelin star restaurant maybe like a fun little diner i like that joe Something that's like that. very exciting ivan uh, of course coming into early access means that there will be more over time and it is cool to see you guys highlighting of course you brought up farming you brought up engineering you brought up running a restaurant it will be exciting to see what more this team brings out and what kind of careers we can get lost in and have some fun ivan let's talk about creating a character of course we're showing this off but you know a big thing about this is representing me making my unique character and bringing it into the world what kind of fun can players expect when they get to create a character yeah so uh it's still early in development and we're trying to figure out uh for example how realistic we want to go with uh, uh characters and um right now we feel like uh we should concentrate on the career path, so it will be the main thing for each uh, uh, character in the game. And uh, maybe it will uh, even be interesting to have a, like a true family business, so that uh, you'll have a father who is uh, like expert in the restaurant business, for example, so that uh, his growing uh, child We'll start not from the ground, but uh, have some background and maybe like the coolest kitchen, even though he's uh, still young, uh, etc. Wow. Okay. That's pretty exciting stuff. I love that. Passing down the family line of being a sous chef and a cook in there. Uh, Ivan, showcasing this game, of course, we have the build mode available right now. What should players know if they're excited about Viva Land? Can they play now? Where can they find it? And what can they look forward to in the year? Yeah, so uh, currently the Evil and Dream House is available on Steam for free. And uh, we are bringing it to Steam Early Access, uh, the full version, uh, later this year. All right, look forward to Viva Land. You can jump in to Dreamhouse right now. Make sure to wish list all of these games that we're showcasing today to support the devs over on Steam. But let's switch gears. Let's jump into our next game because I got a trailer to show you. I'm sorry, Joey. You know that I you'll lose me forever to this game, so we gotta <laughs> we gotta keep moving. Let's move on to our next trailer and showcase Gatekeeper. Now, Ivan, as we take a look at this trailer, what is Gatekeeper? So, uh, Gatekeeper is an action roguelike game. It can be played in solo or online co-op up to four players. 
and uh, some uh, people may say that it was inspired uh, from risk of rain which is uh, kind of true uh, developers really enjoy risk of rain and spend like hundreds of hours there but they decided that they want to create their own experience based on what uh, they feel uh, game is uh, missing and what uh, community wants so i would say gatekeeper is very community driven you can uh, check uh, pre-version on steam as well right now it's called gatekeeper infinity and uh, the player base is quite huge there already and it's uh, very fun to play and spend several hours uh, while you wait for the full game which by the way is coming next month in early access on steam Ooh, wow, that we don't have exciting. to wait very long for this one. Yeah, this one looks rad, and this looks right up my alley. I love these roguelite experiences right now, and I love sharing them with friends. So when you get it in a co-op experience, I'm all about that. I mean, chasing your best run, getting a fresh new perspective on different abilities and perks is always exciting to me. Ivan, when we look at this, you talk about community-driven and the devs working hard on this. What can we look forward to on kind of abilities and different fresh takes on new runs? Yeah, so we have different modes like arena, etc. And we're trying to make uh, each uh, ability unique so that you can create different builds and styles. And uh, one thing I just want to mention, which uh, kind of basic but uh, interesting at the same time, is that top down is not just the, the view of the game, it also uh, kind of the easier way uh, to get into the genre because it's easier to aim and also uh, I believe uh, on later stage when we'll be bringing the game to consoles as well I just uh, really uh, looking forward to see it uh, with local co-op as well just so that you can play on uh, one uh, like as a couch co-op game because it feels it will be great that's awesome. Yeah, it's always great to gather all your friends on the couch to be able to play local co-op as well. And I love the top-down twin stick shooters of yesterday. It's all the fun and all the rage. We're looking at some of these perks that are being able to be given to add some effects. Can you share some of the different effects that you liked when you were playing this? Yeah, so uh, I guess most uh, my favorite one is that uh, you can uh, use after aim bullets so that you don't need to aim <laughs> Ooh, that is a perk for jelly <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one right there of course talking about the runs how long can we expect each run what kind of bosses can you tease us with and what we'll encounter and see yeah it will uh different different uh, it will be different in uh uh different uh modes for sure uh but uh I would say we are targeting for like uh, 20, 30 minutes for each run. I love that. That, that is <clears throat> perfect time right there to sit down with some friends, get lost, get hopefully a, a good complete run and then go back to it again. Uh, you talk about these game modes. What kind of game modes are we talking about besides just the normal kind of start, run and move forward on the next one? Uh, yeah, I would say Arena is kind of different because it's uh, a bit more of like our defense thing. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what what we start. But uh, I guess uh, we may bring even more different modes in the future. Well, that's Gatekeeper, Ivan. People can play it right now. There is a demo available, and they can look forward to it just next month. What can people find over on Steam? What's the name again? Uh, the free version is called Gatekeeper Infinity, which is available right now on Steam for free. And the Gatekeeper will be in April um, in the early access. All right, very exciting. Let's move yeah. on to our next title, Escape from Ever After. This one's got me very excited. A cute art style, a fun little, little genre bending one right there. And uh, I think an art style that everybody's going to latch on to. Ivan, what is Escape from Ever After? So, Escape from Ever After is a party-based RPG. It's uh, inspired by Paper Mario series. 
And uh, why I really, really like this game is that it makes fun of corporate culture. We love that. Uh, <laughs> and basically, in the game, Mega Corporation takes over classic fairy tales to use freelance, to use cheap labor, etc. And uh, our hero, Flint Butler, decides that there is only one way to fight back, and uh, it's just to join the corporation and climb the corporate ladder. I love it. We infiltrate <clears throat> from the inside out to take it down. This art style looks incredible. I am a total sucker for anything that's storybook based, especially something like this that has a really fun twist on that. Um, I is there? Do you have like favorite characters that we get to see? Any fun teases? See, we, we have got a wolf. Is that like a big bad wolf going on? Yeah. Um, I guess my favorite one is uh, Dragon. And uh, the game starts that uh, Lind Butler is uh, going to the castle to fight the dragon. But uh, both of them un realizes that uh, it's under corporation right now. So uh, two enemies decide to work together. And Ooh. it will be your first teammate uh, in the game. I love this. This looks so fun. I've never played Paper Mario games, so I feel like this is going to be maybe a new adventure for me, but I am very into everything that's being shown here. It's got the art style. It's got yeah. the fairy tales. I think this is really going to resonate. I'm excited to see the fairy tale side of it. I know we're yeah. talking about the mega corp, but I love the tie-ins of the fairy tales. That's some of my favorites. Yeah. In Later in the trailer, we were seeing maybe what looks like a little three little pigs situation going on. Oh, nice. Got some pigs in a house. <laughs> this looks really fun. Um, also, and, uh, I would like to give a shout out to the music. The music sounds really great. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's true. And uh, story is not the only part that uh, makes it uh, really fun and uh, interesting. Fights are uh, also very deep and rewarding because each character is uh, unique and uh, the same goes for your enemies. So you have to adapt uh, your strategy for every battle. Ooh. That's great. I saw some character customization, some different cute outfits that we're going to be able to put on our party members as well. That's awesome, Ivan. I love seeing that. Yeah, and uh, it's coming early next year. And just to mention that it's being developed by only two devs. Oh, my gosh. Ryan and Daniel. And uh, I just want to mention how great they are because <laughs> when uh, we first have tried Vertical Slice, before signing the game and deciding to work together. It was the most polished one I ever checked uh, uh, among other games considered by Hype Trade. Wow. Uh, congratulations yeah. to those two hardworking devs out there. I'm yeah, making an awesome sure. one. Two people. That's it incredible. Jumps right off the screen. That one's going to grab your attention. Make sure to wish list every title we show to you throughout the day to help support those devs that are working so hard. This is an exciting one coming away from Hype Train. That's Escape from Ever After. Let's love, jump into a whole... Love that this is coming to Switch, too. I Ooh. feel like this is a perfect little handheld. Do you have any information? Do we know if this is going to be Steam Deck compatible? I see it's also on PC. Yes, for sure. They call out Joe. Handheld, love let's those go. Handheld games. <laughs> let's jump into our fourth and final game that we're going to showcase from Hype Train. It's Die in the Dungeon. To tell you more about Die in the Dungeon, we have Gabriel from the Otico team. Hi guys, uh, I'm Gabriel. I'm part of the Attico team. We are the developers of Dying the Dungeon. And today we're going to talk a bit about the development of the game and some of the ideas behind it. Uh, so right now we are mainly working on the map system of the game. This is something that uh, players are, has been asking for for a long time because uh, they want to have more decision making, more uh, autonomy during their runs and it's understandable. So we are fine tuning these systems at the moment and we are trying to make it feel unique while also being a vehicle for players to experience battles. The project started in 2021. Uh, back then I was uh, obsessed with Slate the Spire. I was playing every day and I knew when I was uh, starting the game jam that I wanted to do something similar. Other members from the team were having similar experiences 
and the end product was actually pretty good for uh, what we expected. It was like not working at all until we added the board, we added the dice, they were interacting between each other and suddenly everything was working in the last few hours on the game jam. So it was like a really nice feeling. Uh, after that, we were surprised because people were asking for more almost on a daily basis. Uh, they wanted to have more dice, they wanted to have more enemies, more everything basically. And we have some experience with previous game jam games, but none was even comparable to the amount of people asking for, for more content for the game. So uh, what started what, what really started as a as hobby turned out to be like a project that was our passion project basically. Uh, it was growing stronger and bigger and it reached a point where we were actually asking ourselves if it was the right time to maybe find like a publisher or someone to get funding and go all in with the development of the game. Okay, I'm going to try and explain the basics of how to play Dine the Dungeon. The game plays really similar to other games in the genre, but instead of playing with cards, you use dice. Uh, each of those dice use or well represents a different action, like attacking, blocking, healing, and other more complex ones. The idea is that you use a board to place the dice and you can combine them together to fight enemies. Well, the most important thing in the future for Giant the Dungeon is obviously the release of the game. Uh, we are working hard to add new mechanics and uh, new content for the game. We not only want to add the obvious elements like new dice, new enemies, new uh, uh, characters obviously, uh, but we also want to explore and see how deep really the systems can get because I think uh, we all think that those are the variables that really add uh, long-term support for a game like this. Uh, it's especially important because uh, role like the building uh, games are usually the ones that player uh, play the most. They play for thousands of hours, so we want to make sure that even before having like lot of lots of content, we have a system that is uh, deep enough and also expandable enough. Well, I'm gonna end this with uh, a few things. Um, the main thing is thank you for everyone that played the game, played Dying the Dungeon, either the classic version or Origins. Your feedback has been like uh, invaluable. Uh, I'm really happy to see so many people actually playing something that I created. It's like a has like a magical sense to it in a way. Um, I guess the other thing is that um, just stay tuned and wait for the release that is gonna happen as soon as we can. And uh, thank you, thank you for seeing the for watching this video. Three out of the four titles shown today with a demo, a free version out right now that you can go check out. Of course, reminder: wish list all of the titles you see throughout today over on Steam to help support those incredible devs that are working so hard. But Thank you again, Ivan, for joining us today and showcasing four new games coming from Hype Train that players can look forward to. Of course, now let's jump back to the live stream. Oh, Mike and Joey. They're just great, Tim. They're so good. I love them. Welcome back, of course, ladies and gentlemen, to the live segment of the Spring Game Showcase live. We'll be live the rest of the way here. We just had to make sure we supported Hype Train. Right. Remember, if you saw stuff you liked then or are going to see stuff you'll like later, Go to kindoffunny.com slash mix. That'll take you to the Steam page where you can wish list all the games. And I can't stress to you how much wish listing these games helps these amazing indie developers. So go do it. Uh, it's a similar thing, Tim. Mm -hmm. You know, how much it helps the indie devs, how much it does all these things. Yes. I'm all about helping people. Please help you know everyone I mean? you can, Greg. And that's how what I try to do. Well, I'm going to set the record straight. Okay. Pretending to listen in the YouTube chat said, crazy how Greg has all these PC devs on his showcase. Mm. Is he a sleeper agent that really knows? knows how bad console is 
Here's what you need to understand pretending to then leave. I'm, I'm leaving. Then I'm leave. Leaving. Here's what you need to understand, all right? I will support all of these independent game developers because eventually they will be purchased by PlayStation or Xbox and they will make the things I want to play, all right? Right now they're making all these great games and you know what you PC players get to go do? You get to go beta test them for me. Thank you. You can go there and have the frame rate that doesn't work right. You can go there and find out it stole your AMX information. I don't want to do that. You're beta testing for me. I digress, ladies and gentlemen. This, of course, is the Spring Game Showcase Live, presented by The Mix and Kind of Funny. Of course, go wishlist all these games, kindoffunny.com slash mix. Right now, let's see another amazing montage of games before Tim and Justin talk to Limited Run Games. The game that exploded on IGN. Welcome to Primal Planet the best Dinovania since 20,000 BC. In this vibrant world, you experience a thrilling blend of Metroidvania, survival, crafting, and action-packed adventures. And, of course, dinosaurs. Dive into the life of a cave dweller, embarking on a mission to protect his family. In this world, adapting isn't just a challenge, it's a way of life. Utilize the planet's rich natural resources to craft the essential tools, weapons, and mixtures. With each item, you're one step closer to mastering the art of survival. From humble beginnings in a cave to becoming the last hope of a planet teeming with life and danger, there will be many challenges on your way. Are you ready to embrace them? Step into a saga where every moment is an adventure and the strength of family binds everything together. Wishlist Primal Planet now on Steam. In a long time, Michael.
Welcome back to the Spring Game Showcase Live. Of course, I am Tim Geddes. I am repping kind of funny. We have Justin Woodward repping The Mix. The Mix. And we're joined right now by Josh repping Limited Run Games. Hello, everyone. This is really exciting. We're going to talk all about limited run games. But first, I want to let you know that if you're liking what you are seeing for this stream, we're showing off 14 games over the next six hours. Thank you guys for supporting. But if you want to go above and beyond, you got to check out the QR code. You can go wishlist the games on Steam via the QR code that will be popping up on the screen right there. There it is on the front of the desk. So go check that out. Wishlist the games. It really helps the devs out and allows people to keep making cool games. And you guys have more stuff to play. But... Enough about that for now. Josh, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I'm a big fan of limited run games. Big fan of your jacket. We got the jacket squad Thank right you. here. Yes, yeah, we've all got fantastic popular. jackets here. Can <laughs> people buy that jacket? Is that available? So no, this jacket is a one of a kind. Well, wow. actually three of a kind. Okay. Like three of them, but you know. It, it's it's exclusive. Exclusive. I yeah. like that. I like that a lot. Very limited, limited it's run. a limited run. It is a limited yeah, run limited. jacket. Yeah. Yes. For somehow, if people out there do not know what limited run games is. Educate them, please. All right. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, right as, I'm, right as I'm taking a swig of water here. Uh, so Limited Run Games, we're a direct-to-consumer physical game publisher. That's kind of our bread and butter. But we do a lot of other things as well. So to, to get more into that, what we basically specialize in doing is taking games that are only available digitally and then releasing them in packaged forms for consoles so that people can collect and love and cherish these games that they played and enjoyed. Because, you know, digital... Ownership is kind of like, you know, it's a license. You don't really own your digital products. You can lose access to those at any time. But if you really love a game and want to know that you can play it in 20, 30, 40 years, you know, the only way to really know you can do that is to have it physical. So, you know, that's where we step in. We give people that choice of ownership. But recently we've been getting a lot more into publishing original content, you know, bringing back retro games through our carbon engine technology, which is an emulation engine that we made in house or, you know, working with a lot of awesome indie developers to publish their games or reviving classic games in remastered form. So, you know, we're really getting our toes into a lot of other areas and aspects in gaming now outside of just the physical releases. I mean, I think a cool aspect to that is like two examples being Rugrats and Pentiment right now. Both of them are mm -hmm. uh, available uh, for sale, but Pentiment being a game that is, I mean, it's a brand new, like modern game that you would, uh, can only get digitally, but because of you guys, you can now actually get it physically yep. as well. Yep. But then Rugrats uh, being a, a brand new game, retro styled and influenced, but you can not only get it physically, you could also get an NES cartridge physically, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, you know, I worked with Justin and his team on Rugrats and, that was an amazing experience because uh, it, it was with a developer who I've known since 2001. This guy was a, a big animator on Newgrounds, you know, old website, old internet. People will know mm -hmm. this site. Uh, he made a show called Eskimo Bob, and I was a big fan of it. And I knew he liked NES games and hacking them. And Justin was like, I'm looking for somebody to make NES games. So I put them in touch. That and, you know, yeah. that first game was Jane Silent Bob Mall Brawl, sick game. And then uh, he moved, went on to do Rugrats after that. Justin, you know, had this idea of doing a Rugrats game. And it cannot, I cannot stress how good the game is. It feels like, you know, a lost NES game from like the end of the lifespan when everybody knew how to use the console and everyone was awesome. making their best possible game. You got to shout it out. It's out. I mean, you can, you can pre-order Yeah, you right can pre-order it right now at <laughs> LimiteDRunGames.com on, you know, an actual NES cart, but also in modern formats for Switch, Xbox, PS4, PS5. So, you know, pretty much anywhere you want to play it, you can. And then Real with, yeah, go for it, Justin. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, you, you're extremely passionate about like, collect game collecting that kind of thing i think it was really you came into san francisco and one of the first things you did was yep. look for games can you talk, talk a little bit about your yeah so you there? know anytime we travel for any event with limited run whether it's going to las vegas for the dice summit or san francisco for gdc the first thing we do is actually go around to retro game shops in the area so you know we visit every retro game store we can we you know, buy things for either the office library, which is, you know, my collection, which is a fancy name on it. Um, <laughs> or, uh, or, or we just kind of look around just to see what kind of, you know, games are popular right now. It kind of helps keep me in the know. And, you know, I, I just, I love game collecting. I always have. Uh, so it, for me, that's kind of the, the fun first thing to do for any conference is go to all these game stores. It's a good way to help me, you know, 
get in the right mindset for you know what lies ahead yeah man i, I love that and it, what i think is really cool is like obviously there's the the idea of the collecting of it all there's the preservation of it all but something like rugrats where it is a game that you can switch between modern graphics and the more retro style things it being like an authentic nes game uh, in one way yeah. right the emulation of it all you guys are talking about this uh, the carbon engine like you want to talk about that a little bit about like what that actually is and why it's yeah important. so with Rugrats, it's not one of our Carbon Engine games. You know, Justin actually, you know, they've got, that's where the asset swapping technology comes in. You know, they've got yeah, that over at the mix, out, which yeah. is pretty incredible. Uh, but at Limited Run, we've developed this Carbon Engine technology. And the whole point of that is to really reduce the barriers of publishers being able to re-release their old games. Sorry, I'm starting to just stutter because I'm trying to get over this fast. But, you know, there was this research report that came out from the Video Game History Foundation that 87% of video games are no longer available, no longer in print. And the main reason for that is it's really expensive to re-release old games. And most people don't want to bother with it. So we wanted to create technology that would tear the barriers down to doing that so that we could go to our partners like Konami and say, hey, you've got Rocket Knight Adventures. There's no way you're ever going to spend the budget to re-release Rocket Knight Adventures. Can we do it for you? And, you know, when we're going to them and saying, can we make this for you? Can we do it? It's such an easy discussion because then they're like, we don't have to put any investment in it. Yes. And that kind of tears those barriers down and starts making it easier to get these games back out. That's how we get Gex, right? That's how like, you get Gex. Gex is back. Like, Gex what, is what back, other everybody. What examples of games that are using the, uh, the carbon engine? Uh, so we have done a couple. So we did the original Shantae with WayForward. Uh, Shantae was this Game Boy game that when it released, it was ignored. It was the end of the Game Boy Color life cycle. So it sold like 5,000 copies. Wow. And it had gone on to become legendarily valuable, like $500 for a cartridge. So we were like, this is the first game we'll re-release. So we did that in Carbon Engine. I didn't realize that was the first. Yeah, oh, that was the first one we awesome. did. And then after that, we did a, we took a game that only came out in Japan called uh, Kunio Kun. It was one of the Kunio Kun games, River City uh, Ransom. Uh, and it was the debut of the two girls from River City Girls. They showed up in that Super Famicom game, never came to the U.S. So we translated it and then brought it to the U.S. for the first time through Carbon Engine. Uh, after that, we did Jurassic Park. So we did the awesome. Jurassic Park Classic Games Collection. And with that one, it was pretty tough because we had to go to all the various parties that had made Jurassic Park games, Sega, Ocean. And then we had to go to Universal to get the license and then connect all these dots together to re-release this game, which is uh, kind of a Herculean task. Nobody thinks about this, but like you got to get Steven Spielberg to approve all this stuff. And wow. just think about like, you know, Steven Spielberg then versus now, you know, these games are so not representative of actual <laughs> Jurassic Park, yeah. right? Like <laughs> one of the Sega games, Grant rides on the back of a Velociraptor. It's <laughs> like, not, you know? so it's like, you got to convince the IP holders that like, there's a reason to bring these games back. And thankfully we were able to do it. And those like Sega Jurassic Park games were so influential to a lot of people. Like yeah. they sold tens of millions of copies. So Getting to re-release that was this huge thing for me, and I think a lot of people who were fans of those games. Uh, and we've recently announced that we're bringing Gex back. You awesome. know, like Gex trilogy. Makes me very happy. Uh, Gex was huge in the PS One day, so it's kind of crazy to think like, how has Gex not come back yet? Like, it, twenty million copies of that game sold on PS One. Are you digging through the three DO stuff? To, did, uh, yeah, did so you go straight to? We 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 went straight to PS One because it's kind okay. of the uh, <laughs> it's kind of the the like the main version of all three yeah. of those games. Yeah, the N sixty four version of Gex sixty four has some like uh, extra levels, so you know we're gonna see what we can do to try to incorporate cool. extra content, but. Uh, we're also looking at the Game Boy games. So there are two Game Boy Gex games that we may include in the package. Um, but it, it struck me as odd that Gex never had to come yeah, back is, before yeah. this. How? How has Gex not come back? I, I don't know. So you talk uh, about Shantae, the, the Game Boy one. Yeah. And uh, there's also Shantae Advance. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So uh, with WayForward, we found out that there was a Shantae game that had never come out. It had gotten to about 50% completion. And it was just kind of sitting there for almost 20 years untouched. And I brought up to Matt, you know, maybe we should revisit this. And Matt is the creator of Shantae. And he was super excited about this idea of getting to go back to this thing that they wanted to make so much back in the early thousands and just never got to make. So we funded it, which it was actually really expensive to fund. Like it was not a small project to bring back. It's, it's you know, a full budget game 
being built for the Game Boy Advance, which is pretty so it was fifty percent done, and they had to like come yeah they had to they had to go back to that old code base. So they're working off of the original code base that was started when the Game Boy Advance was still available at retailers. They went back to that, and they're building it with all the original tools and all of the original wow. software. Okay, so it's pretty crazy to think that is that. Like really we, crazy. We have literally revived this game from the dead, and then that's going to also be distributed. Yeah, digitally, so through through Carbon Engine, platform. we're going to bring that multi-platform to everywhere: Rad. PS5, yeah, that's sick. Switch, PC. Yeah, so we're we're pretty excited to bring this back. So then, in addition to that, there's the LRG digital publishing uh, efforts that you guys yeah. are doing, where like that's a kind of like brand new games that like you're putting forward, or even things like this. It, it, would this count the Shantae? Advance yeah, I mean, th- what I like to do with our digital publishing stuff is I like to do the things that nobody else will. So you know, if WayForward had gone to any other publisher and said, "Hey, can you give us?" Uh, a seven-figure budget to bring back a Game Boy Advance game, they would say, no, you're crazy, go away. We would never do this. But I am crazy enough and stupid (laughs) enough, maybe, (laughs) where I'm like, yes, I want to do that because we want to do the things that nobody else would dare to do. So among that, we remastered the worst game of all time, Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, Uh uh, because that just felt like something nobody else would ever dare to do. What, what it, can you talk a little bit about that game? Because I think a yeah. lot of people, it, I've heard of it, I don't know what yeah, it is. I mean, so yeah, it's did. an interactive uh, PowerPoint presentation, basically, <laughs> that was sold as a romantic comedy. Awesome. Uh, it was for the 3DO. And on the 3DO, as opposed to Nintendo platforms, uh, nobody was checking the quality of the content. You know, as long as you paid your... $3 licensing fee, you could put the 3DO logo on your game. So like, in a sense, it legitimized any game that was coming out on the platform. And things that were this bad were able to come out on the 3DO. You said and $3, I th- is that real? It was, like, it was like $3 for your licensing fee. <laughs> Versus <laughs> Nintendo, where it was like, you know, not only were they checking your quality, you were also giving them like 15, 20 bucks it or whatever. It was office. like crazy. Yeah, it was all like, kinds of gr- yeah. there's a lot of stuff. So the barrier to get on 3DO was so low that like anybody could release something, which is what resulted in this game. And our release of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, you know, we didn't just say, let's re-release this game and you know, spruce up the images or whatever. We produced uh, three hours of documentary content to put around it That's to kind cool. of contextualize it because you know, it didn't feel right just re-releasing the worst game of all time. Like uh-huh. That just felt like a <laughs> really dumb thing to do. It was like, we, we have to explain why we're doing it and that's what the documentary content does. And we put in this like Mortal Kombat crypt style mode where you, you know, it looks like an old screensaver from Windows 95 called Plumb the Depths. And that's where you unlock all the bonus content. So you play through the game, you get plumber bucks, which allow you to unlock the extra content. So you're taking some of the worst games ever made, trying to add some context to make them them good or, yeah. or, or have value now. Which, yeah, and, and what's what's great about that is we got our first numbered review for Plumbers Don't Wear Ties last week, and it was a 7.5 out of 10. Awesome. Which is great when you consider PC Gamer gave it a 3 out of 100. You know, that was the original <laughs> review score. That is, yeah. That is incredible. So that another infamous game series uh, for people are the, the Zelda CDI games. Yes. And yeah. y'all are doing something really, really cool with this game called Arzette. Want to talk about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Arzette and the Jewel of Faramore, it's out on Steam, Switch, uh, Xbox, PlayStation. Uh, It is basically the prompt for this game is, what if the Zelda CDI games were actually good? And it successfully pulled that off. So if you look at the Steam reviews right now, you know, we're sitting at overwhelmingly positive. Awesome. Uh, 97% of reviews are positive. Uh, It's been really well received and the people who've played it love it. it really, I think, successfully player. accomplished that thing. It looks like a <laughs> CDI game that was just lost. Yeah. Uh, and the gameplay in it just like, turns it into this very satisfying Metroidvania. And if you just saw, we also reference Hotel Mario a little bit. There's a mini game that is, wow, you know, Hotel Mario. So <laughs> it really digs deep into these uh, CDI <laughs> uh, heritage and love. So are you finding success with this? Like, are you finding that like the audience is, is willing to, obviously they want the physical games. Obviously there's the collector side of it that has been working for so many mm-hmm. years, but like, are you seeing people are latching onto this idea and like the, you're making these crazy decisions. No one else will like, are, are the results there for you? Yeah. So far they have uh, plumbers was, you know, massively successful relative to what we actually put into it between, you know, what we ended up having to pay to get the rights to the game. And then, what we put into actually remastering it, it has, I think, like 10x the investment. So, you know, that worked out, which was pretty incredible. 
Uh, and then RZ is also, you know, it's already recouped the development budget. It's already crossed well beyond that. So uh, the other thing with RZ is when we announced it, we got so much love, so much uh, excitement on social media. It was like, I think, 14 or 15,000 likes on that initial trailer when we posted it uh, back in the summer. Uh, so Still. there's definitely demand for this. And I think right now with the kind of current state of the industry where everything is so saturated and there's so many games coming out, like you really have to do stuff that make people ask like, what the hell is this? Like, why does this exist? You've got to elicit a response like that. And if you don't have a really strong, unique selling point, I feel like it's just so much easier to get lost in the crowd. And you jumped in with this like night trap. You did a like, yeah, the, mm, yeah. rendition of night trap. Did How did you get started it with like, the CDI, 3DO. Like the FMV kind yeah, of stuff? Kind yeah, of stuff. so, uh, I mean, I've always been fascinated by it. I mean, I was there, I think we were all there when multimedia games were kind of the soup du jour or whatever. Like, everyone was like, let's create these movies that you can interact with. And uh, there was just something interesting about that time period to me because people were doing weird stuff that they would never do now. Like, Todd Rundgren made an interactive album that was like an infinite album for the, for the CDI. And uh, nobody's doing that stuff anymore. I want to see Marky Mark in the funky. Yeah, part. make my video. Uh, <laughs> Sega CD. I actually own remastered. the rights to that now. So like, I, 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 if I can get guy. <laughs> if, if I can get Marky Mark on board for it, I can actually do Yo, it. It's just, he, just how do I get Marky Mark to say yes? Would there is there a world that exists that the Zelda CDI games have any chance of making a comeback, or is that just out of the realm of possibility? I mean, I feel like so Seth, the developer of. Uh, RZ, he actually, the first thing he ever did before he made RZ was he remastered both of those games and he made them really good. They're really fun, his versions. Uh, so if there was ever an opportunity to do it, like the versions exist. And what I love about it is it's, it's a redemption arc. Everyone loves a redemption arc, right? Like to get to see those games and have them actually be good. I feel like there's just something really satisfying about that. Everyone, they're the, they're, a punchline right now and they have a chance to like escape that and i think that would be a really cool story if it could happen totally i have a feeling that that'd be dope i have a feeling that nintendo will never allow it <laughs> but <laughs> it would be amazing if it could because i think these games have redeemable qualities to them the the animation is actually like as weird as it is, it's so satisfying to watch because it's so alien so and weird random. yeah 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 it's like it's great. It's got a charm to it that nothing else has. You got Scotty Pippins. Like, oh, yeah. There's some, Slam City with Scotty Pippin. There. Yeah. There's some good games there. You're right. <laughs> uh, so we are, we're low on time here, but uh, is there any final things? Like, what would you recommend people go check out at Limited Run Games? So we put up new pre-orders every single week at LimitedRunGames.com. I would recommend that uh, if you're not already following us on social media, do that because we announce a lot of really cool stuff all the time. Uh, sign up for our mailing list and just check limitedrungames.com every single week. See what we're offering up and pre-order the things you like because everything is available for four to six weeks and after that it's gone. So, Fantastic stuff, Josh. Thank you so much for hanging out Thank with you. us. Thank you for having me. Uh, we are going to keep talking about a whole bunch of games. Remember, wish list everything you're seeing. Go support Limited Run Games. Pre-order some stuff. Rugrats looks awesome. You know, Might as well do that. Pentiment's there. Great times for everybody involved. Um, but yeah, we will see Thanks, you bro. later. Are you gonna, I'm going to transition over to the next group of people. Kev, do we know where they are? No. That's fun. That's real fun. So we're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to keep hanging out and yeah. talking to you until <laughs> someone else comes here. Josh, you had some uh, French toast. You want to talk about that? I had some very good French toast. Filled up my stomach. I yeah. feel like I'm going to explode. So mm -hmm. if you notice this stomach here during the stream, I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> I ate way too much at breakfast. You like had no, center. I, 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 just, I had no chance to like you know figure out a better shirt situation to hide this. You look so great. Like, whatever. Fantastic all right. You know, stuff. It's all good. Anyway, here they are. All right, we're gonna transition out here. Everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us here. Hang out with us all day, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube or anywhere. Thank you for your support. Wishlist the games on Steam. I'll be back. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go through the mist real quick. Sneak through the... Take a photo yeah. of yourself. Are we, are we playing it?
Okay. It's cool. a co-op game. We want you and George to play. Oh, okay. okay. I can do that. <laughs> they didn't want me to play with you because they knew I'd break you. What the heck <laughs> is going on, everybody? It's your guy, Snowbike Mike, and my best friend, Andy Cortez. We're here for a very fun one, Andy, because mm -hmm. we got the Pop Agenda crew with us. Jen and George are here joining us for an awesome game to showcase. You want to ask them about it? Yeah, um, you guys brought this game. I, I assume that they put me and Mike on here because they wanted us to play this, and Mike is probably, like you just mentioned, going to break me because uh, <laughs> I've seen a lot of footage of this, Yes, and this looks kind of right up our alley. Why don't you tell us about Surmount? Sure. So Surmount, it is a colorful and playful 3D climbing adventure where you fling yourself to climb a procedurally generated uh, mountain uh, and hang out with a lot of cute folks in a little... Uh, Little campsite as everyone else tries to climb this mountain. So, so it's yeah. a race to the top. Kind of, sort of, okay. yeah. When you play with me, it's a race to the top. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you're not, it, it is a race if you're that good and you can do it in one go, but the mountain is very treacherous and you are sure to land on your face and break some bones, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's a race to not leave the room if I'm playing with you, Mike. Um, <laughs> so let's check out Surmount right here. I love the art style, by the way. Um, the art style, very kind of. Cell shaded almost very cartoony looking it's super adorable and that's one thing that kind of immediately brings you in as the viewer um let's see i don't know if exactly how these controls are working but barrett's kind of up right now running around trying to get this going shout out to Jonas for the art style oh Jonas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah this is a game developed by jasper and jonas not me or jen no. there we go we're no. working now there we go Jonas. great so let's do multiplayer uh it's not full screen just a heads up <gasps> Greg, we can see all your secrets. Yeah, Greg, you're... Oh, Barrett, can you close Slack on that computer? <laughs> Stop writing stuff. Windowed, full screen. We'll do 1080. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's good there enough. There we go. Sorry, gamers. No 1440p for you. I'm sorry. It's uh, really disappointing, I know. So um, unfortunate. Andy's going to be all over you. So yeah, I this need is, this in 360 frames. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please. So yeah, we have a little intro here a little bit. So yep, Mount Ohm. It's a huge, the hugest mountain in the world. Uh, and you know, everyone comes over here to try and climb it, try and show their stuff. And uh, you and your little climbing friend are gonna try and do it. But yeah, I'm gonna skip through this little intro here a little bit. So cute. So yeah, it's there's adorable. Yeah. So yeah, that is a, that is definitely one of the things um, that spoke to me when we first uh, when we were first approached with this game. Like, I'm not a huge climbing genre fan, which I guess is a genre now. I don't know how that happened. Jen, can you move around? If you're gonna play with me. Oh, I'm playing? Yes, I you. You were playing with the. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There it so, is. So, yeah, is. like I said, like, uh, like you're sort of Bennett Foddies and um, your Jusants uh -huh. of the world. No. I'm not oh, big on them. Oh my God. But. It's <laughs> so much more than I did. It's not fair. Okay. <laughs> You can hand it to me if you want. Yeah, ben. give it to I Andy. Play. I think it would be funnier. Yeah. I could play. Yeah, we'll get Andy in there. Andy love loves these games. Yeah. Oh, let's get Mike and Andy He's playing. So Come good. on. So you use your triggers to control each of your little hands okay. to grab on right there. Uh, okay, yeah, I see. So we're yeah. going to do a little tutorial here. The tagline is fling yourself. Fling yourself, yeah. Fling oh, yourself to the top. Yeah. <laughs> it's Andy. not. It's not. I tried. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, what spoke to me is that how colorful and playful the game is. Um, I don't know what it is about the other kind of climbing games that don't speak to me, but this game, just it's carefree and just love of fun. Just, I really fell in love with it. Um, so this is one of the reasons why we were ex I was excited that we were co-publishing this game. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason I'm here. I'm just like- forever, Yes, this but... is- uh, There we go. This wound up being one of the first co-publishing games we will release. But... It'll be our first co-published wow. title. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations to you and the Thank team. That's you. big news. That's very yeah. exciting stuff. Thank so you get this in the email, you see the attachment and you go, oh, this is something that we yeah. should definitely be a part Let's of. Let's go this yeah. way, Andy. Let's go left. Oh, what about that person? Who's ah, that? don't worry about him. Who's that fly? Oh, Lore. Lore. Don't worry about him. That's Lore. Yeah, yeah, we don't have a lot of selection oh criteria for co-publishing other than, does this look nice? It really is. It's like, is this something that we're excited about? Are the people fun? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you can see here, we have stamina. I'm taking a little break. Andy, I, re I recommend... <laughs> uh, Take a little break, Andy. Yeah. Take a little break. I don't know how to get up Sorry. there, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get up there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go up first, and I'm going to try and rest. Okay. So regain my stamina. Yeah. So... And then you can make it because I don't think we can both stand at the same time. I assume that's what your trouble there. Yeah. You can stand there. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Oh wow, look at him. Oh, so get up there, get up there, get up there and rest. You gotta get up, man. Get up I'm, trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to whip it. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Okay. So yeah, We're because we broke our bones a little bit. Oh, there we go. So yeah, look grab on that. there. 
Oh, so I could still, so I, I, these services are climbable too. It's not just yes, the wall yes, part. Yes, yes, yes. That's beautiful. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, my little arm is busted, which oh, is no. uh, not something you want. So when you fall, take a uh, a, a big fall like that, it is going to hurt your stamina wheel there. No. Oh man, I, I don't know if we're going to make it. Uh, maybe. Sorry, sorry. I believe it. Andy. I saw oh, something down Andy. there. I, there was a oh, there was a bird down there. I wanted to see what was up with it. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, she was. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Let's try uh, it again. Let's try it again. So yeah, we're just gonna get stuck on the tutorial here. Um. Oh, this is tutorial. This oh. is a tutorial. Yes. <laughs> Professional um, game reviewer, right? Yeah. Here, you we have the keyboard actually. Yeah. Okay. Give me the keyboard. I'm gonna jump us around here. Is wow. This, oh, oh, I thought, I thought that was gonna slide away further. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's 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 jump around here. Oh, Everybody avert your eyes. Avert your commands. eyes, folks. Don't don't worry about Dev it. Dev commands right here. Yeah. Just love that. Um so let me go to yes. This is what it go. looks like playing like a First resource item manager <laughs> game. <laughs> so yeah, so that was the tutorial. So Nutelli is the base camp of operations right here. So we're gonna meet our little friends everywhere. Everyone's here trying to climb this dang mountain right here. So uh this base camp right here. Yeah. So you meet all your new friends, your climbing buddies. Mm -hmm. Maybe get some new gear. Form some rivalries, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> Buy a couple of power bars just to make so sure he's good for the climb, climb you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I want to get us to the actual procedural mountain. So that's a big thing. So the fun thing about this weird magical mountain is that uh, it keeps changing. It keeps moving around everybody. That's weird. Mountains don't really do yeah. that, yeah. but this one does. So the mountain has about four zones or biomes, I guess, if you want to be a gamer. Oh. <laughs> and each of those biomes has a uh, three different routes. Every time. You, all those routes will be different, but like the same, like, this is a snowy area, this is sort of like, like the biome will, the, of the place will still be the same, but it will change. Um, and Andy, if you want to stop hanging on that chimney oh, right Jesus, there. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so there is that, but there is also about 30, like, handcrafted missions, like, people around town will ask for your help. Um, and I am going to skip us even more, because I think this person right here is going to need some help from us. So they got like their stuff stuck on the mountain. They're like, hey, go, go get me my little yeah, exactly. I my Game Boy over there. Exactly, a hundred percent. Like I heard a weird sound over there. I'm too scared to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna jump around even more because this is. They're gonna keep talking to us. So. No, I love it. I love it. So yeah. So let's let's just get to Jim. While they set route. that up for me, there's something exciting. We got a release date finally too. Yes, we do. So I finally get to play this game. You want to share that with Here we me go. because I know stuff. we've seen it, but what is it? Here we go, May Andy. May 9th, everybody. May 9th. Switch and PC? Yes. yes. Can't wait. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Cannot I'm very wait. excited about this. I saw it and I was like, you know what? Here we go. So the birthday present. My birthday's May 7th, so May oh, 9th. That's a birthday present. This will be in your top 10 for sure. Oh my We're going to play it together for my birthday. It's going to be a great time. I Get ready. I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather not. So I'm dying. So I ran out of stamina. Oh. So, okay. So let me. So yeah, the, but no broken arm though. We're we're still injury yeah. free. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm being too ambitious. Okay, I got it. Okay, so yeah. So the, again, it is fling yourself. So you use the the beautiful motion of an analog stick, the technology of an analog stick to Woo. fling yourself somewhere to climb. Okay, Woo. I made it. I made it. Oh, let me let me just take a little rest right here. Yes, just... that's the biggest thing when I'm talking and playing this game. Like I just keep going, and it's not infinite stamina, folks. Yeah. My brain's like, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come so on. yeah. So the game again. We're not the developers. Game is made by Jasper and Jonas. Um, talking to Jasper, uh, he grew up in the Netherlands, and according to him, it's very fl it's a very flat plained place. Ooh, okay. Uh, not a lot of mountains, and so that's how he kind of became a I guess sort of obsessed with. Climbing? Oh, God. Um, oh, God. oh gosh, it's going really bad. It's going really bad. It's going really w bad. What did I put? Uh, I put down something uh, yeah, I way up there. Yeah, you guys there. aren't using your carabiners to click in on certain spots. Is there a reason for that? It's mostly because I'm playing and I can't talk and play at the yes, same time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Is that really what I put down up there? Take over? I want yeah, you to know that you're doing sure. a fantastic job. Yeah, you're doing a great me. job, George. Well, you've you're done an so incredible bad. job, George. Yeah. I wouldn't even say that. You've done a fantastic job. That's fine. My left arm stamina doing great up here, by the way. So as I was saying, so again, game made by Jasper and Jonas, Jasper, Netherlands, it's really flat, plain, and boring, I guess. His words, not me. Don't come at me, Herman Holst. Um, oh, so yeah, God. so he's always sort of fascinated by uh, mountains and such. Um, and has his, I guess he told me his mother said he was fast. He had the opposite of a fear of heights. Like he was fascinated by going up. The call of the The heights. call of the, yes. Oh, the so call of the mountain. So that's where this game is, I guess. 
That's how this game sort of came to be. Man, the flinging is really You're doing cool. Great, Andy. I'm yeah. really proud the of you. The flinging man. is really cool. Now yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Well, I saw I saw you did give me the ultimate uh, fling demo. Sorry, I'm about to fall right here, Mike. Here we go. Oh, that's all right. We're gonna, we're cool. doing it together. Mike, gonna take a rest. You should have been the redheaded character mm -hmm. that I am. And so yeah, like as let, Chet, let me rest as right here, Mike. Let me rest right here. Rest up, rest up, everybody rest. Let me so yeah, I saw myself. Chet asking. It is local co-op, no online co-op, but on Steam you could do through remote play. Um, it's great to call do, yeah. Yeah, you can grab on those, Mikey. Yes, those are little craggy guys. And let's go. Up, let's, so, how do I take out that little thing in the wall that I placed? So, I don't you I gotta wiggle. So, by not grabbing anything, so make sure you don't want to fall to your death, you just wiggle the analog stick, you'll eventually dislatch from it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So, don't fall to your death right now, but yeah. Um. Let's see. Mike, you doing good down there? Yeah, I am. I'm just having a little tough time with this jump. Let me get up. Let me get up. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. And, uh, You're doing the whip great, though. Not that yeah, these, I got a good whip. Not that these gentlemen need it, but we do have also some, you know, assist options to... You can add infinite stamina um, oh, or whatever you need oh, to Oh, that's fun. Not, you know, not saying that these folks need it, you know, but... Uh, well... You uh, know, it's okay. Maybe, maybe. Well, maybe we take a rest right here on the right side, Mike. Because I'm, I'm feeling it in my uh, forearms, my quads. No. Oh no, that's not, that's not somewhere you that's could rest. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> I hold, thought that was a rest spot. I'm gonna hold you. I'm oh my god, Mike. Oh my god. Oh my god. Need you to come to me. I'm sorry about the extra weight. So another reason um, why this game spoke to me specifically, I know people really like roguelike games and games where you go for another run. I'm not big on it, but the since like I said, there's like 30-ish missions that are handcrafted where you can help people are out. That also really spoke to me. Um, I don't know for the for the people out there who also don't like roguelikes. Mike. That's yeah, cool. that's me talking to you. That we also have some handcrafted oh, stuff for Lord. you. Don't worry about me. My <laughs> But it's, in a second here, I need I'm, you to figure your life out. In a second right here, now, I'm gonna jump these folks over to a different zone, so uh, you know you get to. <laughs> you don't game. think we're doing great here? I thought we were doing great. Here. <laughs> I, thought we were doing really I thought this good. was doing great. Yeah, I I'm thought we were showing off the biomes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna show off the zone, the second area there. Yeah, that's what gets me. Is I love the climbing, but the idea of the small town and the cute characters with these missions, I'm interested to see where that takes me. What kind of dumb fun stuff? Will it's really, that. it's really. Yeah. the team made some really like. There's like a a childlike wonder and fun aspect to it. Like one of the missions, just some like my my daughter is supposed to be delivering stuff, but I don't know where she's at. And then you go find her, and her like truck slipped on a banana peel, uh, and now you gotta. Okay. So. Oh guys. Oh my god! I just whipped it like crazy, Mike. <laughs> Mike. And they, I'm having a tough time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need you to get your shit together right now. Oh my god, there now there I go. I'm just exhausted. There you go. You're good. Why don't we go to the right? You know what I mean? There's a big arrow that says maybe go to the right. Well, it doesn't easier. seem like you can go anywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm over here. I'm over here. Yeah, okay. say, Mike, if you're the blue hair guy, you might want to stand somewhere while Andy go. catches just, up. Yeah, hold on. Let me that just way. attach that's too. So, there you go. One sec. Did you yeah. learn a lot about climbing? <laughs> Were you a climbing person before have you learned a lot i haven't i wonder what jasper uh, okay. and jonas have oh, learned from climbing oh there we go but um i have learned to appreciate it a little bit more like i said i was a, a climbing hater a little bit oh okay but wow. just because I, I don't know just the game genre not wait but. is nebraska also pretty flat does it it's very flat yes it is all cornfield it's all cornfields and Weird Republican billboards uh, in that, Nebraska. That's, that, yeah, that's the Rio Grande <laughs> Valley as well. Just like no hills, no elevation whatsoever. Yeah, just corn. Um, you guys are making. You're doing well. Yeah, let's see. I yeah, believe. Let's rest right here. Let's rest right here. here so yeah. So the, like I said, at the end of this, at the end of this first route, you'll have a checkpoint. Uh huh. Um. So let's see if you guys can make it to the checkpoint. Um, oh, man. Where, where are you trying to go? I don't know whether to believe. I don't. <laughs> oh, oh my I God! Did you and, see that? And you took yourself with me. That was incredible. You're Thank so athletic, you. right Thank there. Thank you. Yeah, I, that. You, you bringing up the whole aspect of the little NPC towns does really excite me because with a lot of climbing games, it really usually is. Here's the challenge, and if you fall, we think about you know what, what was that? Um, the king's jumping game as well. Oh yes, there was um, also a king. jump king. Yeah, that's what it was there was called, also another actually. climbing game that came out like uh, two months ago. I don't remember the name of it. A difficult game about climbing. That's the one. Yes. Yeah, because uh, those games you usually just start off, and it, what you see is what you get. And I yes. love the idea of yeah. having extra little side missions, Mike. That was incredible. I just whipped that was awesome. Over there, gotcha. I'm about to get tired. I'm tired. I'm oh trying my to gosh. I'm oh trying my to gosh. Oh my god, god. Mike. Oh, oh my <laughs> but as I fell, I, I broke my sternum. <laughs> Mike, my spine is broken. I'll I need wait. your help. But yeah, like you said, Andy, that's also why this game spoke to me uh, when we came when it came across our desk. Because again, um, I, I'd like to think we have some depth here and some stuff for everyone. 
And, uh, you know, I'm not starting to believe in this crew that they're going to make it to the checkpoint. Uh, we'll see. I'm feeling really good. Okay. I don't yeah, know why you have make lost. Make sure to latch into that one. Again. You're good. Oh, you mean? Oh, sorry. No, I, I, I whipped past. Oh, there we go. You guys made Okay, great. You guys are close. You guys are oh close. I believe in you. Oh, Andy, my right gosh. Here. Oh, my gosh. Where we work. This where we work. Whip it. We whip okay, it. Okay, we're both on top we of each other. We whip it. I'm whipping off of you. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. In tandem. In tandem. Three, oh, God. Two, one, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite direction. There you that go. was incredible. <laughs> oh my God. That was so great. No, whoa, you pulled me down. Wait, why'd you latch onto there down I there? I got it. I'm going to latch up for you now. Oh, oh you guys okay, are close. Cool. You guys uh -oh, are close. These ones break. Oh, these ones break. Yeah, you're going to have to fling yourself. You guys are close, though. Oh, shit, Mike. Oh, uh -oh my God. Andy, Mike, I'm Andy. Sorry. I saw someone in chat say, why are you talking shit about Nebraska? I'm from Nebraska, so I am allowed. allowed. I'm allowed, allowed to. Oh, come on. I flew over Nebraska two days ago. That's true. I'm He's allowed. All over the place. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost there. If you hold down the stick, you should, when it, when you guys are really separate, if you hold down your stick, you yes. can also, yeah. Bring you back up to me. Yeah. You ready to whip? You ready to whip? Let's start doing it. Let's start doing it. Like we do. Three. Three. Two, you guys two, are close. One. one. Go. Yeah, you guys are close. That, we went nowhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pathetic. So, a pro tip, you see that little mossy rock? That will recharge your stamina if you land on that. Oh, oh down here? Like the one up there. You see oh, the one up? Shit. Yeah, yeah, no, you went too far. Not, not that way. <laughs> the one with the little craggly rocks there. Oh, okay. So yeah, the moss rejuvenates your power. That's what yes. I've heard from a lot of climbers. That's so true. That is what they say. <laughs> so yeah. Let me go back up uh, real quick. Are what? you gonna try to whip yourself what? straight up or to the go. left, Mike? Yep. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Oh, baby. You're, you're amazing. Okay. I go. need you to okay. help me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, yeah, there we go. You got it. You I got need it. you to help so me. So yeah, just hit, just hit up. Just hit up to I get to. Just don't worry. My skull is is broken. <laughs> yeah, just wait up there. I love the idea of injuries. I haven't thought of that. That's a really fun idea that they got going on. How do I? like not injure myself or like maybe get some recovery and, and get better. So along the path, you'll find some, you know, fun berries and other food snacks, you know, yeah. I guess you automatically know which ones are not poisonous uh, right. or can kill you. But yes, that will regain your stamina uh, in case you break, get a concussion. <laughs> oh my God. You're doing great, you're doing great. You're getting exhausted, you yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're you good. guys are so close, I feel. I think we got this. Ready? Yeah. Hold on. No, that one's breaking, Mike. That one's breaking. I'm moving. No. Oh, oh, I'm crazy oh like God. that. Oh my hey, God, Mike. I'm nuts. Mike, you, ah. got you got it, Mike. Uh -oh. You got it. You got to press X on that. You I got tried. To I tried. <laughs> I tried. Really I tried. needed you there. <laughs> so for the people in chat, by the way, if you're wondering, if you want to show, if you want to show these boys how to do it, the demo is up on Steam right now, uh, on Surmount. Also wishlist, please. Also wishlist, wish please. Yeah, everybody, make sure you're wishlisting these. Look at these. this beautiful game. Do you hate nature? Do you <laughs> hate climbing? Like what? What? Come on, show some love. The developers. Look at that <laughs> off your head. That's the teamwork right yeah. there. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it that. But Two sure. best friends can do that. <laughs> so along, also along your path, you'll find some some helpful tools. Like you can get a rocket, which you would imagine when you're trying to, you know, climb up a mountain, a rocket it's is very helpful. It seems like it's not in the nature of like the the spirit of the game, you know. You know, it's I got to assume the more veteran climbers would frown upon uh, getting a rocket <laughs> launcher. <laughs> and there's also ladders and such. Um, yeah. Oh, so is that what those, so those are what the items are in the rocks that we're getting? In the moss. In the moss. Yeah. Ooh, come on, come on. I know I keep saying you guys are so close, but I genuinely feel like you're so close to finishing this. Part. You're whipping this? You whipping yeah. it, Mike? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> you went downward. Well, well, because I feel like every time we have launched, we go opposite ways because we're not together. Like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're letting we go at the same time, but we're facing the opposite. You know what? Direction. We should get in sync. We should get in sync. So Daniel in chat, like yeah, I said, go. is it a multiplayer game where can I play Three, it completely single? Two. I you can totally play this game go. by yourself. Not only because of the there's the procedural, but also the missions. Like I said, I think the missions really hold on. Let me rest. Encourage a single player playthrough. And I've noticed like some of my stamina has come back. Yeah, it's because you you picked up some food. Oh, so that nice. a bear, you know, helps a broken arm. Of course, bear <laughs> yeah. day. There you, you are. The broken arm. You made it. It's you did it. You're there. You knew oh my we would. God. Good you job. Knew we would, George. Come Everybody clap. Oh, oh come on. You're fumbling. You're fumbling yes. it. You're fumbling. We did it. We did it. Okay, press X. S X to walk into your little camp there. Oh my Ooh. God. Oh, cute. Nice. Uh, so obviously we didn't go through the character creator, but you can also create a little character there. Oh really? Yeah, oh, like we could we could do awesome. that now. I was gonna ask you what's the character's names, but we get to create our yeah. own. Yeah, let's go back right. to camp there. That's beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. Are you so stressed? I feel like you worked so hard. I, I definitely feel like I exerted a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's stressful, but it's cool. I like it a lot. All right, so let's just skip over all this here. 
Now, important question about yes. the uh, character creator: yeah. Is there a mustache and a beard disconnected? Because that's a lot. That is of, a like, very important thing. A lot of people that aren't uh, that are very underrepresented <laughs> in the in the gaming community. We'll that find have out. Mustache and beard. You want me to just grab this yeah. link for a bit? Yeah, here? get in there, please. Get in there. Okay. Let's come on. Um, Where am I? There am I. There. Do, 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 do. Oh God! Oh gosh! Who's leaving their suitcases? You got a little double jump too. Look at that! I didn't yeah, even yeah, realize that. So let's see. I might have to do another cheat here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's really interesting, you know. The mountain is beautiful. We're all we're all super impressed by the mountain. So let's try and go down this way. Now, are any scientists looking into the how oh the mountain's God. changing? Because I feel like that is pretty alarming. So yes, you know, that with, is a character. Climate change yes. has been affecting the planet. Yeah. yeah so that is a character you will meet, and they will have like, hey, this mountain is weird. Uh, you want to help me sort of like figure out what's going on? Over oh, here? okay. So, so we go yeah. out there. Do we do research? Yeah. Let's see, are we back here? I think this is exactly what I wanted. I think. We'll find out. Love double here. jumping. Uh-uh-uh. Sorry, just getting in the way. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Let's get in there. Oh, oh come on. That's Jasper not gonna work. in the chat says you can do set scene state. Set scene state? Oh. Hi, Jasper. I'm gonna trust you, Jasper, but let's see. Uh-uh-uh-uh. I gotcha. Okay. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th this character right here, this is the character who's hiring you being like, hey, yeah. They give you your climbing permit and they're like, hey, can you help me like figure this out? Um, I'm skipping this out because I want to show the character creator before we have to get out of here. But if anybody has questions, Oprah in the chat is Jasper, one of the developers. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're digging it so far, Jasper. I'm doing really well. Great. So Mike... If you want to mess around oh, here. Oh, we got to give Dan. Oh, here. Dan needs our character oh, yeah. creator. Yeah, let me see. Let so me let's see. find out about this. Uh, the beard and the mustache. This beard and the mustache. There we go. Uh, that's about me right now because I stood in the sun quite a bit he, the other he day. Did. He's taking in a lot of yeah, sun Yeah, right doing a lot of sunbathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Thank you, OM Jesus. Tell your friends about the, about the game. <laughs> oh, man. We're so, we're so close with it. We're so close with it. Jasper, you're in the chat. You're witnessing this live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if I could, if like request, you know, if I could add a, an extra one, then it would do like the under beard portion. Then I'd have the mustache with the beard, and then then we'd be set. But I'm gonna go with the standard. Uh, you know what? I actually kind of dig the mustache. I'm gonna stick with that for right now. Okay, okay, that's beautiful. I thought you might go with like the mountain man beard, right? You've been stuck up on the mountain for a long time. Well, no, Lost. with with the speed that we operate at, yeah. we are in we're in and out on the mountain. You know what I mean? All right, cool. I like this. This is great. Cool. Well, would you like me to show you another biome? I would love to see another biome. Yes. I love biomes. <laughs> Does anybody know what game we finally all decided? We're going to call this biomes, guys. You know, I... The Returnal? What? I think Returnal started the discussion, but, okay. you know, hey, the former game developer, right? Worth. Three years of my career, former yeah. game development. <laughs> uh, Biome was always just, like, kind of always being used. Okay. The but then once like Returnal that. started doing oh. the, you know, different biomes, I was like, well, those are just, like, levels, aren't they? Because I'm used to, like... Oh, that's the ice biome. This is the whatever biome, yeah. you know. I this also is the volcano fire biome. Also, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> oh yeah, we're slippery. slippery. Yeah, oh, it, we're slippering. Is that's the right word? Is yeah, it? you know, you professional don't professional on stage. And also, none of you have jackets, so that's not oh, what no. you want. Also, wait. Oh, so wait. Uh, it, you say we don't have jackets. Is that a part? Is that a gameplay mechanic? You will find some jackets on. Yes. Oh, you I can love run that. it. So like in uh, in this biome, this zone, you will find a jacket. But that mainly. That mainly hel helps with your fall not hurting as much. Oh, okay, yeah, like so armor. So temperature, I, I can't speak actually. Now that I realize that, Mike, I'm I'm struggling. Don't Mike, worry, I'm doing really well. You are, and you're Jasper, leaving me you behind. Jasper, you can probably answer that in chat. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great. I see you down there. The best part about playing with these, with this, uh, with you on this is that like you cannot just speed ahead. <laughs> you have to wait for me. Because usually it's just you doing whatever. You're on mission 14 already, and I'm still on mission six. <laughs> I cannot get up. My, like a true relationship. Test. I'm struggling yes. right now. I'm struggling. Mm. I'm trying to hold him up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep him up. <laughs> no. Nope, nope. Oh God. Hey, Drop you didn't get it. hurt though. Jasper says you're right about temperature. Okay. Cool. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um. But yeah, I tried to play this biome and I sucked at it. So well, we're doing great so far. That's true. You are doing better than me, to be um, honest with you. Yeah. I, ke I keep. Rem you cannot grab onto the darker rocks. Yes, right? you cannot grab onto the darker rocks. But great job. But we can whip ourselves. Still up. arguing about biome. 
<laughs> huh? People are still arguing about <laughs> It's still a, a contentious topic. <laughs> Let's whip ourselves up this way on top of the rock. Oh my god, the perfect Good whip. Good job, I'm dead. Andy. My character's dead. <laughs> Um, but yeah, especially with co-op, it requires a lot of coordination. You really have to work together. Um, yeah. Come on. Yeah, just hold up. Yeah, you got this. You got this. There you go. We're close. There you go. I'm going to jump. Oh, nope. That was a big mistake, Andy. That's all right, Andy. That's all right. <laughs> that was a big That's mistake. Right. I got it. I got it. I got it back. You can reel him in too, right? Yes. Like, if yeah. you, if Yes. You can reel him in if you hold up. Yeah, there you go. Up. Yeah, here we go. I'm reeling me in. I'm but also, in. don't oh give God. don't give them a concussion just on the my, way there. <laughs> hit my skull on the mountain. You yeah. doing great? I forget about the double jump. Nice that's job. right. Yeah, you got to use that double jump. All right, jump. so so to get rid of the look the at other... that, just bounce off your head. Come on, that's teamwork. Okay, so we did get rid of. So placing X and one gets rid of the other one. It, what it, did you call that, Mike? A car or what? A carabiner? carabiner? I never heard of that. Well, that's the carabiner you're hooking into. Usually, I believe. Someone will correct oh, yes. me on that. Here we go. What's the proper climbing term for the, the hook? Oh, the, the hook. The hook is. Yeah, cool. there's a hook you jam up in there, and then that's what you care being into. Let, let, oh, let me see what. Oh, go, I wanted bro. to see what that box is all about. Hold up, let me You're whip back great. around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this envy is asking if we'll be at PAX, and we won't be. I won't be. I'm doing real bad, Mike. Hold up, hold up. Mike will be. Say hello to Mike. At PAX. I'll be at PAX. Yep. Make sure to come by. The grounded panel. I'll tell you all about Sir Mount. If you want, if you <laughs> want to come and ask me about this game, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> you Official need to know. spokesperson. I would love to share the hype you about. You can this put game a bill on you. your Steam Deck. <laughs> oh, That's that true. Awesome. Um, also, Mike's demo. a freelancer for no Papa Jenna now. Yeah, uh, I, just, <laughs> I love this game. Uh, <laughs> Mike, the Steam Deck in the You're almost there. You're almost there. You're doing great. Great. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna latch onto this one. Yeah. Got it. Oh you. my God, you're incredible. Yeah. Hold on, let me whip myself around this. And then way. that should pull you up. Oh, don't worry, you gotta believe. It's going. You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> you don't know if I believe, Mike. I don't know if I believe. <laughs> you might have died. You died there. No. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I have I mean, a heart of steel, though. Like there's nothing gonna <laughs> kill me on the mountain. We we only have a little bit of time. Yeah. So let's go over the details about sure. this because right. this game is important to me and of course the team that we're getting to represent. But. When is it coming out? What consoles? What can people do right now to help support the team? It is coming out May 9th on PC and Switch. You can wishlist it now on Steam. The demo is currently up, so you could play it yourself right now if you'd like. Um, but yeah, uh, tell your friends. Just, you know, spread the word. Wishlist and also tell people this game is good. And I It think, is very good. So yeah. cool, very cool co-op game. Um, I do wish, though, that, you know, maybe my... I need my hands to be stronger, Mike. I don't yeah. know if I've got the grip yep. strength mm -hmm. for playing mm -hmm. on the controller mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. We got to get you some uh, some climbing dust, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some chalk. Oh, we'll LeBron some James. LeBron James like chalk. And we'll, like we'll work really together. And for, this, for the single player people. for the single player people out there, I cannot stress enough, again, because like I said at the start, I don't usually play these types of games, but the the lighthearted nature of it and the, the, like, the missions themselves... I have a great time playing this. By it's myself. got such a good charm to it. Yeah, I love the art style. Love the whole vibes of it. Surmount May 9th, 2024. Very, very exciting. Uh, Papa Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you for yeah. playing. Great thank to you see guys. you. All. Everybody uh, in the chat, we got more games coming up. Yeah. Let's, Let's go switch off. Bye. Bye, gamers. <laughs> we'll be back. You have something? What up, what up? Right here. You're right there. It's perfect. Yeah. God, there's no way Mike is this tall. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Mike, man. How are we looking? We ready to go, Kev? Looks like yeah. we are. Do you Fantastic. want me to switch? Oh, yeah, over? no, I don't. What's up? I was going to say, I can switch over to the game so we can close that one out and open up the new game. Let's do that. That would be fantastic stuff. And while we do that, real quick, let me introduce everybody. Of course, I'm Tim Geddes, joined by Blessing Adeoye Jr. Good day, Tim. Good day to you as well. We have Paul Hartling from Devolver Digital here to talk about Pepper Grinder. Hello. What's up with Pepper Grinder? It's uh, Pepper Grinder. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all yeah. you need to know. That's all yeah. you need to know, everybody. Yeah. Pepper hell Grinder yeah. looks awesome. It looks Thank sick you. as hell. Sure. It, like, how would you describe it? Because actually, no, I'm going to describe it. It's essentially like a platformer where you're like a dolphin, but you're not a dolphin. But you have dolphin-like motion Feels with like a drill it. on it. Right. Feels like a dry, right. like a dry, uh, dark, thank you. Like he wants to say like a dragon, dolphin. like a dra Oh yeah, yeah no, no. I feel that. Like yeah, a yeah. dolphin. Like a dolphin. <laughs> That'd be actually a sick. Like if you were to, to switch out and just make it a parody of like a dragon, sure. just just lean into it. We'll do it tomorrow. I will say the art style of it. Okay, I've not gotten my hands on Pepper Grinder yet. Every single time I've seen it, I don't know where I've seen it. it must have been like maybe a Nintendo thing or maybe like just at the yeah, Partner Direct. Yeah. Partner Direct. Yeah, that's yeah. probably where I saw it. Yep. 
immediately I'm like, oh yeah, this looks like like this looks like some Devolver shit. You know, like Devolver <laughs> always has like all, I feel like you guys always have an eye for games that have really cool art styles that have like really good feel as well. Like I'm always in it, and that that's what that's what it is, right? Like it, how it feels, and and I guess that's the important part, right? Yeah. So here's the thing: it's on PC, Switch, demo out now, so everybody you could play it. If you wanted to, literally right now, but the full game comes out March 28th. Very, very, very close. Uh, but we're setting up something special right now because Bless is going to play the game, but he's not going to play the game with the normal controller. It's Devolver. So that means we need to get weird. We're about to play Pepper Grinder with a Pepper Grinder. I love that nobody warned me about this. Yeah. Also, is this is, no, is, is this true? Yeah. Is this a drill? <laughs> it's a pepper grinder it's attached a to a drill. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I was like, controls. I'm not used to pepper grinders looking this way. Okay, that's kind of insane. Yeah, right before I walked in here, Barrett's like, "Hey, bless you're gonna play with this," and I'm like, "What the? Okay, cool. <laughs> no way told me, but I'm down." So why? Can I ask why? Um, God. we kind of wanted to do something fun and weird, like you, right you mentioned. Um, and pepper grinder, right? It, it's an actual pepper grinder. It, right, it dispenses everybody. actual pepper. Yeah. Um, so, what are the controls? Yeah, so, <laughs> sure. Does it have what am I pepper doing in here? it? I guess I'm holding it with my right oh, hand, right? Yeah, hold it okay, cool, hand. cool. And then, um, oh my god, my thumbstick here. Here's your thumbstick, and there's your A. A. So that's done. Gotcha. And then, and then later on in the game, uh, not in the demo. Make sure you get on the mic there. So the hook shot is an X, right? Hook shot is an X. Paul, gotcha. Get oh, on yeah, the mic. Oh, sorry. Okay, so joystick. Uh huh. Uh, this actually moves the drill in game. Uh, so when you're drilling, it's important to tell everyone we haven't tested this out and we're using four USB type C extensions. I feel extensions. so powerful. I will say I am pressing A, nothing's happening. Oh no. Uh, That's so fucking cool. That, I mean, it's a drill, right? Is, does this come with a special edition? How is, are you gonna <laughs> so this is a one of one. Yeah, oh, one wow. of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can try cow. one other cable. Yeah, let's try switching out a cable. All right, give me one second. I can try put, pushing it in further. No, let's yeah, it looks kind of... Worst case, we could always just pop over to the controller and just uh, have fun with the, the drill. Oh, it works now. It works oh, now. we're in. We're oh in, everybody. My gosh. So Pepper Grinder is yes. an action-packed 2D adventure blending traditional platforming with an alternative drilling mode that allows you to dive in and out of the earth like a dolphin swims through water. It also reminds me a bit of Ori. Uh, there's a burrow mm. mechanic in that game where you're kind of like drilling through the sands and stuff. Uh, would you say that this is a, a Metroidvania or is this a more just like a, a 2D platformer? 2D platformer. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, Pepper, yeah, uh, Pepper just uh, washed up ashore after being shipwrecked. Um, her treasure is everywhere. Um, these little gnarlings kind of stole it. Um, it's your turn to kind of get it back, right? Awesome. I feel like this is made for somebody with big hands. Is already like getting to the right, the, getting to the analog stick with my left um, finger. Let's see. I want to be honest with you. I don't think this was made for anybody. <laughs> I think, I no, think there was, you don't think they were thinking about the ergonomics when they're creating this thing. But you're going. I mean, I'm not pressing anything. This yeah, is yeah, this is all so. cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So this is how you know Pepper, Pepper meets uh, Grinder right here. I get the fall into the pit. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I will say this thing is heavy too. <laughs> this thing is so heavy, chat. Uh, it, okay, we got here we the work. Go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. oh uh, my that's god. The that's the wrong button. That's the wrong okay. button. Ooh, okay, I gotta I gotta jump with press A. Oh, A. a. Oh, god. Is it working? The a, other A button? Other A button? Oh there we go. Okay, so that's yeah, the yeah. plus thing. Or is it two A buttons? No, this, it, that's an X button. Okay, it's an X yeah. button. Gotcha. You don't need gotcha. that. Alright. Yet. He's least. going, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Does the drill do anything except, or just is just for dramatic effect? There you go. There you go. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I, love this. I, power, I feel everybody. so powerful right now. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I don't know if people at home can hear it, but it is very loud. Oh yeah, yeah there's it is loud. loud. There's a lot going on. Kevin, are we picking that up? Uh, just a bit. Not nearly as loud as I'm sure it is. <laughs> okay, that's good then. Ah. Uh, <laughs> This is the most fun go. I've had all year. <laughs> <laughs> you too can have this fun at home. The demo's out so you can go play this. Oh, man. I have chills. I'm not going to lie. I legitimately have chills playing this like this. This is so funny. This is incredible. Are there any instructions anywhere on making your own drill? Oh, what'd you say? Uh, I didn't hear a word. <laughs> There's a, I don't know if you know this. There's a drill. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking if there were any instructions anywhere. Maybe an instructable or somewhere so you can There is none. Yeah, there's none. There we go. I'm going to say, don't try Woo! this at home, everybody. You're doing it. Just play it with the controller. Oh, yeah. Bless this is seems going. better, though. This seems this better. This does. 
So whose idea was the drill? Was this a devolver thing or was this the dev? This was mine, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were the responsible one. Yeah. You get the credit. Oh, responsible. Is that the right word there? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one responsible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now. All right, what role do you play, right? You're you're in from Devolver. Yep. What's your responsibility? So I'm on the one of the marketing managers here uh, at Devolver. Um, and this is one of my babies, I guess I'm looking after. That's Hi. awesome, man. So what's the response been so far with the demo out? People have been playing this. It's great. It's been great, of course. Yeah. yeah. People love the, the feeling, of course, that the, the drilling mechanic is. And oh. um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is like I feel like got the it. feel of a platformer yeah. is so important, and right. for something like this that has so mechanic based of like we you have this drill and you're moving around in a fairly unique way, like not too many games like play this. I was bringing up Ori earlier, sure. and that felt so good. Like right. this, I feel like. Plus, how does it feel to play even with the uh, drill in your hand? <laughs> no, I mean it feels fantastic. It is a little awkward, but I think it's mainly like I don't I don't know which way is up sometimes. <laughs> right. you know, I like have to I have to turn my brain on. Um, for that, but aside from that, it feels great. Also, my left arm is getting tired, but I, I feel like it's good for the experience. You know, I feel I feel like I'm actually pepper. So for this, you just want to boost when boost. you're coming out of the earth, oh, right? So, so that I gives you kind a. of like a, yeah. Oh, oh there you go. okay. Oh, I'm getting right there. there. You got it. This third time's the charm here. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't get the boost. I felt that though. Oh, oh. man, hold on. I also do feel like I'm getting like the trial and error of like a Celeste, uh -huh. which I like a sure. lot. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he did love it, everybody. That. Thank I you. love to see it. Oh. So now there's a couple now more. Now the pro maneuver here. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh! I want fire, y'all. <laughs> we have a certified gamer in the house. <laughs> it's capital G. Capital G. <laughs> Woo! There you go. <laughs> Go, you guys, keep I can't going. tell you how much joy the sound brings me. Like this is making it such a visceral experience. i I don't think I've like I've removed my smile this whole time. <laughs> I've been smiling this entire time. Oh, oh my man. lord. So for the people at home when they're gonna be playing without the drill in their hands, like, you wanna talk about the controls a little bit? Like is it is it fairly simple? Yeah, very simple control scheme. Um, joystick, right, moves your drill and moves your character while uh, kind of burrowing. Um, a button to jump. And later on in the game, you're going to get a grappling hook. Um, so some technical kind of uh, some platforming going on that will combine, right? Uh, grappling with uh, some drilling. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. That's all you really need. That's all you got to do. Yeah. How difficult was this? Like the controller? Uh, to make? Yeah. I don't think that difficult. Yeah, we got it. I guess the main thing is like, how do you map a button to the actual drill? Lever, is there? That's all wizardry, yeah. Yes, yeah, wizardry. That's man. just no one knows. a bunch of wires. That's and, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this might be like more of an inside baseball question, right? But like, sure. I, I we often have uh, conversations that are kind of funny of publishers that appeal to us and like the kind of games that we flock to. I know for me, Devolver is a publisher that oftentimes, if there's, if I know Devol Devolver is publishing a game, I'm going to be into that game, right? Whether it's something like Hotline Miami or something like Ape Out, right? Or the, the list goes on. Um, like, what is the process for figuring out the games that Devolver is going to partner with and uh, publish? Because, yeah, again, I look at Pepper Grinder and I'm like, yeah, this seems it's like Devolver. a Devolver type Like, it's game. clear, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, we get that question a lot, right? Like, um, so it's kind of like everybody you ask from the team kind of will have their own, right? But I think it's kind of... Uh, a developer would need like a clear kind of vision, right, on like what they want their game to be, right, um, and have a unique spin on maybe an already established genre, um, and that's kind of the best way I can put it. Yeah. Um, what new does it bring to the table, or you know, uh, what makes it special, right? So, what makes uh, Pepper Grinder special? Just the look and feel of it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Are there different uh, abilities you get later of like besides the the grapple hook? Are, are you upgrading your drill? So uh, there's no upgrades <laughs> to the drill. Um, there are different color sets of hair and uh, a little cape that you can match on Pepper. Um, a little so cape. Does the cape do anything, or is it just? Uh, it's all cosmetic. Yeah, all icon. cosmetic. Yep. So um, oh. with the skull coins, uh, each level has a set of five skull coins. Like the strawberries. And and uh, those you'll use to up, uh, yeah, you can buy upgrades, right, for Pepper, and then also to unlock uh, an extra level on the map. Uh, so there's four areas, and um, 
each level, each area, sorry, has a um, couple levels with, of course, the boss at the end of it. Awesome. Oh, I imagine the boss fights are super, Oh yeah. super interesting. Sure. So this is the little gnarling nest. Um, you got to take out that nest in order to get a key. Can oh. you jump and use the drill? Or? Yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll just keep on spawning out. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I got a bur burrow. There we go. There you go. There we go. Take one more. There, there we go. go. Awesome. So is it usually uh, Devolver approaching the, the devs or the devs reaching out to Devolver being like, hey, this I think this is something you guys might like? Like, what is that like? Yeah, um, I think most of the time it's developers reaching out, right? Um, or friends of developers that we've worked with in the past, mm -hmm. right? Um, say, hey, uh, there's this really cool game and we want to kind of introduce it to you. And nice. that's how it works, yeah. Very cool. Uh, Tim, do you want to try? I would love to try. <laughs> Oh my lord. So I Here think the, the A is actually mapped to the X button. On the okay, mm. got it, got it, got it. Yep, there's the jump. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you feel so powerful. The power. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is not what I expected it to be. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like this question from Gavatar Gavataris in chat. Did you have any difficulty getting the drill through airport security? Okay, so. It was actually made by uh, a guy, Rudism, out in New Zealand. Uh -huh. uh, and then that got shipped to one of our producers up in uh, San Francisco. So mm. no! I, didn't to, I didn't have to bring this with me uh, through security, but I can't imagine if they opened it up or not, what they yeah. would have saw. They're like, what, <laughs> what is this giant what is weapon? This? that you, that you that's A drill that's connected to a pepper grinder that's connected to a bunch of wires. <laughs> yeah, Just this is not so suspicious. <laughs> These wires look so suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> I could not imagine trying to get this on a plane. Like the <laughs> They're not like electrical taped or anything. They're just hanging out. Oh, yeah. my God. I love it. I just got to say, I only played for like 20 seconds there. It feels exactly how it looks like it feels. Yes. Oh, Which 100%. is like perfect. 1,000%. <laughs> Even with the world's most awkward controller, it still feels good. So is there like a, a story going on? Is I know we we opened up with a, with a cutscene. Is uh, story going to be like a thing that that means a lot to this game? Or is it like more of a gameplay first situation? Yeah, just gameplay first, gameplay really. First? Yeah, yeah, yep. It's one of those oh, games that I gotta, I gotta sway when I'm playing. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? Yeah, you gotta right. get with it. <laughs> What are your plans with the drill when this marketing cycle is over? Because <laughs> I have some ideas. <laughs> sure, yeah. Kind of like, fun, funny. What talk. ideas do you got, Blair? <laughs> Listen, am I saying kind of funny might want to bid on, on the controller? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, go. yeah. And then raise that flag. And Boom! That's the level. Oh, yeah, look at that. Level. that is Let's fantastic, go. fantastic stuff. Pepper Grinder. One more time. The demo is out now on Steam and on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the game will be coming out March 28th. I'm gonna be playing this one. Oh, one that was, I'm gonna be playing. That this was too. awesome. You were talking about like I'm shaking right now yeah. from like. No, there's an adrenaline like to this. To yeah. It's awesome. God. But I'm actually about to switch out though. Greg Miller's gonna come in and talk about some other games. Goodbye. <laughs> Greg Miller, welcome. Enough of the fucking gimmicks. All right, this Devolver, let's get into true video games. Let's talk about Children of the Sun. Let's do it. Tell me all about yeah, it. I mean, I, you were like, go fight a cult. I'm like, I'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is one I've, I I've hate not heard cults. of. This. Everyone Check. knows I hate cults, except Check. the one I run. So, uh, Children of the Sun <laughs> is uh, from a solo dev, Rini Rother, out in Berlin, Germany. Um, it is about a cult that's kind of overrunning uh, a town, right? And you play as this mysterious um, girl who, just known as the girl, the um, girl. Bring and the girl. kind of figuring out why this cult is doing what it's doing. Awesome. So, like, going back to the, what we were talking about with Pepper Grinder in terms of I can feel what makes that a Devolver game. Children of the Sun, how does this happen, right? Like, what is what is it about Children of the Sun that made you guys go, oh, we need to, we need to um, be the ones to, to present this? I think when you first see the gameplay um, and you first play it, mm -hmm. um, I think you're automatically going to see. Um, it, it, it's a... Go hunting. That's, it doesn't say start yeah, the game. No, it says go, go hunting. Hunt. Hunt. That's awesome. Are you kidding me right hunt there? The cult. Yeah, I hunt love this title cult. screen. Very mysterious. Um, yeah, it's connect the dots with... Uh, 
with a bullet. So you control a single bullet. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, did he just swallow? He, a he licked the gun. Licked it, oh, he yeah. licked the gun. I thought you, I thought that was a bullet that you swallowed for a second. I was like, oh, this is <laughs> different. Licked, that would be bad. Like, uh, that would be <laughs> sick. Bathing in blood. <laughs> So the story is told through these uh, these comic strips, right? Throughout the game. Love it. Mm. Um, that is our cult leader. So you talk about a uh, solo dev. How long does it take to make something like this? Sure. Um, I think this was being talked about with with the company. Um, <laughs> Start off pissing. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. there's an outhouse back there, but yeah, I'm gonna. He doesn't want this. It's being taken. You know, um, I think back in 2020. So uh, it's been kind of being worked cooking on cooking for a while. Then. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, I know this has been said many a time, Paul, but I just love that Devolver games have that Devolver look. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You put up screenshots yeah. from, a, like, four different games, you can pick out the Devolver game. Yeah. Again, yeah. this is the first time I've seen this game, and already I'm like, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> this is <a> Devolver. <laughs> I just love the Like, it's, it gives atmosphere immediately, right? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Here we got a tutorial stage. Yeah, just showing you how to, uh, how to move around. And uh, line up your targets and all that stuff. So. Gotcha. So this is like this is a sniping game. That is, is what this is. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Finding the best vantage point. Yeah. Um, and kind of marking your marking the cult. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Roger's gonna love this because Roger went through his whole um, sniper elite, elite phase. Yeah. He wouldn't shut up about it. It's embarrassing. Okay. So you got the mark. You got the zoom. You got the shoot. What is marking so, them do? Is that like a yeah, like marking, come back around? Yeah, so it tags them like this, one, two, three, four, up until, you know, however many enemies are on the screen. Yeah. Um, and that'll, so say if you miss your shot, um, those marks will stay marked. Just in right? case, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, this the kind of game where I can, like, line up two people in a row and sh get two headshots at the same time? Watch no, it. not at the oh, same damn. time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, if Greg can, can kill two people in one bullet. Dang. So now you quick control the bullet and then. Oh, I see. So you're like, oh, that's. Come on! That's, that's super awesome. cool, actually. <laughs> What's that movie where you like can curve Wanted. the bullet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They made, they made a game out of Wanted, if you remember. I remember. They really? I forget if I reviewed yeah, it at IGN or if yeah. I just played it, and this is already a better game than that game was. I, I remember seeing the trailer for the movie Wanted and being like, this is this is too far. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's be real. <laughs> You're going to do this, and then the bull's going to go. Like, no, that's not how that works. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can suspend my disbelief only for so long, yeah. all right? And there's, yeah, the two by the then outhouse back there. What the hell was it? There you go. I was looking up the wanted review. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let me know if I did it. or something else. No, it's Mitchell Saltzman. Mitchell's. And that's it? No yeah. way. Wait, no, Mitchell Saltzman was okay. around back right. He was a baby. In Sorry, it was updated June 1st, 2023. Did he, wait, did he update Greg's review of Unwanted? <laughs> I, I, get, I don't know if I reviewed it. I don't want to take credit for something. Because <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Which was like, I got thoughts on this game. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Miller was wrong. I'm finally yeah. in the system. <laughs> Editor's note, I've also this. played this game. This is how I feel. Oh, reviewed on PlayStation 5. All right, th we're not talking about the same game. Okay. Yeah, you're thinking of Wanted Dead. Okay, well, I was trying my hardest, guys. Listen, you're trying. G look for Wanted. The, it wasn't based on the movie either, but... Wanted PS3, probably. Yeah. Weapon of Fate? Weapons of Fate, yes, is Infinite Corpse. Do, do, I, I just killed all of you guys. Hillary that? Goldstein. Dead. Hillary did. All right. So now it shows kind of your outline. Sure. On like oh. what kind of path you took. And there's, uh, oh, oh and there's the a leader level is, your... is where I'm burning it. That's where I'm burning out. Stupid Zach right above me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I like where this is at. I like where this is at. <laughs> Wait, that leaderboard. Is that a live live leaderboard? Like That's it? live. All right. So people are playing this game already. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah the demo's out on Steam. Oh. Yep. When's the final product out? Uh, we just announced uh, April 9th. Very April 9th. cool. What platforms? We are on PC. Okay. Awesome. Of course, you should wishlist it right now, kindoffunny.com slash mix. Remember, we're asking you to go wishlist all the games you think are cool, but you can just wishlist all the games that we've put into the uh, spring uh, game showcase. Remember, of course, we've said it before, and we will continue to say it throughout the day because we're going for six hours with indie games. Uh, you can't underestimate how much your wishlists help. Isn't that right? Devolver Digital. It's true. Yeah. I like of how course. I make you speak for the entire company. <laughs> of course. Because that pisses Nigel off, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> now, you said this is for PC. Is this one that you guys are aiming for, like, Steam Deck verification? It's already Steam Deck verified. Oh, let's fucking go. Yeah, That's what I love on. to it's hear. You know what I mean? That's what yeah, I love yeah. to hear. Now, have you heard about the PlayStation 5 and things called Platinum Trophies? Because I think that'd be a great fit, Paul. You know, yeah, of course. Like that, you know? 
So it kind of hinted at uh, the destructible environments in this game. So you can blow up uh, that's cars. That's why Abe Froman the over there thing. is telling me to use the gas tank. Oh, that's what they were talking about in the, the thing. The, sure was. You see, you're sitting okay. here. I'm talking to you. I'm having a good he's time. Locked yeah, he's locked Yeah, he's I'm trying to get those headshots. I get it. <laughs> now, so five means I have five people alive. Zero means that's how many I've killed so far. Mm -hmm. Got it. Plus, you see the last guy? Uh, no, I don't have that good of eyesight. Oh, yeah. I think he's over on the right. Yeah, you said right, and I went left just like that. <laughs> just showing you a little bit. Time behind that car, I think. This car over here by one and two? Yes. I'm going to circle all the way around then, or as far as I can. Oh, no, as far as I can. This is bringing me back to Far Cry three days. <sighs> Marking that? everybody, take them out one by one. Most of the time, I think Phantom everybody eight. on the team, oh, they yeah. kind of just shoot and then find whoever in its path, right? Because you're eventually going to find some people in houses that you really can't see mm. um, until you get into the trenches of, yeah. you know. So is the strategy to, oh my god. So do I have unlimited time then when I turn the thing around? No, okay. I do not. Oh. Yeah, you like that, Wes? Now what happened? Oh, shoot. This well, here we go. Learning experience. Here we I'm going to go up to the space. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I was hoping I could inside have control. So well, you have to hit something. I decided to, to shoot God. Yep. <laughs> 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 Fucking falls out the sky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the family guy version of God. <laughs> okay, I like that. So I think the mapping for this is going for three and four. Uh-huh. Hit that gas tank first and then try no, to... No, no, no. Hit the people first. Okay. Um, and then hit the gas tank on the last one. Yeah, because you connect with the rest of the people on the right through another gas tank that's got in the it, back. Got it, got it, got it. So there's a path block. You can't see them, right? So look left. Uh huh. Shoot that yeah, gas tank the over car. there. Oh, so I can. Mm. Um, yeah. Imagine like that hit. You see one of your oh. homies get shot. The gas tank. And then right? you see the bullet rotate. Kevin, yeah. <laughs> it's my first time, Kevin. Yeah, but I get it. You should have had, you should have puzzle pop. Kevin, you're abusing, you're, you, Kevin, you're abusing, you're abusing, that is what you're abusing. This you're all abusing me now and I don't like it. <laughs> Again, the similar, like the similar thing to like the bullet rotating reminds me of Wild Wild West when they had like the little, um, like dangerous Frisbee. I don't know what you call it. The, <laughs> the Frisbee that was like chasing Will Smith and the other dude around in the grass. That that struck fear into me as a kid. You're not thinking, Greg. How can you hit someone if you can't see them? That's true. That is true. You can't hit somebody you can't see. It says failed because you're a loser. Isn't it Barrett? I, I think know. Barrett's supposed to take over the stream now. I don't think so. <laughs> One. Kev, I was going to put in a nice little okay. you know thing for the morning meeting about you. Now I'm not. <sighs> look at that. Zoom. Failure to look at the schedule. There, there we go. go. There we go. Shame. And then you got the guys all the way to the right. There you go. Thank you for helping him. He needs it. I didn't need the help. Why did I actually? I guess in the first part. <sighs> Abe Froman says, uh, I took them all out with just gas tanks. Shut up, Abe. How cool. about that? <laughs> all right, Abe? I love how you can Shut like, up, one more. create your own puzzle. Oh, shoot. Or create your own Abe! Space. God damn it, Abe! <laughs> to the window. Oh! <laughs> huh, what wow. Was that? What was that? Another Damn, failure, that's fucked huh? up. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is straight up whiff. <laughs> but again, if I'm that guy, I start believing in God. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, there was a bullet that kept rotating and kept hitting my homies. And it missed All the me. alternate universes. Yeah. Where, and then, like, he's still alive. He's like, damn. He's hmm. like, you guys won't believe what happened. All right. All right. So let's try to get Kev, all right? Just gas tanks now. Just gas tanks. Yeah. So later on, you're going to get um, the ability to turn the bullet also. Uh -huh. We're talking in one. See, that's the thing. I'm used to advanced. At, advanced. <laughs> Yeah, he usually has the devs give him all the, the special stuff, right? There we go. Wait, so 15.02. Oh, that's the score. Yep. Gotcha. thought that was the year. I was like, oh, this is distracting. It's 15.02. <laughs> There's a lot of cars. All right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you saw it! You saw it light You can't up! just wow. start Game whichever broken. car you that's want. That's why it's not out yet. Game's broken. I didn't know if you hit the brake lights. That doesn't look so like Shut up! You saw it light up! That's crazy. Guys! Who would have thought if you hit, if you hit the trunk of the car, it doesn't blow up? <laughs> you never, saw it go yellow! I believe in you, Greg. Thank you. Shitty, though, you know? Listen, I support my superiors. <laughs> all right? He's running the company. <laughs> if he's wrong about this, what else is he wrong about? <laughs> I don't know. Now, did I, obscure, did I do something? What did I do wrong this time? It Went looks like you go right underneath one. that. Right underneath, maybe we see the gas tank right there. Up higher. Eh, eh. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. There's a, hey. let's see oh, again. Yeah. Uh. Game's trying to work against me as always. Oh, you're right there. Oh, that's the stuff. That, 
That's it. Okay. Now everybody, you're gonna see it. Just kill the now, dude. Remember, that's It'll the be easier. Yeah. Just kill that's the, the dude. Light. <laughs> but you saw there it you light go. up. There yeah, but it's go. not going through the car. There you there go. It is. Yeah, you got it right. You got it. We right. did the Abe Froman way. All right. Pixelated Soul says this might be easier with a mouse. Not if my life depended on it. All right. Yeah, I love tracing the path. It's cool. That's very cool. This game's very cool. I love the art style too. Yeah. Remember, if you think it's very cool, kindoffunny.com slash mix, everybody. Go uh, wishlist it right now. Get the demo. Get ready for the game if coming. You walked in somebody's house and they had that painting. Are you I like, damn, they're cool? Or like, no, I'm not thinking they're cool. Because <laughs> I'm like, damn, this person's hardcore. I walk into Roger's house, he has that painting. <laughs> Just a bunch of skulls. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Roger's cooler than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, that's Leansis. <laughs> <laughs> she likes Sonic and skulls. <laughs> What's up, Roger? We're talking about how cool you are, Raj. Helia says, what's the dev's vision? Mouse uh, and keyboard or controller? Is there like a preference of how people should play it? Um, I think the majority of us play it with mouse and key, mm. right? Because uh, you get the mouse, the, the pretty accurate timing of the mouse. Um, we got to use WASDA. Yeah. Yeah, nobody can, wants to use WASDA. Can you zoom in? You can. Mm -hmm. How am I doing that? I was saying that for Greg's benefit. I think it's the right analog up. Left analog. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Well, that makes everything wow. easier. <laughs> yeah, no, they're dead. They're done. I'm not going to. I mean, like, <laughs> I got, these guys are done. Kevin <laughs> and Abe, they're giving me a lot of trash. I understand that. I understand that. Mm. I expected better from you, Paul. All right. Where we just saw me struggling to get the crosshair well, on the, the littlest. That's the fun thing. It's part about of it. learning. It's part of it. Yeah. Don't take his side. He's going to leave eventually. you got to stay yeah, yeah. here. I'm not <laughs> Okay, now we got a game changer on our hands, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we have inversion options? Of course. Look, yep. There you go. Yep. I'm just saying, Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out on PC. Apparently, they forgot. Everybody's really? Mad. Yeah. Wait, Everybody's they mad. Of <laughs> Children of the Sun. They forgot yeah, a lot of things. Plus, do you play inverted? No, I don't. But oh, okay. people on the people online. But Nick, the the freaks that are playing inverted, we're like, oh, where's inverted? And it's like, okay, it's 2024. You know, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> We've changed a lot in society. They're more progressive. We don't play <laughs> inverted. Greg, start with three. Things. Kevin, I will take that. I'm just looking for the sixth man. You know? Oh, I'm sorry. We have the little barcode covering that Got side. It. So I, I couldn't see him. I appreciate I, I appreciate you getting on my side, though, and help me, Kev. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's why we're the best hell divers. <laughs> and best friends. He's right there. Yep, yeah. I see him. I see him. Yeah, this is a Steam Deck musket. Wait, no, wrap around the yeah, other I can, side. I can is, see there, myself. is there another window there we can get through, or how are we catching that guy? <laughs> Number That's six? A good game. I'm going to do all the ones over there, and then I'll bring it across the... Yeah, but you need a straight line of sight. Oh, yeah, through the door, it looks like. I was going to say I can see myself playing this on the plane on Steam Deck, but now I'm like I'm envisioning somebody like looking over being like, oh, he's playing a cult <laughs> game. <laughs> well, you're taking revenge. dude really do it? <laughs> yeah, he's playing a cult so, sniper game. <laughs> I'm going to start here, Kev. How about yeah, that? Yeah, it sounds yeah. good. That's good. Yeah! Boom. I had a flight on uh, Saturday where I played Bellatro the entire flight. Oh, cool. It made that flight go by in like 10 minutes, and now I'm it like, I need, a, right. I need to stock up on more just flight games because I'm going to PAX on oh, Thursday. Nice. Yeah, and that's, what, five hours, four hours for a flight? Five. Five? But yeah, I got I to gotta stack up. Stack up. Maybe I finally get to Oh, come it. on! I screwed it. Yeah. Hit the car, Greg! <laughs> There's a wall. It's a wall. <laughs> Hey, you try. What do you want to do? It's not like I can rewind it, guys. <laughs> We're out of time. And I, you hate to see it. You do hate to see it, the way I've been treated. Bless, show That's that really works. what you hate to see, is the way I've been treated. Yet. Oh, Jesus says, Children of the Sun is also an excellent demo. Yes, it is. You can go get it when you wishlist it. Kindoffunny.com slash mix. Oh, that's easy. That, yeah, there, yeah. What do you mean that's easy? Yeah, There's got a so headshot. Oh, God. Yeah, no, this is the window, easy. the window, not that one. No, nope. not that one. No, no, it's too late. Wait, wasn't there another guy over here somewhere? There was. Yeah. What if I use him to get a better angle? Oh, yeah, he's right here. Oh, hold on, how do I zoom in? Oh, look at that. Right oh, bumper. oh we got him. But I, I'm not going to be able to see out this window, probably. Yeah, too low. Oh, ooh. yeah, this is rough, buddy. This is rough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is rough, buddy. Come on, come on. Ooh, you can like. Bullets that burn or bullets that hurt. You can like catch bullets. There's challenges. Fire. Yeah, this, so there's challenges. Um, really cool. A lot of different variables on how to score in this game, right? So uh, headshots and body shots and 
Amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, when is the game out, Paul? April 9th. You can get the Steam. Uh, go to Steam right now to wishlistkindoffunny.com slash mix. Of course, you could also get the demo there and then get ready for April. Yep. Thank you so much for coming through Thank and showing you, this. Guys. And, of course, Pepper Grinder. Yeah, when is Pepper it. Grinder out again? Uh, March 28th. I love it. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are still rolling on with the Spring Game Showcase Live. And welcome to the set right now. He's the master of hype, Snowbike Mike. He's the lock, Roger Picorni. And a little game called Sulphur. Hey, now, Mike. Hey, now. Hey, hey now, now, Mike. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. You're in all star. What? You bring candy? Right. You brought candy? Here? Is that Starburst? Yeah. What is that? Oh, we'll You're over there, that. one. I'm going to put you right in the middle. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, put, put them all there. there. Hey, everybody. off. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. With the smoke, Raj. Come on, man. Let me get the game up. Yo, what the heck is going on, everybody? Hopefully, you're having a great time checking out some awesome games right now during this live stream. I've been having a ton of fun, and now I'm teamed up with two cool dudes. Yeah. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Roger, you said, Mike, give me the oop. I'm yep. going to dunk it. I'm going to lead this thing. And so, Roger, sure. you got it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your Spring Game Showcase. I'm Roger Bercorny, yep. joined by Snowbike Mike, and joined by... Anton from Perfect Random to talk about Sulfur. Oh yes. my God, how exciting is this? We talked, we met last year yep. at the mix and we played your game. I played your game, ran up to you. I was like, this game's incredible. <laughs> this game's incredible. <laughs> took all of my friends, took all my coworkers, said, hey, everyone, let's play this game. Let's play Sulfur. Yes. And we were just all standing around and I looked at you, I was like, when can I play it? When is the game's release? And guess what? We have a demo out now. And I've been playing that for the last week. We're going to play it right here for you guys. Uh, Anton, how you doing? How you feeling? How's your the reception to the game been? It's been, thank you. Uh, yeah. It's been overwhelming. It's been really a lot of fun. We have thousands of players out there. Uh, how cool. I think we have concurrently like 300 players 24-7 playing the game. Oh gosh, um, half of them are out. in China. <laughs> wow! Yeah, a lot of time. Uh, Found an audience. People yeah. are excited over there. I don't know about that. But, yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So, how has it been releasing a demo for your game? Has it been like a massive coming out party for you guys and the team? Of like, you know, I know when you guys are making a video game, it can feel, especially in an indie team, can feel very lonely, right? You're making yeah. this game. You're like, I don't know if anyone's gonna like this. You put it out there. The demo is out there. People are playing. Three hundred people are playing at any given time. <laughs> yeah. How has it been in terms of like the community's feedback and and their thoughts on the game? So so it's been it's been incredible. We didn't know what to expect yeah. at all because we have uh, we we have a following, you know. But we've been working without anything playable. Only trailers. We were part of the show last year, uh, showing the game. And um, so we, I've been making stupid jokes on TikTok, you know, <laughs> and hopefully people are following and wishlisting game, and it's been going pretty well. Yeah. But it, now we actually have something playable. Which yeah. Is That's neat. exciting stuff. Now, for people who might not be in the know, like me and Roger, who love the game, what is the game? What What's going on here? Yeah. So you're uh, you're chasing down this witch, right? Your car. You get some flashbacks there. What's <laughs> actually going on? Uh, and you see that that's where you came from. Your your church is oh. burning. <laughs> oh no! It's really dark and grim. <laughs> yeah. This this, this uh, game has a lot of. <laughs> but then that's the the witch you're chasing down. Um, I love it. So so this is where where the game starts. This is all you know, uh, and uh, this is who you are. So, it's a first person shooter. Uh, this is a tutorial where where you get to kind of get introduced to the the universe. Oh, the amulet. That's and the demo picks up right here, yeah. dude. This is all yeah. the demo. Oh, this yeah. is sweet. Yeah. The cool thing about this is when I when I played the the demo that you had last year at the mix, there was no story. At least the section that you guys started us off right. at. So when I put up boot up the demo, I was like, oh god, you guys got something cooking here. Yeah. Tell us <laughs> tell us a little about the story. And like, I know we start off here. We don't want to spoil anything, but you have an amulet. You you have a town. You have characters. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little about that. Yeah. So it's a whole like dialogue tree i don't we went pretty d far down the road of, of, <laughs> of dialogue but it's great so it's uh it's it's, it's not planescape torment level yeah but there's a lot of of things to uncover here uh if you just want to run and shoot and and experience like the action adventure of the game you can just press like moving on yeah and just keep going uh but this is for the people who like the lore and want to actually know what's going on yeah. um and there's a lot of uh 
There's a lot to uncover here. Yeah. What's actually happening. Absolutely. What was that like writing all the lore? Did you have fun diving deep and getting a little weird with it? How oh, was yeah. that? Was it challenging? <laughs> yeah, so it, it ended up, as you said, we owned, we didn't have much story for the player to experience. <laughs> yeah. But we have been talking about it for a long time. There's a lot of lore uh, around where you are. You are in this sulfur, this kind of ethereal realm oh. where you get stuck uh, in the circumstances of, of, uh, of this, uh, your church burning down and and you're trying to uncover what happened. And I mean, you have the question there in the beginning, who am I, where yeah. am I? <laughs> like, that's kind of like tongue in cheek. Like we, we, we know that's, that's what people are asking, yeah. but, and it's kind of like in your face in, in, a, in a funny way. So we mix these themes of like, it's dark and kind of moody, but then it's also like, Humorous, right? Yeah, and yeah. you will see that in the art style, right? I mean, we haven't even gotten to the enemies of the game yet. So, yeah, here's uh, our infamous. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you know about the 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 video we made with the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And when you see the art style of this game, right? Like it is such an interesting mix, right? Because right here, it's like it looks like a cute little cartoon thing sometimes, and then it's like, oh, look how gory this game gets. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. like, we're gonna see that a lot as we play this demo, and it, it is it is awesome how much you guys lean into what this game is, right? Like, in terms of the art style, in terms of the humor. Uh, tell me about that mix of, like, trying to make it funny, but also leaning, hey, we're gonna make, when you cut somebody, you can just keep on cutting them. You could just make it super gory. I mean, <laughs> for us, the mix came pretty, I yeah. mean, it might seem like we're forcing it, but it's very natural. Yeah. Like, we, we like the, the layer like sprites and the gore and like the damage tech we're working with uh, but we also like we take our craft really seriously like we're we don't we don't take ourselves too seriously <laughs> but we take like the experience very seriously so it, it is like it has this like vibey music which people wouldn't expect, like this beats uh, amping up pretty. Yeah, hard. the hip hop beats. I did not expect that. Who's on the track? Famous. Who's who's making the music? So that that's an artist called Spectre. It's like a friend we met through game jams. Cool. He's a Swedish guy, uh, programmer uh, by trade, and he's not famous for his music, but we love it. So we've been listening to it for a long time. Put in the game, <laughs> asked him it was okay. Eventually, yeah. Now we have the rights for the music. How awesome! That's great stuff. And how big is the team you're working with? For We're this? four people. So cool. I love that. So we're a very small team. Uh, we have Simon making all the art. Uh, we have Felix doing the, the anim gun animations, the clickety -click 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 juicy stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. and the levels. The levels you're, you're going through are handcrafted. Yeah. Um, but then we procedurally puzzle them together. Oh, That's interesting. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Ola doing all the programming, which is uh, not a small <laughs> feat. Because uh, we we're cramming in a lot in this game, right? There's so many systems. We have the dialogue. That dialogue is now localized into 12 languages. Wow. Oh, Whoa, God. okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's for the demo, because we yeah. wanted the coverage of the of demo. Course. Otherwise, it wouldn't work in China, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so let's talk about the weapons really quick of like the amount of customization and I'm, hopefully we get some of that here in this demo because it is random and you know sometimes I go for yeah. a run and I'm like, God, give me a silencer please and I don't get it. But then sometimes I go, I'm like, oh wow, I got a scope, I got a silencer. Tell right. me about like how much, how many weapons are there in the game and how many customization options are there? Right, so we take we take like we the weapons really seriously in, in, in like how, how, they, how they, you experience them and how you can customize them. Mm -hmm. Like the player like, uh, should be very, be very like have good agency around that so you can enchant them with anything uh, No matter the gun you can also put any modifier on them. So like that's laser so sights sick. scopes uh, Barrel extensions and that's it. How much is too much on the attachments? <laughs> like when was the line where you're like, okay, that's too much <laughs> Never <laughs> I mean, only if they're, It doesn't fit because there's already, already something there awesome and um, for now you can't remove them So it's kind of a okay a, a risky thing when you're Ooh. starting out the game and okay like, like you could put like a uh, uh, like, you know uh, sniper scope on the the starter gun, which I did, which I did. I, yeah. I I would I did it as a joke of like, oh, this is not gonna work, and it worked, it and worked. I was <laughs> I was blown away. I was blown away. And it could be good for stats, but like the ADS thing, like if you right click and you you aim down sight, it might it might not be as easy as as it was before you put it on there. But it might give you stats, so it might increase your crit chance or or lower your if you put on a silencer, it lowers your spread. Sick. So there's a lot of like strategy to how you. Oh, okay. Guns. And you have some 3D printed guns. I mean, we gotta right. show these off. We gotta talk about it. We gotta it. talk right. about the props. There's How? the Mossman. Yep. This is, uh, this is the, the 
the shotgun. Like so the, cool. The, the basic shotgun of the game, my favorite weapon. And this is the Dirk, the star gun we can see now playing in the game. How cool to create your weapons and then have them 3D printed and be able to model them off and show them it's off as been, props. It's so cool. How it's cool. Been, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, and like, you underestimate how fun it is to yeah. have props. Like, oh, come on. Uh, I ate the thing and it killed me and I didn't read the thing. God, oh, no, uh, I didn't see it. Oh, I was no. looking at the guns. That yeah, we weren't looking. Move, we weren't looking. That was a look. rookie move. Game plays. Like, yeah. most people die within the first 10 minutes. Oh, I did, yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of what we're going for. Because the game loop is you die, you respawn <laughs> here. And how you get here, you get a little story bite of, of uh, like, oh, the grave here digger. you are again. I love it. Of course, you're in, it's a road light. You're in this endless kind of loop. Yes. Dying and awakening oh, really? here. And you're trying to get, release yourself. Okay. And everybody you know in your congregation. Yes. Uh, I love this. What oh, the hell okay. are you smoking? What is that that you're smoking? Yeah, that, that was the first question that I had. Right? Smoking, and I was bro. so happy when he had it. Pure sulfur. There we go. Oh, no, nasty maybe. habit, man. <laughs> in there. Hot that's, commodity. That's cool. So, yeah, the die, rinse and repeat. What is that like as, like, someone who might be banging their head against the wall, having some problems? Is there some good checkpointing systems? Is it always going to be, hey, start from the beginning? What's that like? Yeah, so, I mean, if you finish the first area, you get to the seventh floor. Uh, there's a boss, the goblin cuss in there. If you beat him, you will unlock the second area. Okay. So it's a bit like Diablo or like the old school, like Banjo Kazooie, you know, hub world where you go to the next level, um, which works pretty well, we think. Uh, but the demo has the first level, so it's this one. Cool. So we have multiple biomes you unlock. Okay. And I mean, if you die, you drop everything you're carrying with you, but you could, you can leave it at, in the hub and it will be safe there. How, how many biomes do you have? Do we, do we know that yet? Or is that secret? Yeah, so that's kind of to be announced. Okay. Oh, say. exciting, okay. okay. Like we we have a lot of uh, things planned for, yeah. for, for the game. After this, you uh, you enter the, the town area of the game. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, there's a sewer that connects into the lower castle, the upper cool. castle. You'll, you'll fight the Saint Lucia, Lucia, uh, who is uh, Saint Lucy. It's like an old Christmas tradition in Sweden. Fun that we think is a bit like sectish and weird and a bit scary. <laughs> and there's a lot of like religious iconography in this game. So like put her in there here as, as a boss. Cool. Uh, but that hasn't been, like we have made a few tweets about it, but that's okay. gonna be for the full game later. Tell me yeah. about, oh, sorry. Go, tell no, me, go, tell me about this guy. He, he yeah, was, that's he, a goblin civilian. So he's just, oh, okay. So I've just been killing him every time. He's been running away. I thought maybe yeah, he's he was gonna explode. get out. He's trying okay. to live, the way. And, he gotta... nev and he never has anything for me, right? Like no, he's just hanging I mean, out. You can, you, can, you can keep shooting him yeah. and like mm -hmm. harvest like body parts. Okay, yeah. Uh, so if that. you shoot him, you can you can get like organs. No, not with the knife. Oh, okay. It'll ruin the yeah. They, they will spawn like uh, gotcha. broken. Okay. But if you shoot them like in the head, you yeah. might get like an eye or a tongue or a brain. Interesting. <laughs> if you shoot them like in the lower torso, you might get a liver. Oh wow! Or, like, kidney. If it goes that deep. If you're by the throat, you get a thyroid. Like so. So there's a lot of things you can like. Harvest okay, and then sell. Okay, oh, you sell them. Okay, I was gonna say, what am I getting? Yeah, for the can you harvest? cook what them? Am I doing? You can cook them too. Okay, and so the recipes we have in the game right now is like you can make like old Germanic food. So, gotcha. for example, I think if you take the mystery meat yeah. and, and some some water, you might be able to make like a stew. Oh, interesting. Oh, there you go. oh there you go. snap. Okay, uh, all this now. So that that will like amplify a bit yes. what you get from that. Uh, if you would have had like if you kept shooting him, you got yeah. a bone. Okay, you could buy the bone with water you get broth oh, and if you oh. if you mix the broth with the snail you get escargot yeah i, I love that uh, so that you can like get, make french food there's a lot of european food in this game uh because we eat weird shit so how fun <laughs> Uh, so, so I made most of the recipes in the game. Oh, you did! Uh, yeah, that's so cool. That's my biggest contribution. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you? How are you doing that? Are you just? Are do you have items in the game that you're now like putting together? And you're like, oh, okay, I guess that is as cargo, I mean, and then you're I, thinking I, that I way. To, I, with making the recipes, I just got to be like the professional idea guy. Yeah, and I mean, I, I, <laughs> it's a cool job. I, I mean, the modular. I love like, that. Our program made a modular system that's very elegant, where we can add stuff pretty quickly. Yeah, and then our artist drew all the all the things I wrote down. Uh, and of course, we Fun. implemented all these recipes. We, we're gonna add a lot of more food. Uh, and their later stages of the game have like, you can make pastry 
and you oh. know, shock, Swedish chocolate balls. Oh, oh well, talk like about the perfect. Chocolate. So that leads perfect me into transition. what I got here. <laughs> yeah, you brought me some candy. You brought yeah. me and Roger some candy to try. This is not a We the, just like candy. Oh, we just love candy. Is yeah, right. So Mike like, loves candy. <laughs> could we yes. one day get some candy in the game? Maybe. Okay. Maybe, okay. Hopefully, like okay. sponsor us. Contact me. Yes. <laughs> Ikloetta or Marabou, if you're watching this show, <laughs> call me and find me on, on in the yellow pages. Uh, all the registries are open in Sweden. Oh, I love that. Okay. Call me. So I got I got some candy. I want to try really quick with you. This is Swedish candy. What is this? So that's a Kex. This is Kex. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, yeah, try it. What's it's, the best description of it? What, what, is it a Twix bar? It's is like, it a, a Kit Kat? It's like a better, better Kit Kat. Better yeah, Kit Kat? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, Kit Kat. Like, are, are these are That's big words. Those wow. are fighting words. Okay, <laughs> homie, that's some big words is right. <laughs> Swedish candy is the best. Kit like, Kat is do nailed a lot it. Of, like, obviously <laughs> the food like is, is like gooey mixture of intestines and stuff. But we, we know how to make chocolate. Uh, like chocolate, we know. Like, but the things we did in the 1800s, we're not as proud of. <laughs> Yo, it's a better Kit Kat. Yeah, it is, right? <laughs> Give me some. Yeah. I'm gonna need a bite. Here. Split that me. Look at us. Nice. They're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah that's really right. good. Mm -hmm. It has a lot more crunch. All the sweetest in the shot. Be, be proud. Yes. Be very proud. That is delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite candy out of these? Uh, my like, favorite. Do is you love one? Uh, okay, no, you like the Kex? Sweets or not Marabo. So that's fake Swiss chocolate made by Swedes. Ooh. That's better. Okay, Swiss which one? This one? one? Oh, one. this one. Yeah. Okay, okay. So like that's fake Swiss, but it's much better than Swiss chocolate in my opinion. Oh, we got to um, get this in the game too. We got to tell them, call you up, <laughs> call you up right away. Let's make it happen. Yeah, isn't that cool that you and your team get to create this and you guys can put in whatever you want or, you know, try to put in stuff like this. Yeah, but yeah like, I mean, we, we put in like, you can find like three sorts of milk in the game. Okay. So, like, like milk is a big, big thing. You know, you know, like some states here, like Minnesota, I think. Yes, Maybe. Minnesota has happy cows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. California yeah. likes to say they got the best cows, but you know, we, that's like a we have a competition heritage. about that. We're like all Wisconsin. Um, okay. So, so we, we have three sorts of milk in the game, which are like labeled by color. And that's how we buy milk. And that's kind of a joke because nobody knows what, the, <laughs> what we're up, up to. Uh, but you need certain milk to make certain pastry later in the game. Okay, okay. So you can make a better milkshake with red milk because that's obviously whole milk. How fun. Everybody knows that red milk is the best milk. Um, I like that. I, uh, okay. I might be a blue milk guy, 2%. I'm a 2% guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we, yeah. we got blue as 2%. I'm a 2% guy right now. Oh, yeah. Two, the blue mi milk back home is 0.5%. Oh, okay. Wow. That's, like, okay. that's like low okay. fat milk. We do it but, different. But then America. people are going to fight me about this because mm. it's different different parts of Sweden. So the color system is not even, <laughs> it's not even so, you know, consistent. Uh, I just want to point out, everybody, that I did find a secret in this game. I got a fin over here. I'm a real gamer. Uh, let's talk about the customization. Yeah. I love the idea that you can have different shoes. Makes me happy. I think it. I, you don't get to see your character, but I just imagine my character just looking crazy with just one fin. Uh, tell me about like the different outfits that you can have and their buffs and how many you have. and all Yeah, that. so we have people like shouting how stupid it is that you can wear two different <laughs> types of shoes. The best. It, the best. We, we implemented that. I like cringed when I saw it the first time oh, really? they, they put it in the game because like oh shit what are we doing but it's like it, it provides more agency yeah and absolutely. i think it's a great it's a great like another customization you can do why not you know yeah why, why do that you don't see that together? much in games and 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 uh, my my co-founder simon used to say it always says like it would be kind of unrealistic that would like be two pair of shoes yeah like, in this Goblins don't know to pair them up. <laughs> of course, them. of course. Um, like, it wouldn't make sense, right, if they came together. And now he just leveled up his pistol right there. It said the oh. dirt just leveled up. What does that mean? How do I level it up? So, by killing enough enemies, and any weapon will le level okay, up. Okay, okay. Um, so, and you will get a slot where you can put enchantment or oils. So you can, like, triple bullets, double bullets. Sick, increase your okay. chance, make them into fire bullets, you know, um, different elemental damage and other modifications. Okay, I like that system. Okay, how many guns are there? Can you share that? How, a lot of guns, a little bit of guns. What, what's the what's the number? If you can I don't share know the that count. number, you, I, okay. I guess an Roger, stop eating the there. mushrooms. I'm eating the mushroom. I'm just looking for health. You but know like, what I mean? really quick, you should try this chocolate. You eat the, the false. Salt I think I cap? I'm just eating everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, eat the false salt I'm just cap. eating everything. Eat this chocolate. This might be the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. 
I, there's no, just, I just have to say that really quick. That might be the best chocolate I've ever had in my Mike, entire Mike, life. Save some of me. Save some of me, Mike. I'm it's crazy good. Them. There should be three pizzas there, Roger. Try a little piece. <laughs> that is a really good piece of chocolate. <laughs> Oh, I'll shit. send you God more. Oh, send my you God. It is the perfect blend right there. Oh, my they, gosh. They figured oh that gosh. chocolate out. It's a little dark in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not just, like, our milk chocolate, which is awful. Like, this is, that's actually really good. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, hey, you came with the bribes, and we appreciate it. Right. You know? yeah, well, <laughs> we'll we'll this, take like, it. Turned into a, like an ad for Swedish chocolate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everybody stop for a second. Is right. <laughs> uh, anyway, really quick, talking about the enemies, right? We have yeah. what are these little guys. What are they called? The so jumpers. These are, these are the goblin young. Oh, okay. Like the baby goblins. Goblin young. Nice. They originated okay. because uh, Simon, who does all the art, mm -hmm. he he came back from from having his third child. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, he got inspired and put a baby in the game. Smart. <laughs> well, one that you can shoot. Yeah. <laughs> kind of messed up, but I appreciate it. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah, you missed on. You didn't actually equip it. Oh, you God just it. threw it out. I just threw it out. What yeah. do you know? He did just I, throw that out. there somewhere. I can oh. see it. Oh, there you go. Okay, what do I do so, with it? So the sheriff badge will, okay. will give you uh, rev added vol revolver damage. Oh. Cool. So you need to find a revolver if you equip it. It's also really valuable to sell. Oh, so, okay. Cool. So the game started with you talking to the amulet, yeah. right? And conversing about like how, how, so that's your assistant. That's your like, your ally uh, in this, uh, what you're going through. So that, that can pull you out of here um, if you have a charge. Mm. So you start the game, but don't eat those. Things. Yeah, I just realized. <laughs> Roger, I'm not don't be eating them. I'm trying to throw them out. I'm just looking for food. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about I that. I can eat these I, bad boys, right? I was so I was so distracted by, all the <laughs> by his bad gameplay. All, all, the, all the other stuff. <laughs> but I should I should attend the game better. Um, so what you what you can do? Um, what we're we talking about? We we're on to something. <laughs> uh, oh, what we're talking about? We're talking about the oh the revolver. The revolver. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, anything you bring with you, you're yeah. risking your run. So you can bring stuff out of here if you have a charge on your amulet. But you Sorry. that's limited as well. You need to find okay. a shrine where you can charge it like you did by the mother's blood mm. in the beginning of the game. Um, and is that like deeper into the cave system? Like is that a, at a specific right. number or is it random? Right. So that, there will be one, spoilers, right before the boss. Okay. Um, okay. You, you'll okay. get one that, so you'll get another charge and that will also Whoa. like hate <laughs> you about like, you have the chance to go home now or fight the boss. Um, okay. You can also charge it in the hub. Through the 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 gravekeeper. Um. Holy crap! I hate these guys. I hate these guys. I hate these guys, and I hate the th that guy. I hate that guy. This the guy archer. is my nightmares. Oh, Let me okay. tell you what. Because every single time I think I'm having a good wrong, just I don't know, boom, just in my head, and I'm dead every single time. <laughs> uh, do Do you have a favorite enemy uh, that that your team has, or a favorite enemy to hate? Um, I think my favorite enemy to hate are the dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they, they're always intimidating. Just like, always. like no matter how 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 like kitted I am, <laughs> even if I'm playing well and don't get hurt, I still get like heart. <laughs> yeah, pounding right. So now you get some bread. Okay. Some mushrooms. I don't see any recipes here for you, but okay. if you find some more, you can make sandwiches. Like oh, you find okay. Some butter. Or you some, can't make a mushroom sandwich. Cheese. Interesting. No, but if you find like an egg, you can make a mushroom omelet. Oh, oh okay, that's okay. fun right like there. That. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And are these recipes, once you like use them, saved anywhere? Or is it just, hey, you gotta memorize uh, it. You gotta get a note. Uh, mm, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, may maybe we'll add that. I mean, either um, way, I like it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if, if, if it's not if it's not like in the settings or anything, I'm gonna take a no uh, note card and I'm just gonna start writing them down. You know what I mean? We started, like, there's a thread on our Discord. Okay. Uh, where, where people are sharing, uh, and people are uncovering recipes very quickly. Yeah. This game. Wait, <laughs> like, amazing. Even the really rare ones, like the things that are really like rare to find, they make they make like you know very rare items out of it. So that's fun. Like Swedish pancakes, mm. uh, you need like the other milk. If you have buttermilk, you can make American pancakes and stuff like that, which is like very convoluted <laughs> enough to figure out. Uh, which is like almost a joke, but people figure it out and it's uh, powerful items. Are there any hidden ones that you still have that you're like, oh, I'm waiting for them to uncover this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Interesting. Sweet. That's, sweet. A, that's a challenge to y'all. Yeah. The Sulfur no, fans out there. Not everything try to find is, it. is uncovered yet, but wow. we have a, you can join our Discord at ourdiscord.com. That will oh. redirect you. I got that for a dollar. No way. Yeah. Ourdiscord.com. Yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> so, I was like, man, what does he mean by that? Oh, that's just what you meant. No, just ourdiscord.com. You guys are you guys are, are killing. Brilliant. Me, that's that's brilliant. I mean, he, hey, listen. At, at least let's say the game doesn't work out, you can sell that million dollars. Million dollars right there. You know what I mean? That's the backup. That's the backup. I actually checked on GoDaddy. I think it's worth like they told. I mean, they probably lying, but they said that it's worth like ten grand. Yeah, it probably wow. is. It truly is. So I, I guess somebody just didn't pay their bill. And, and now you, right right place, right time. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. I just needed a domain because we were releasing the demo. So I was yeah. like, I was looking up something. Yeah. <laughs> Our Discord. Because it's so <laughs> like, we need like a gazillion, you know, Nitro subscribers to get a custom domain. It's too long and like, yeah. ugh. Smart. So yeah, it's cheaper. Smart. I love we it. have people supporting the Discord now. So you can, like, it is, it's also slash solve for game. But of course. I mean, it's, yeah. That's good. What kind of fun stuff is going on in the Discord? You're talking about recipes, people giving you feedback. What What is that community like over there? Oh, it's great! Like we have, we have so many people playing playing the game and like giving us feedback and and having like things happening in the game, like weird moments and their outfits and how they're you're you're gearing up differently and having different tactics. I'm I'm surprised you can actually like have a combo of like just an entire row of sheriff badges. No. <laughs> we didn't put a cap. Nice. On. So that's like a really obvious, like the best strategy to have a revolver and yeah, just yeah, add yeah. them up. And everything like, uh, I didn't, I've never done that. Like yeah. people are playing this game way more than I thought I had. I've uh, 350 hours in this game. Wow. Uh, yes, I, 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 love I, that. I don't play it for the first time and like, like real gamers are playing it. So yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely. Uh, so we're coming up on the end of the time. Sulfur 2024. Demo's out now. Wishlist it now. Anything else? Uh, Discord? Yeah. yeah, so join our Discord at ourdiscord.com. You can also find the Sulfur Steam page by going to trysulfur.com. Okay. Um, and yeah, wishlist the game, Hell yeah. play it, check out the demo, yeah, and follow our progress. We're going to release later this year. Hell yeah, see how fast you can get through the entire first biome. Because, I mean, I'm still not even, I, I've been playing this on my own, still haven't been able to get to the ending, I'm the sorry. The arts are on your right. I mean, it's I easier to hear them if yes. you're wearing headphones. That, that like, is true, hey! That's the reason why. Right. That's the reason yeah. I'm not yeah. doing well. That's the reason I'm not doing well. You would hear them passing your head, and you would be yeah, like, okay, exactly. I should probably should watch out. I see, I, I, oh, you I ranked that. up again. Uh, uh, very good, Roger. Re really quickly before we end, I just want to give you guys uh, your flowers, because uh, the gunplay in this game, incredible. Very like, good. The gunplay in this game, that was the thing that really got me in in the beginning of like, I came over, I was like, this feels like Call of Duty. This feels like so good to play. And uh, playing it on mouse and keyboard brought me back to that. And I'm super excited for it. Congratulations, thank Anton. You so Congratulations much. to your entire yeah, team. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Excited for, for it, playing. everybody. Four great guys. Awesome team over there. A lot of great energy. Please go out and wish list this game. Go check out the demo because it is a ton of fun. And we love supporting these guys. Me and Roger got amped up just to see you again. So we are ride or die for you. We cannot wait to see the game on a full release. All thank right. you for having us. <laughs> thank you. Hell All right, everybody. The games don't stop. More. More fun coming your way right now. Get ready for Tim Geddes and a whole new team. And Blessing. All right. Oh, Blessing. And Blessing's there. Woo! Get you in that third seat right there. Mike never wants to give me credit, you know? Hey, Mike, right, Mike looked me in the eyes and said, Tim Geddes in the team. <laughs> Every single time wants to deny me. How What's you up, feeling, man? Bless? Hey, how's it going? I'm feeling good. Now, who is supposed to host this segment? Uh, also, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I think it's me, but okay. like, uh, you can do it if you want. No, I was just curious. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great, man. I'm Tim Geddes, everybody. This is Blessing. And of course, That's we have me. Tony Grayson from Summit Sphere today. Thanks for having me, man. Tell a little Anton Blast. Just a little bit. Very, little very bit. exciting stuff. Again, thank you to everybody hanging out with us all day here on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, the best way to support all of the amazing devs today is to wishlist their games on Steam. So go check that out. There's a QR code that's popping up all over the place. You can click that, um, or you can go to kindoffunny.com slash mix to do it, and it'll help everybody out. We appreciate you. I hope you're all having a great time. I hope you're seeing games that you love, uh, games you've never heard of, maybe some that you've been anticipating getting a little bit more one line like Anton Blast, a game that me and Bless saw, yes. and both of us are like, oh, oh yeah. this is up our alley, up a show. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you. Let me get you up on the mic here oh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Kiss the mic. Get up in yeah, there. Yeah, you got to kiss that thing. You got to so, kiss that thing. I guess my first question is, what are the inspirations for Anton Blast? <sighs> Do you really have to ask? Oh, I know. Right? Really, right. <laughs> I just want to hear it from your, yeah. from your mouth to God's okay. ears. Okay, so obviously, we like Wario. We like Wario a lot. A um, couple oh, of other Wario. things that probably... I mean, some people have been catching on more. Um, we started with Wario as a base. We're also massive Crash Bandicoot fans, 
right? Just like Crash 1, Crash 2, Crash People 3. People love taste, everybody. Uh, we actually love CTR as well. Good. The and best kart racer of that generation, the, some would say. The best kart right racer. The, PS, okay. the PS1 and 4 generation, it is. right? Oh, man. It is. I don't know. I would Diddy say. Kong Racing exists, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, Diddy listen. Racing. Diddy Kong Racing walks a Crash Team Racing could run. 100%. That's really where I'm at. You know, oh, listen, I'm not. Th- I this like is, this. This, like, isn't, this, this is... isn't the stream to argue, all right? We got to play this. We got to show off uh, the game. We can stay here for 30 minutes to talk about why Diddy Kong Racing. So, hold on. Why are you bringing up Crash Team Racing, though? I'm... So, uh, we have a pretty interesting movement mechanic here, which I can get into a little more once we get playing. We'll probably want to get that full screen, right? Yeah, I think we're still in the process of setting uh, it up. Yeah, actually, you guys are supposed to set it up. I was just trying to help. So, oh. could, uh, Tim, can you grab the mouse there yes, and, and hit options, hit full screen, and then we should be ready to run? There it is. It'll work with gamepad. Okay. Oh, I don't even think oh. it's on, though. It uh, if, on. You, if you turn it on, it'll be on. Oh. Yeah. It might be out of battery. Oh, nope, oh, no, nope, we're good. Nope, hold nah, on, hold nah, on. Nah, we're rocking. Cool All right, go it'll for it. It'll turn on in a second. Hold on. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Doing the blinky blink thing. I mean, you can set it up on the options while I do this. Boom. But yeah, you can keep, keep so talking here. We're, we're like WASD here, so WASD, JK. Hell yeah. So yeah, what's yeah. the Crash Team Racing Right, about? so this is going to be a little hard to, to explain without having the game in front of us for context, mm-hmm. but uh, you can't really have like a modern, successful indie game without having fun movement. Mm. And we didn't really want to just do like, okay, here's Wario Land again. So uh, I always really enjoyed like Wario's charging move, mm-hmm. but I thought, how can we make that a little crazier? Can we swear on this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I fucking love Crash Team Racing's boost mechanics. Yes. And I was like, what if we just took these racing boost game mechanics and implemented them into a platformer? Okay. So we're going to see a little bit of that. We have like a what we call the clutch boost, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, this is the first level of the game, Boiler City, Anton's Hood. And uh, yeah, that's Dynamite Anton over there. Uh, should I just... Like waffle on about go for it, man. Yeah. Now, I just okay. want to let you know real quick because, like, obviously, you look at this and it looks like Wario Land, uh, a game series that I I would say I respect more than I, I actually have too much ex- experience with. I'm right. a Wario Land guy, yeah. But obviously, looks fantastic. You're talking about Crash Team Racing uh, movement there, like that yeah. sounds incredibly cool. Oh, thank you very much. So uh, to go into a little detail on what the story is here, because that's actually something that um, we have a public demo. This is a little more advanced than that one. Uh, the story was something that people always bitched about. Like, oh, we don't know what's going on here. It could be anything. So I'll explain. Yes. You play as Dynamite Anton. You can see him right there. And uh, you're on a death mission to hell to kill Satan after he's stolen your prized spirit collection. Great. Love Sa- that. Satan's stolen your spirit collection because he's jealous of how much more red you are than he is. Okay. okay. So uh, <laughs> that's really the uh, genesis. That's everything you need to know. Yeah, everything you need to know. Uh, again, you can't, oh. you can't have a great platform without a great story. So. Yeah, and you, you said Genesis. Speaking of Genesis, I'm getting some Genesis vibes from the music here. Oh, well, thank you very much. I actually composed the soundtrack myself. No way. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh. That is super cool. What were some of the inspirations there? Well, I mean, of course, we look at, like, you know, those classic games, right? Like, Earthworm Jim was a big one. A uh, little taboo to talk about the music for that these days. But, um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've all seen the videos. <laughs> But um, obviously, like Earthworm Jim growing up was a great inspiration. Uh, the Crash music was a big inspiration. A big part of the process with the music here was those old games. Actually, I'm going to go the other direction here for a second. One of our primary mechanics here is actually a 2.5D layer jump mechanic. So if you stand on that spring there and you hold uh, the okay. orange there, yeah. If you hold up and jump, oh, oh. you go into the background. Oh, tropical yeah. freeze Love of you. That. Very tropical freeze. That game is cool. another massive inspiration for us. Um, you guys got a lot of good inspirations. <laughs> well, I'd like to think so. <laughs> uh, we can only hope to get close to matching them. But uh, with respect to the music, one of the really important factors was like all those classic games like Earthworm Jim, Crash, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. You know, they had sequence music, right? And that's a big part of the feel, but they didn't have like real-time audio processing or anything. And you know, we don't really have data restrictions or anything in terms of space. So we were like, hey, let's just go and source those original machines that they use, those original data files that they use to make that music, all the old instruments, etc. So, you know, I I can tell you, oh, here's what the Marimba and Crash was. Like I know what that's that is. Awesome. Uh, it's an emulated Proteus one for anyone watching at home. If you wanna <laughs> if you wanna like just go and make bootleg crash music like me, then go for it. Um, and we just take that stuff, but we also do like modern mixing and mastering, because now we're streaming music, right? So 
it sounds a little more powerful than that stuff used to. Um, but beyond like the game inspiration, because I'm, between us, even though we're making something that is distinctly inspired, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of, okay, we like games, let's make stuff by, that's inspired by games. So for me, like my musical inspirations, I love Nine Inch Nails, you know, I love Rage Against the Machine, like that kind of stuff moved me a lot. Um, and then we have a lot of New Jack Swing stuff, like of course. Michael Jackson, yeah. all that shit. That's here too. So. Hopefully we're making something that lives up to that stuff, but if not, it's probably good too. So a lot of the games you're talking about from a, a gameplay side are, uh, I'd say the more like, it's a weird way to put it, but non-traditional 2D platformers. It's not the Sonics. Like you citing Crash Bandicoot, a little more 3D there, but like yeah. Wario uh, Land. Like what is it about those games that is uh, unique? Well, I mean, it's the road less traveled, right? Like I can, I wouldn't be able to count how many Sonic inspired platformers there are out there, which is great. Like I love those games. Um, like Sonic Adventure for me is one of the greatest platformers ever made. <laughs> but again, you know that's kind of the road that uh, everyone's traveled. And for us, like how many Wario Land inspired games are out there? Um, <laughs> now, but um, uh, there's not many. How many Crash inspired games are out there? I mean, outside of like the PlayStation One days when everyone was making like, yeah. their own bootleg. Like, hey, I loved Eminem's Shell Shock. That game was oh great. Oh my God, Eminem Shell Shock. I like this guy, Tony. <laughs> you need to hang out more. <laughs> Anytime. But um, yeah, it's the road less traveled. You know, for me, it's weird because Crash in particular is a game that sold millions upon millions of copies. These are games that are ostensibly successful and they're still successful. Like the Insane Trilogy has mm -hmm. sold millions, like tens of millions, yeah. right? But people really don't take lessons from those games. Like with us, when we were making this game, obviously it's a 2D game, so maybe the influence in terms of design isn't as apparent. But for us, we looked at, okay, would Crash just a mechanical die, die again approach, right? Yep. So in our case, the Wario Land games really aren't very difficult. They're kind of more exploration platformers. Yeah. I wanted to make something that was hard as nails. So Blessing's having a good time with this, but a lot of people haven't. <laughs> um, I'm a gamer, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. hell yeah. So that was really like a big part of our approach. Like, you're gonna die a lot in this game. You're gonna have funny death animations. Crash Bandicoot. Yep, very Crash in that respect. And again, that's just stuff that maybe you're not seeing too often these days. And you know, I also really just appreciate, again, we're citing Crash here because that's kind of like people at home are going to understand. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, if I go and cite like, hey, I love this part of Earthworm Gym 2 specifically, you know, who's playing those games? I but. mean, one thing I'm kind of loving is like each area having its own little name that pops up. Oh yeah, that was a big one. So if we're going to talk weird inspirations, so growing up, I had picked up this weird online bootleg collection of Commodore 64 games. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, like I have extremely bizarre influences. The whole team does, like we just love weird shit. Like our producer slash level designer JB loves the Kingdom Hearts games. So there's inspiration Great. from those games and the bosses, okay. for example. Um, you know, our environment artist loves Half-Life. So there's Half-Life inspiration in how, you know, the construction of these levels is built. But um, with respect to Commodore 64, a lot of that weird Eurojank stuff, they always named the rooms. And the one that inspired me was this bizarre, I think it was like a bootleg game. I don't think it was legitimate, <laughs> but it was a game called Snoopy. And I distinctly remember it was a side-scrolling platformer, single screen, and every room would have its own name. Every level would have its own name. So it was like, you can do it, Snoopy. Oh, watch out for the spikes, Snoopy. Yeah. And so that was kind of the inspiration here just because number one, I thought that was extremely funny to talk to the player like that, but also it does help for levels like this, which are more open, where, hey, I remember this room's called the wine cellar, right? Just as an example. Mm -hmm. So, functionally useful. Yeah. Uh, it's oh. happy hour. Oh God, what does that mean? You gotta get run back to the, the start. Oh shoot, okay. Oh, the timer's going down. Yep. Oh, oh okay. This is interesting. Oh, I love oh. the back here with oh, God. the wrecking okay. balls. Oh! That was awesome. That was great. <laughs> so that's really kind of just the gist of it, really. Uh, you're going to die a lot, particularly in these segments. Yeah. Uh, but we try to keep them quick and snappy so you don't feel too frustrated about it. So what's the, the Anton Blast? What, what's up with that name? Okay, so kind of a long story, but I'll keep it short. Before this, we had a game called Anton Ball. Uh, originally, before that, we had a game called Anton Ball Classic, which was something I submitted to a Game Jam star in this character. He was originally just named Red Guy. Because it was a Game Boy-themed Game Jam, he couldn't be Red anymore. So I was just like, well, 
fuck, okay, he's Anton. He just looks like an Anton. Uh, and then we did Anton Ball Deluxe, which is like a published game um, that did pretty well. It's very positive on Steam. Not really as cool as this. It's more of an arcade platformer, but please buy it. It gives me money. <laughs> um, I, I realize I didn't do a great job of selling it, but I promise it's good. Great even. Um, so Anton Blast, when it came time to do this game, and we really wanted to do this game first before any of that other stuff. Uh-huh. When it came time to do this one, Anton Ball was a name that people were saying a lot. Like, there was an audience that just loved saying Anton Ball because it sounded funny. Yeah. So, we just wanted to keep the same naming convention. Uh, wanted to pick something that everything explodes in this game, the enemies explode. You're, you're, yeah, there's I, a lot. I will say, I love how this game feels to play. Thank you. Like, I think the fact that there are so many destructible things keeps keeps me engaged. And, like, the collectibles, like, oh, all shit. the effects happening on the screen, goddamn. <laughs> Control <laughs> chaos. Yeah. Uh, that's really what it's about, right? It's, there's a method to the madness because I think with games like this, it's very, oh, oh ah, this is, okay. So you here's the, the one Sonic inspiration here, which is some areas will have like an up and a down path. So if you cool. fail in an area, dude, he's speaking our language. Yeah, man. Dude. <laughs> uh, I'm into this. Uh, if you fail in an area, you know you're not necessarily totally fucked. <laughs> Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, Thank sick. you. Yeah, no, there's like a really good sense of momentum here um, that also kind of reminds me of Sonic. So what's going on here with this slot machine in the upper right? So we have a combo counter going on here, and this is something that we're consistently workshopping, uh, but we reward the destruction, right? So right now, uh, Blessing's at eat, eat, eat tier, and that's kind of the best you can get. Uh, but we have a bunch of different ones. Like there's Groovy, there's Ah, um, they're all just sound bites, really. So. Love that. Uh, we're workshopping it. It's going to be a little more complex in the final game. Easy peasy. I'm a big fan of the Tony Hawk. There we go. There we go. That's what it is, dude. Yeah. They call me platformer poppy. So I don't <laughs> I'm really that about this. Dude, I mean, I'm proud of you. That was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, most people don't have uh, such good luck. Tim, you got to try this. All right, let's you gotta go. Get, oh, try it. Try it out. We have um, two levels in this one. Uh, Cinnamon Springs is the other level we have. We have uh, two playable characters here as well. They actually play the same exact way. Mm -hmm. Just depends on who you like more. Uh, I like Annie a lot. Yeah. Um, so here's what I'll say. Oiler City, great tutorial level. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon Springs is like mid game. That's like- I'm jumping in. Yeah, oh, go for it. Let's just go for it. it. He's jumping in. I mean, you're good at platformers. Let's see, let's see how this goes. So what's been the reaction so far? Whoa! No, God damn. Jesus. Uh, yeah, Tim's oh. pulling out techniques that I even, <laughs> <laughs> I even uh, there, figure out. There's a lot of hidden tech um, in this game. Yeah. Oh my so, god! That's my dog. Oh, that's <laughs> a little Pomeranian? So yeah. I have two of them myself. Ah, lucky you. Looks like my boy Moose right there. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was like, dang, hey, look at that Tim's uh, <laughs> uh, so. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> there is so much going on. Yeah. I love there it. is a lot yeah, going so on what's, here. What's the reaction been from uh, the audience? You know, I've been seeing like. I, quite a few people will tag us and be like, oh, have you guys seen this game, Anton Blast? Oh, I mean, it's been fantastic, honestly. Like, way beyond what we could have ever anticipated. Mm -hmm. um, people really like the game. It's super popular. And I mean, I hate to say that. I don't mean to be self-aggrandizing when I say that. <laughs> but like, man. but like, oh, no. The, oh, shit. Oh, I could land on that. Ah! Ah! Dang, I oh. thought you were a gamer, Tim. No, I know. Oh, I, I did, too. Gamer. The support that we've gotten from the community has been ridiculous. That's awesome. There's fan art. There's uh, really bizarre. Uh, sexy fan art, if whatever. You, once you hit that, you know you made it. Yeah, yeah right? Um, there's a lot of hidden tech going on here, by the way. One thing I really like, I saw Blessing pull it off a little bit by, probably by accident, but... Um, when I like rolled through everything? When you are about to hit an enemy, if you press the attack button again, you will actually spin through them and get more momentum. Oh, cool, I love yeah. that. So, same thing happens with the bricks, actually. Um, that one's probably not a good one to try it on, but... Tim's locked in. Yeah, he's locked <laughs> This in. is awesome, no, man. It does feel it really, feels really good. It feels really good to play. And yeah, like I want to compliment the art style as well. I know you guys probably covered all this, but I was in the zone. But I, I think the game is really cool to look at. Thank I love you. like the layers of like the levels going on, right? You have you have the foreground stuff and the background stuff. So behind the background, oh. you have like that mountain in the back. Um, so it just feels like there's a lot going on, but then on the actual foreground itself, you know, you have all these collectibles, you have all these structural stuff, you have that, uh, uh, those platforms falling in front of you. It's just very active and involved, and like Tim said, controlled chaos, and it's really coming through. Like I think it I really comes that. through, comes together in a really fun way. That means a lot. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Yay. Oh my gosh! You're hitting the wobble drops. 
<laughs> uh, How much fun do you have just coming up with bullshit? You know what dude, I mean? Dude, <laughs> we, we, there's like a whole fucking thing. We have a spreadsheet of like, okay, we're gonna name stuff. So a lot of the enemies are just like Biff. We have a seal enemy called Juan Pablo. <laughs> Juan Pablo is one of my is so, that dude on my soccer team. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, no uh, joke. We talk about Juan Pablo uh, all the time. You want to hit circle for that, by the way. It's covered in tutorial, but you didn't play that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we have like there a crash baseball slide. Oh, oh yeah. that's awesome. And so you you really kind of get a feel for it when you play it, especially like it is kind of if, the Wario Land games are really loose, um, very heavy. This is heavy too, but there is a certain tightness to Crash, right? Yeah. And so that was really what we wanted to hit, but it's it's like Crash on Coke. It's yeah, kinda... I mean, that is honestly a great way to put it here. Because this is, it's wild. Like there is a lot going on. Yeah. But you feel in control. Right, that was the most important thing to nail. And people bitched at us in play tests. Like yeah. that was the most important thing, listening to that feedback. Like, I don't understand this, this feels crazy. <laughs> Do you have a voice in the back of your head telling you, <laughs> all right, when's the Anton 3D platformer? Yes, of course. I can, like, based on everything you're talking about with your inspirations, I'm like, this sounds like it, it sounds like you're working your way toward a 3D game at some point. I mean, listen, if, if people are for it, then yeah, for sure. We'll absolutely do it. We'll, we're down for the idea. Um, but we want to get this one out first and see how people respond to the world, right? Like, pre-release hype is something, but it's not everything. Yeah. And, you know, who knows? Maybe this game will come out and it'll bomb and it'll get extremely negative reviews on Steam. <laughs> um, but probably. No, I don't think I, I don't think it's going to bomb. Yeah, I think this is going to be... I think we're gonna, it's going to bomb in a good okay way. Here. Yeah. Boom! I mean, and people are, uh, somebody in chat earlier said Anton 3D Blast, which I thought was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like if we make a 3D one, that has to be the name. Oh my yeah. god, that's a brilliant idea. So I really <laughs> like this segment. It's not anything special, Which movements. but it's just fun to watch. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah, that was good. The vibration's good, too. I'm a big yeah. fan of vibration, and 2D platformers don't often use it that way. No, this they don't. is good. So how many people do you have working on the team? Working on the so team? Uh, we've expanded the team a little bit recently. Um, we started with a smaller team of about eight, uh, but we have recently expanded to about, I want to say 12 or 13 working on this. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting any of you back home. Um, <laughs> I feel like I should have a greater grip on that part. <laughs> but I never know how many people work here at Kind of Fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how big is Kind of Fun? I'm like 11 people? Uh, but um, it's a small team still, you know? Uh, and we're I feel like we're punching up a bit with this game, it's, uh, I mean, it's, you're keeping up with it. Yeah, for know? sure. I mean, this is, the polish is kind of unreal. The yeah, the polish there. It feels great. I appreciate that so much. And the team, I'm sure, does And do well. you guys have a release date? No. Okay. Uh, it, it, it feels oh. like, so. If I, if I played this in a final version, it feels, yeah. it feels right. I appreciate that. I mean, it's 2024. You know, it's this uh -huh. year. Cool. Uh, people won't have to wait too long. Uh, but we want to make sure it's just right. You know, we were we announced the game back in 2022. We had a Kickstarter campaign that was very successful out of the gate, which I was surprised about. Um, and I know people are excited, hmm. but the lucky thing for us is we're not in a rush to get this thing out, right? Yeah, we we want to make sure that it's 100% perfect. Uh, and we won't release it until it is. So That's amazing yeah. to hear, man. 2026. I'm joking. This one. <laughs> I love the little Pomeranian popping up. I'm obsessed with this game. Like this is very, very <laughs> this bizarre. Is so cool. uh, I had to put my dog everywhere. Yeah, I totally understand that. Yeah, this uh, is like a game that if Tim Gettys had been a studio, yeah. I think this is a game. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that was the first transformation um, that you've experienced. So obviously it is still like a Wario like, um, and. If you go back to the start there, we have these transformers that will turn you into the tornado form. Very Yoshi's Island of you. Yes. And if you hold down the clutch button, it'll actually make you go faster. Clutch button is... The attack button. Oh. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Look at that. She gets a little sick. <laughs> so it kind of just becomes a timing puzzle, right? Cool. I love the sound effects too. Ah, that's super dope. 
so you know you mentioned you have um, a small team. Yes. But you are you know what's your what's your role like your title? So I'm a fearless leader at fearless Summit Sphere. Leader. Okay. Um, but I am the game director yeah. uh, on this. Uh, I also work on design, uh, composition, and art direction. Yeah. And the sound design, of course. So, yeah, I and that's, that's one to work my way back to you because you mentioned you know you're you're doing the soundtrack as well. Yes. Is that if did you learn how to make music? For game design, or did you already make music and then happen to start designing games? So uh, that's a really interesting question. So I was I was always a musician, like, okay. First, um, I mean, game games were my first love. I always wanted to make games, uh, but I went into music as a career for a bit. Um, and a lot of the aesthetic of this game is actually inspired just by the weird shit that I saw as a touring musician. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I did that first. I was never really like massively successful at it, but. I kind of learned the ropes, right? And so because of that, I was able to apply those lessons to this game's music, which it's not as transferable as you would think. I mean, by knowing music, you have an advantage to start with, but making, you know, like rock songs is very different to scoring a game like this. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, I think you can actually just jump over that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you, you broke down the gold barriers, but it's fun to, you know, yeah. plop them around. Oh, whoa. oh shit. Ah! 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 Okay, cool. I'm just gonna. Go. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. So, is this Earth? Like, where, where are they at? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> this. <laughs> um, like, what's going on here? What's, what's the setting? So this is the town where everyone has gangrene. Um, so this is Boiler City. Boiler That's, City. It's, okay. It is on the Backburner Peninsula. So the way that. Um, the way that the Anton, uh, the Antoniverse works is Antoniverse. <laughs> so we, um, you have to imagine it as a kind of alt Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Where have we have, um, there's the Backburner Peninsula on this globe. Just imagine like a watery globe. You have the Backburner Peninsula, uh, and then on the other side of the world you have Japan, and then that's it. Oh. So the Backburner Peninsula is not connected to anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's the, it's the good ending, where only Japan survived. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, so this is actually um, post-nuclear war. Yeah, and Japan was like, fuck everybody else. <laughs> right? and that, that's why the Anton characters are all colored strange. Mm. We get this question a lot, by the way, so I just want to have it on the record. Um, the Anton characters are not meant to be like any ethnicity or like race or nationality. Mm. Like I've, I've had people go like, is Anton Mexican? Is Anton Russian? Is Anton Native American? And he's not like any of those things. Mm. He is straight up just like a boiler city denizen. He is a Gruvenian. <laughs> oh my oh. god. I'm sorry, but I had to get that in there. So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I'm just veering into like <laughs> all these fun questions. Yeah. So if please. somebody came to you and they're like, all right, you have the option to adapt Anton Blast in a different medium, you could make an Anton Blast cartoon. Okay. You, can make, you can make the live action film. You can make whatever you want to. You look, uh, Anton Blast oh, board on. game, tabletop game, whatever. What is, what would be your your dream situation? I mean, I think for me, like, it's so it is just so rooted in cartoons, yeah. right? Like, I didn't get into this too much, but like, so much of it is just like, hey, I loved Cow and Chicken. I loved Ed, Ed and Eddie. Fuck yeah, dude. You That's know, what I'm talking about. I love. Don't talk about Cow and Chicken enough. We really don't. <laughs> we don't talk I, about I Am Weasel. <laughs> I, 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 I loved Beavis and Butthead, right? Okay. Like Anton and Annie, in a lot of ways, are Beavis and Butthead expies. Like mm. they don't talk much. We have. Um, Come you got, on. You got. You got to gun it, Tim. Here? You got to gun it. Just once you get up there, just keep gunning it. All right. Hold it down. Um, but yeah, we love like those older cartoons. Just the real uh, stuff. Oh, okay. 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 Go. We love that really irreverent stuff, and for me, I think that the way the characters are made and the way the world is and how vibrant everything that is, is fine, man. <laughs> um, I think it just makes sense to do a cartoon, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's why I asked the question. Is I'm looking at this and I'm like, dude, I could see this easily transferring into a like, an uh, like, uh, early 2000s Nickelodeon cartoons. That that's the dream. Style. That, yeah. That's the dream, right? Um, like this has this gives me like a um, oh, what's the one that we all loved? Um. That like kind of inspired SpongeBob, Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ren and Stimpy is great too. You know, like all that stuff for us is just a massive inspiration in terms of how the game was rendered, how it looked. Um, also, again, you know, the weird shit that oh, we've seen um, in person. So much of it inspired by life. A lot of uh, 
Boiler City is inspired by my hometown of Miami, uh, which you can okay. t you can tell by the snow-capped mountains in this level. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, for me, it's a cartoon. Easy. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, wow, you skipped it, bastard. Oh, whoa! Oh, no! <laughs> Do you, when this game comes out... Yes. Obviously, you can't control where the community takes it, but you have you envision like what the community, uh, I guess like what that's gonna look like post game. Uh, because I can as Kim's playing and as I played it, like immediately I'm like, oh, I, it could be fun to speed run this, right? But like yeah. you see where do you do you oh, have what? a vision of where the community might take it? You know, it, I'll put it this way: where the community's gone already is beyond my wildest dreams. Like we have, um, like our Discord server has over seventy five hundred people in it. Um, nice. so for me, just that level of success has already been like kind of terrifying. Oh, um, oh, come on. Oh, no. How'd that happen? I don't know. See, like that's, that's like the sunset Vista stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've had speedrunners, we've had people make sunset sexy Vista. art. Um, I don't know where the community will take it. Um, I feel like it's kind of hit that point now where we can't control it. Yeah. Uh, is that exciting or scary? I mean, look, once you put art out, it's no longer yours. Yeah. Um, so I think as long as people stay cool and respectful, then go for it, right? Go for it. I'm. Uh, Love the cannons, man. <laughs> Very dark game, dude. Uh, we had to get those cement mixers in there. Ah, shit. Tim is, shit. Oh my god. No, Tim. No. <laughs> Tim is no. no. Tim is playing this like it's only up. <laughs> <laughs> But you kind of see where we're going with, with the crash stuff, where it's yep. sort of like a trial and error deal. Totally. I mean, you dropped the Sunset Vista. That's mm. insane. Man. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I'm... Whoa! Sorry, I was getting tense there. But, um... What, what platform is it coming out on? So right now, it's Steam and Switch. Steam and Switch. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that doesn't mean that uh, in the future we won't do other platforms, but for now, we're targeting those. Uh, Nintendo has been an amazing partner. That's awesome. Uh, they've been very receptive to the game, so we're happy to work with them. That's awesome. With the Steam Deck being a thing, is that are you, like, aiming for a verification at launch, or is yeah, that, like, a secondary? Of course. of course. I mean, Steam Deck's something that we always consider. Like, I... I We'll do a lot of my play, play testing on the game on oh, Steam, Steam Deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good so, to hear. Yeah, I love it. I'm very. I love what Steam Deck did for consoles, frankly. Yeah. Um. Wait, that's um. Which call it? That's a. Uh, is that a Mario? Mario Three thing going on? I don't know. Yeah, I always thought. This, <laughs> I always thought this guy kind of looked like Bowser. Yeah. Um. Or like those. Because it looks like the um things at the end of the level at Mar in Mario oh, Two, sick. like the thing that you would like. Oh, you would fight oh, the doors. Yeah, and then you would put. The oh, door. yeah, I kind of see that. Yeah, that was not intentional, but I feel like it. <laughs> it, it <laughs> I feel like it must have shown up somewhere. I see Tim just wants to like break everything. I, dude, yeah. it just feels good, man. Oh, we're running out of time here, and I'm very upset yeah. about. Oh that. no. Yeah, as we're closing out, so I guess. Yeah. Is there anything uh, you want the audience to know about this game? Please wishlist us at AntonBlast.com. It helps us immensely. Um, other than that, you know, if, if you like what you've seen, you know, be sure to check us out. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, if we can still What's follow the, that. Oh, yeah. um, we, call, at, we all call it Twitter. Oh, she got uh, covered in snow. What's that? Um, at Summit Sphere. Summit Sphere. And if you look up Anton Blast, it'll come up. Um, yeah, that's it, really. I don't have any special messages. I don't have anything to wax poetic about. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, man. I love it. I mean, it, listen, man. we got two more minutes of hanging out, so we're going to hang out and watch Tim do his best. Come on, best. Tim. Do you know what I mean? What's going on over here? Isn't this, is this your second game, third game? Uh, so this is our second game as a studio. Second game as a studio. Um, awesome. Many of us have worked on different games that have come out. That's a weird way of putting it, but um, <laughs> we've, we've all been making games for a while. Like, I've been making games for 16 years, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, they're not very good, but... Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but it all led to this. <laughs> it all led to this. Well, now I'm like, I gotta, I gotta check out the previous Anton game. Yeah. I, I mean, Anton Ball's a good time. You know, it, it's more of like an arcade title, and I feel... I'm oh, being, it was Mario Brothers inspired, right? Yes. The original Mario Brothers. Yes. It was, it was basically a Mario Bros. Arkanoid hybrid. Okay. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, it's really <laughs> that <sounds> awesome. It, <laughs> I it, love Arkanoid. It's really fun. Like, it's it's fun. It had an audience, right? Um, but I think it did about as well as like an arcade-inspired game could do. Mm. Uh, it made its money back and more, and it 
pays for my car, so awesome. I can't I can't complain. Pin Pan Paint says, "Can you guys try dying in lava?" Yeah, please. You should probably run onto the ground because like the iframes will reset. There you go. That's like a cheat. We didn't want to Mario 64 it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the classic crash burn. Wow. Oh, wow. I love it, man. Wait, this is legitimately awesome. Yeah, My yeah. eyes are on this, this game. I'm like, oh, okay. Dude. Oh, well, thank you so much. Come out. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, I was going to call, call you Anton. Tony, thank you so much for joining us, man. Thanks so much for having me. Everybody, make sure to follow Summit Sphere on Twitter. Make sure to wishlist Anton Blast on Steam. I don't, can you wishlist on Nintendo? Is that a thing? Uh, we don't have a Switch a page. store page just yet, but gotcha. stay tuned. Keep a look out for that. Uh, Pin Pan Paint says, I animated that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to you. Shout That's out. fantastic. So love you, Junie. I love it, man. All right. Cool. We are All about right. to we're bounce off, but we're going to have many more very, very cool people joining to talk about their cool games. Remember, kindoffunny.com slash mix to wishlist all of the games going on today. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to stick around. Ooh. Because joining me is the one and only Nitro Rifle, Andy Cortez. Andy, how's it going? Come join us, Max. Come through, come through. Well, uh, I get to flip over my note card. Yes, you do. Because we're about to talk about a game called Night Shift Galaxy. Yes. Developed... Or at least you were joined by Max Kaufman, right? Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Yeah. From uh, Tiny Galactic Tiny Studios. Galactic. Now, this game, Blessing, mm -hmm. I can see why they put me on this game, Max, <laughs> because uh, this is a mecha game. Oh, let's and go. And the art style soup, like, it just looks sick as hell. So I got to figure out how the hell I even get um, the game up running here. I, I think they're probably working on it. In the oh, okay, sick. I'll, I'll take my so hands we'll off the mouse second. then. Um, yeah, so the art style for this looks fantastic. I was able to watch some of the trailers a little bit earlier. Um, I'm excited to hear, hear about this and see it because I'm I've been coming into all these things blind. You yeah, know, I want to be I want to be wild when I first see it on screen. I think um, it's going to be right up your alley. Buzz. Okay. Yeah. So what kind of game is it? Like what, what, what genre are we talking about? Like a third person action arcade shooter. Oh, yeah. With mechs. That sounds awesome. That's all. Yeah. That sounds like my type of stuff. I saw customizable neck mechs in the notes. <laughs> Got very, very excited. I, I don't know, like, the, what sort of limitations we're looking at, but just the idea that I can maybe, like, color code some of these <laughs> mech parts seems very, very exciting. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we've only got a very early demo Yeah, at GDC right now. Uh, awesome. Just because uh, you're seeing the earliest cut. <laughs> that was oh, our perfect. first playable demo. So Beautiful. we see it's coming to PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, which is very exciting. Um, and then release date, TBA. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say early, you're, I'm, I'm yeah, you're talking just about early, early. early. Oh, yeah. Sick. Okay. So, and we're already getting our hands <laughs> on it. Like That's a preview. Exciting. Awesome. So are you just uh, so? I guess the question I'll I'll lead off with then is like, what is your inspiration here, right? Like, are you is this a thing of you've loved mechs before and like you're an armored core person and like you're like oh I want to make one of these or where did the how did this idea of Night Shift Galaxy come to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I'm kind of into the whole, like, in the aughts, there was really, like, a huge explosion of, like, mech arcade games. You had, like, Armored Core. Mm -hmm. Like, From had, like, a, a few other titles. On the Saturn, you had, like, Panzer Dragoon and Bulk Slash. Yeah. But I'm also into, you know, obviously, like, Star Fox and a bunch of other. Hell yeah. Uh, it kind of got oversaturated and fell off, and then there really hasn't been one for the last decade. And so I'm just, like, making the game that I want to play. Nice. Um, and this really started as just like a passion project. Like I was just kind of doing it on the side and uh, like going on Twitch and just letting people spy on me, just uh -huh. see how games get made and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, the ball kind of got rolling <laughs> and there's like enough attention that I was like, oh, I kind of maybe should take this a little bit more serious. <laughs> nice. You know, I've been making games for 20 years. I'm kind of bit of a veteran but i've always been oh, just yeah. sort of like a helper elf mm -hmm. kind of in the background um and you know did you started, always sort of have this concept and aspiration early on like I, or I will eventually break out from the other studios and do my own thing it's more like i kind of like turned 40 and was like you know what if i'm gonna do a passion project i should really just do it yeah, yeah. Passion project awesome. now there's never gonna be a right time so just kind of i don't know carpe diem but uh yeah so and like i'd been talking about doing a project with my wife for a while she's also a narrative designer we're oh, both nice. like 80s anime fanatics like a that's awesome yeah Macross i mean that's immediately fanatic. i gotta shout it out right we have the game pulled up now and the characters automatically like immediately i'm like okay cool i love the anime art style and yeah you mentioned like earlier uh, uh anime like 
You can you can see it. I, I just I just love the I love the visuals of the mechs. I I love very uh I follow a lot of like uh, Lego mecha accounts that are just like people kit bashing together little mechas with just like the most minimal amount of pieces and there's just something so neat about very like non super complicated mecha designs i just love the sort of like the silhouettes of these characters yeah if you buy the lego international space station kit it's like probably the cheapest kit with the most useful parts. Oh, that's awesome! There's <laughs> a pro tip. No, I love here. Home. I love here that it's like you're retaking your, your driving test and you're talking to the DMV clerk, who yeah. like when the DMV clerk first popped up, I thought they were a villain. <laughs> but it's funny because it do be like that. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of just thinking about like who would show up in like an episode of the Venture Brothers. Let's go with. Oh that. wow! Yeah. We didn't want a, it to be another like grim, dark military industrial complex. Yeah. And or, or yeah. White. Are we the bad guys <laughs> or the good guys? Yeah. It's more like space adventure and just sort of like high key goofiness. Nice. High concept sci fi. Did you did you end up playing the most recent Armor Core game? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Hell yeah. So good. I love it so much. I mean, like, I, I went as quick as possible to make, like, kind of a glass cannon build with just all the light aerial pieces. And oh, everyone yeah. else was like, why aren't you just making, like, a murder wheelchair with all the heaviest pieces <laughs> like everybody else? Dude. That's how you cheese the game. I, it is. That's what I did. <laughs> I bought, dude, I had the fucking, like, tank wheels or whatever. And then, I, like, I, what, I had, like, the fucking, like, big old bazooka. And then, yeah, that game, that game for me was just, like, tapping all the back buttons and then, like, just fucking rotating around the level. It was great. Wow. Right, so, yeah, you're, really like, sick. You, did, you did a barrel roll. into a, a plane here. Got our little, plane. yeah, transfer, which I wonder, like, I hope the pilot's okay in there. I don't know what sort of. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, inertial dampeners. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's fine. It's bumpers. See if all the uh, uh, trans uh, uh. Oh, transform back into the mech. Oh, that's left. Tr was that left trigger, I believe? Let's go back. Uh, it's left bumper. Oh, left bumper. There we go. Yeah, movement cool. stuff's on your left hand, shooting stuff's on your right hand. Uh oh. Danger afoot. And this oh, dude put an actual this. skull in this in their <laughs> ship. I love it. That's how you know they're pirates. <laughs> I love this music. Yeah. Yeah, this was composed by Troop Damage. Uh, we first worked together on Solar Ash at Heart Machine. Oh, oh wow. Also, That's awesome. Yeah, loved Heart Machine. Loved most Solar recently, Ash. he was doing, uh, he composed a lot for that. Also, a lot on the score for their new game, Hyperlight Flicker. Nice. Um, which I got to play for the first time. I played it yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Very I got to watch dead. other people play it. Yeah. First time I played it since I worked on it on pre-production. Oh, wow. <laughs> my goodness. But, um, uh, yeah, he, I just kind of basically have been solo devving this for about a year. Yeah. And then, like, as we were getting ready to put the demo together, I just started calling in favors from my various friends who are artists or musicians. And he came oh, in. There's oh, there's the vocals. Song. This, this is, is Troop himself is there, singing. Is there a way I can turn this off? <laughs> This is awesome. Oh, this is great. <laughs> he asked us, he's like, what kind of song do you want for it? And we're like, kind of like an anime theme song. He's like, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> he does this like James Bond kind of riff. I'm like, well, I'm more careful in this. Sorry. <laughs> I keep on free falling, <laughs> free diving. <laughs> Uh, will this also be playable keyboard and mouse? Yeah. So in the future, that's I'm like, I'm like actually taking it pretty seriously. Like having both the gamepad and the mouse and keyboard be like first class controls. Nice. And not like it's clearly designed for one and kind of janky on the other. Love that. So when you're using the gamepad, you can see there's that kind of big ring around your cursor and uh -huh. it's doing sort of aim assist inside of that. Right, right, right. Um, but like when you're doing mouse and keyboard, that big circle goes away and you have the more precise movement of the mouse. And then, like, how I map that to the camera control and, like, how much shot leading I do. I basically just try and make it, like, whatever you're playing on, you'll get the best experience for that control. Awesome. I had the, uh, I, I always had the issue in the most recent Armored Core game where, uh, when you would switch to keyboard and mouse, it would take away your, like, auto aim, the, this sort of, like, you know, autopilot sort of mode. Yeah. Um, but th so far, this feels really awesome and cool. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, have to force you to be, like, really overly precise about it. It's more about, like, timing, like, figuring out when to shoot, like, when they're vulnerable or not. Also figuring out, oh my like, God, look at him. when That's to do so a dodge roll. 
I think like too many like like in the flight sim aspect, it's too much about like setting up a run and like taking 10 seconds to align your vector and stuff. Whereas like I was more interested in like I'm gonna do like strafing combat where you're like yeah, hell yeah. dodge rolling and kind of like moving around things. So. Now this character, uh, I assume this is the main character we have in the top left. Yeah, this is Kit Kanzaki. She's a freelance mecha pilot. So awesome. That's what I want to be. <laughs> Super That's, what I wanna be. <laughs> That's what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> like, it is an obsession. That reminds me, I was, when I was in first grade, I used to want to be a race car driver. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, when I grow up, I want to be a, a freelance mecha uh, pilot. That's so cool. I actually was just scrolling Twitter earlier, and I saw some dude making a, uh, like, a human-sized, um, like, 3D-printed one of the, like, Gundam builds. Nice. And and it, I was just like, I was about to just tag kind of funny in it and be like, can we like expense this somehow? <laughs> like, <laughs> I just need it in the studio. Well, they're taking down the giant like one to one scale no. Gundam in Yokohama. No, so, like, that exhibit's coming to an end. Oh, so I maybe didn't know it was can... a temporary thing. Yeah, so oh, maybe you depressing. guys can like make a bid on that. I got. I mean, <laughs> I gotta like, get out there. It and, like, <laughs> just put it in front of the studio. Like, sir, it's not. This is not gonna fit in your carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so, is is there gonna be a story focus in this game as well? Like, is that a thing that you're trying to elevate? Yeah. So, um, basically, it's not. We're trying to avoid the kind of like lone hero saving the world kind of story. It's more like there's a crew of three freelance pilots, okay. um, and they're just trying to make ends meet. Just a couple of scam girls, <laughs> you know. People, people in debt, eating ramen. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Odd so, jobs so, from a shady booking agency. Oh <laughs> yeah, Very, yeah. Like, I, not noticed, I noticed the money on the top right, the money indicator, and that's going to be like <laughs> yeah, you got one dollar. Yeah, so like whatever <laughs> whatever money you get from the job, thing. you can then use that money to go. Uh, buy better parts or yeah, so like uh, there's three craft and then each craft is basically three slots There's your like primary weapon that you can use for free without using ammo. There's your sub weapon Which uh, you know in this case you have these cluster missiles that you have to pick up ammo and recharge and then there'll be a support system um, so the support system you have by default right now is like a rechargeable armor so like your armor right now is blue. The first hit that you take will change the color before you take permanent damage. Okay, gotcha. And then it can uh, recharge from there. But like other support systems would be like your ammo automatically recharges or you vacuum up coins with a larger radius or something. Um, and the support system also changes the color and decals it in that. Um, so, but yeah, basically the, the main focus of the story is really just kind of having a bunch of like silly high concept situations that mostly serve to like reveal the backstory of the pilots and stuff and like kind of let you build a relationship with them. I love that. I did notice um, in, in the sort of like write-up info, three different classes of mechs. Yeah. Um, can we uh, can we get a little bit more elaboration there? Yeah. Unfortunately, our like demo right here is limited to just the rabbit that you're playing with right now. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, which is the, uh, this is the sort of balance choice. It's got like ground combat, it's got air combat, the, relatively easy to control. The all around. Um, the second character is a uh, Zacket LaSalle, who's a Ooh. tank commander. So he's got this like spider tank. Uh, okay. It kind of looks like a, like a Tachikoma. Um, so obviously it's like a ground unit, it has heavier attacks, heavier armors. It can't fly, but it does have like a zip line cling to wall maneuver Ooh, that it that's can use cool. to make up Very cool. like vertical differences. Yeah. Um, and then the third character is Eden Endymion, who's a kind of like disaster bisexual smuggler, like Han Solo Love character. It. Um, and she has like a dedicated aerial unit called the Falcon, which is just twice as fast and isn't pitch locked at all, so you can do full loop de loops and Oh, that. okay. And that one's sort of the more like advanced glass cannon choice. Okay. So we kind of hope that like uh, each of the missions would be replayable by any of the characters. It would obviously be like sort of designed with one character in mind, but then you can sort of replay it ground only or air only, like to get sort of like extra challenges. Nice. I just love, my, one of my favorite just like cliche things in mecha animation is just cluster missiles all shooting out in yeah, different yeah. spots. The Atano Circus. It's one of my <laughs> favorite things to just look at and just experience. And I think that was like just the early Toonami days of just getting me into 
Like, oh, I, I always get questions like, Andy, what's your fa- you always talk about, you love like Mecha, what's your favorite Gundam show? It's like, man, I don't know if I ever fully watched, like I watched Gundam Wing as a kid. I don't really have a favorite show. I just love the, let the culture you, of it. Let me it, tell you, you know? about Megas XLR. That was really? right there. Never heard of that one. Oh, have you not heard of it? It's, no. the, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it wasn't like an anime thing. It was like a Cartoon Network cartoon where it was like a big old like country uh, white dude in his garage and he would convert his car into a big old mech and like oh. would get into cool ass fights. Yeah, Mega's SLR was really cool. I thought you were talking I about Big O. <laughs> I would have been convinced that you would say, that you would watch that one. No, I've always tried with a bunch of the different Gundam shows. Uh, Iron Blooded Orphans is probably the most recent one that I've definitely tried to watch and I could just never like stick with it. But I just I, I just I love watching people's builds of like random, you know, people painting uh, mecha and stuff like that. And I got to assume that's Max. Was that like just a lot of your inspiration as well? Just loving like the the angular looks of what these uh, mechas could be. Yeah, I mean, like there's a certain level, and you know, making making like Gundam Garage Kids called like Gumpla. Oh like, yeah. A big part of this was oh, yeah. basically just virtual Gumpla, like me just like hanging out in that's like, my so cool. blender and making robots. I was talking with, so um, all the illustrations is done by, you can look them up online, Evan Palmer. So in addition to working in animation and concept art, he also has an alt Twitter account where he does just like really elaborate custom Gumpla. Uh, that name sounds insanely familiar. I'm pretty, pretty sure I've seen that name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he, uh, yeah, like we were, we were, we were talking on Zoom. He's like, I was like asking for some like punch up on some of the designs. And I was like, yeah, I was kind of thinking like for the rabbit to like reinforce the rabbit idea. They might have like big hips and big legs. And like, have you seen like the wound wart Gundam? And he was like, have I seen the wound wart Gundam? <laughs> and he like walks off frame and like walks back on with like five kids. Oh He's like, yeah, we have seen Rebirth of Zeon. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love that. Fantastic. Oh, is that the full demo? That is the full demo. Oh, hell yeah. We're very, very That's cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So is this like a look at the three that yeah. we have right now? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so on the left there, uh, that's the spider, uh, the sort of heavier ground unit, and then on the right is the falcon. That's the like high speed medical that looks dedicated area. Yeah. The falcon looking like the like a Spike Spiegel swordfish kind of. Uh, just love that little red cool, angular cool, look. Right yeah, you get in there. You get in there. Big <laughs> I gotta see how this feels. Yeah, so the uh, left bumper is what switches you to this little jet, and then uh, left trigger if you're like leaning left or right will do your rolls. Gotcha. Dual barrel roll. Kit Kanzagi. I like, like the comic book. Yeah, we got a kind of uh, feature that we're working on, sort of like Mario Stars. So there's a bunch of hidden secrets in the level, but they're comic book pages. Oh, oh cool. nice. It was sort of like we're really, I really liked how in like Psychonauts 2, they had the memory vault. Oh, right, right. Um, and so we kind of like wanted to riff on that. It's also, I mean, we're like, Scrappy Indies making this on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> so rather than like rigging 3D characters and having to like basically set up a whole animation studio, like we can get a lot of the character acting just out of like the illustrations of the dialogue and then comic book pages. What's been the biggest change for you being a solo dev versus working with a team? Uh, I mean, it's sort of the thing where it's like whatever I'm not doing is not getting done. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. if I have to spend like two or three days solving a hard programming pro problem, then like, well, the art is just not getting updated <laughs> yeah. and the business emails are just not getting answered. What um, is programming your like main background at those other studios? Yeah, well, what ended up happening was I went to school for animation okay. um, and I started as a technical artist, which is basically like someone who makes the puppets for all the animators to puppeteer. Um, but then they discovered that I could program. And we're yeah. like, what if instead you were a programmer? So <laughs> then I did that for two decades. Um, but like, I've always, always been like mostly interested on the programming side of like how you can use it to do like real good character movement. Okay. And like real sort of like uh, dynamic ca camera control. So, you know, like there's certainly like compelling reasons in a platformer to have the character in like a stable position, like in the frame. But what's nice about a shooter is you're like more interested in the reticle, mm -hmm. and, like keeping that stable. So like I can like move the character all over the frame just to like make it look more anime and more Sakuga. Yeah, um, absolutely. Now the, you mentioned Evan Palmer was doing like a lot of like 2D art for, or conceptual stuff for the mecha. Yep. Who did the actual like key art for these characters that we're seeing? Uh, well, I mean, like I did, so uh, so Evan did, well, 
I did like a bunch of like napkin scribbles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like very basic like here's the vision. Here's my like bad ideas for all these various characters. Uh, and then Evan did punch ups. That's cool. So, very cool. So he did he did kid in this. I did uh, the DMV Examiner and the Space Pirate because we were tossing those in very late. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, but well, then, um, as far as all, all the other sort of like 3D models and like art in the scenes, like I'm like relatively proficient at making stuff that kind of looks like an OK N64 game. Yeah, of but course. But like I'm certainly not going to do detailing and normal maps and stuff. So I called in some favors from my friend Jack. I love who was that. the character artist on Solar Ash. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Also worked together at Art Machine. <gasps> so like he pitched in on like just detailing a few of the things. Um, and then I also just kind of like, there are a number of like online marketplaces, like Turbo Squid and stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. Where like you can find like generic assets, but then like you can't really use them in the game. Because they're always really janky. terribly. <laughs> yeah. So like I would end up getting like a dozen kits and then bringing them all into Maya and just like kit bashing and just like finding a way to make it work. Yeah. So, you know. Here's a fork 3D model that's 78 million tries. <laughs> I love this. I'm just in the zone right now. Yeah. No, yeah. You. I mean, once you get the rhythm of it, once you understand what the game is asking of you, I love... I just... The, the movement feels so good. Yeah. Um, it feels uh, right. Are there uh, um, sort of mech upgrades, not only just like visual stuff, but are there upgrades to faster booster, um, you know, quicker, or be able to do more barrel rolls in a row, row anything like that? Uh, there's that third, like, support systems, like, slot. Um, so, like... <laughs> I imagine there would be something like about two dozen, cool. like total, where Very it's cool. like, oh, I want to like optimize for speed, or I want to optimize for like how much money I'm capturing, or whatever. Gotcha. But I like the idea that you have to like make some trade-offs. Oh, of course. So you know, there's definitely like a lot more. You know, on some level, I like when like Arcadians have tons of shit in the HUD. Yeah. And it's just like a million meters around you, but I wouldn't want to put that on by default. So, like, that could also be, like, a support system where you're like, you know what, I want to have, like, OmniView radar, but I'm going to, like, give away having a better booster to do that. Gotcha. Um, they kind of did something like that in, like, Near Automata, where you could, like, turn off your whole, yeah. like, HUD if you wanted to put more health chips into uh, Tubi's brain. Right. Do you have, like, a top three favorite mech uh, games? Uh, yeah, I mean, I... So I like Bulk Slash, which was like when I was a kid, like our folks weren't really buying us game system. I was just getting hand-me-downs from like my uncle. <laughs> he was giving me all these Sega systems. So that was like, it was like Star Fox, but it was on um, Sega Saturn. Nobody played it, but it was amazing. It was an <laughs> underrated gem. And there's a localization patch for it now. If you have the ROMs, so. Um, but, and then like obviously, like the original Armored Core, um, was like my jam yeah I, same i was uh that was always like one of the things that i would bring up when armor core 6 was coming out it was like as somebody who watched a bunch of like mech stuff as a kid on toonami and didn't have like a video game version of where to go for that armored core was the one that you would rent oh! <laughs> you got one shot it bro oh dang <laughs> but, i guess uh, that's what happens when you stand in front of a, <laughs> a weapon but yeah and i think like the last one that is really taking a lot of inspiration from was zone of the enders oh uh, yeah of course yeah there's uh i've been working on like a dueling camera system for like 1v1 fights where oh, it, like awesome. frames both the characters and it kind of becomes more like like zone of the enders are like virtual on oh right? virtual because you want to like have that like best. amuro versus char mobile suit like 1v1 like thing to really sell the anime idea it's like what makes me excited yeah, having that, yeah, the, now we need, like, the the overly complicated uh, arcade seat that you would play virtual on at. That's, like, because that felt like you were in a cockpit and it, it would, like, split you and the person you were playing against in, like, an actual arcade. Yeah. That was, like, always the coolest, most immersive experience. At the movie theater where I went to as a kid, they had the cyber sled, which was, like, a whole cockpit. And there were tank controls, right? But yeah, they put yeah. it on, like, two giant joysticks. Oh, yeah. So you were, like, and the clicks really felt so good, like yeah. And, like, maybe it's just because I was 12, and if I play it now, I'd be like, this isn't as exciting. Oh, of course. So yeah. we're never, we're not to actually look that up and ruin my beautiful, like, memories. Yeah. But, no, because yeah. I was a kid, it felt so amazing. <laughs> Do that multiple lock on with the missiles? Shit, it's, there we yeah, go. you don't need a lock on yeah, or nothing. No, man. 
Now we'll have to acquire our pirates' licenses. <laughs> it's really fun. Oh my goodness. Very, very cool. Uh, this huh. is uh, once again. This is Night Shift Galaxy from Tiny Galactic. Uh, we have Max here, and once again, um, remember, wishlist this on Steam. Go to Steam, wishlist it. Um, what sort of a, a? I think it's down on the monitor below me, but I can't currently see it. I think it's a PC, PlayStation. We're targeting everything. Targeting but everything. Like nothing's locked down. Yeah, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, TBA. Everything seems to be TBA right now at the moment. But right now, uh, will this demo be available at any point in the future to like uh, just uh, on Steam or anything like that? Figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if people want to spy on me on Fridays on Twitch, I just like open stream dev. Nice. What's, What's the, the stream channel? channel? Oh, it's Tiny Galactic Games on Twitch. Tiny Galactic Games on uh, on Twitch. And that's great for people who are aspiring game developers and want to sort of see exactly what it takes and kind of what the nine to five is of a, of a full-time game developer. Max, thank you so much for joining us. This is fantastic. Night Shift Galaxy. Go Steam. Uh, go wishlist it on Steam right now. Yeah. Well, apparently it's not on Steam uh, yet, right? No. Or is it? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Follow their Twitter. Go to the page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go to Twitter. Follow Twitter. We've got, uh, we've got like Discord. We do like regular devlog there. Have an AMA and... We are currently in GDC, figuring out where the money's coming from, and once that's done, uh, we'll be on Steam and hopefully early access. So, oh yeah, yeah it's going to be a big year for Tiny Glass. If I win the lottery, I'll definitely throw you a couple. <laughs> bucks, yeah, for sure. yeah. Very excited for it. Uh, we'll we'll be back uh, here in a second um, with some new games and new guests. Up next is The Signal. So, thank you everybody for joining us and hanging out. Appreciate you, Max. Yeah. Sweet, awesome. Thank you. This is great. Awesome. Are you guys ready? All right, come through. We're welcoming to the stage a group of people. They're in the shadows, so I can't see everybody. But it's Roger McCorney, Joey Noel, and then two shadow people. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> welcome in, welcome in. What up, man? How's it going? Hi, so nice to meet you, so sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, huge fan. Uh, you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Um, Have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take a seat. Plus, are these yours? Oh yeah. Your phone. <laughs> Do you want any of these things? Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. Hey, everybody. Night shift? Yeah, it was night shift, everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. Relax, hang out. Let's get the controller ready. How's everyone oh, yeah. doing today? Doing good? Feeling good? Uh, yeah, good yeah. so far. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to introduce... last minute for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, no. <laughs> We're just hanging out. We're showing yeah, off the game. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So uh, my name is Theo. Um, I run uh, Goosebite. It's a small studio based in Montreal, and uh, we've been making a, uh, working on this game for about a year and a half now, and still have a lot to go. We're still pretty early on, definitely pre-alpha, but yeah. uh, uh, excited to be showing it off to people and talking to publishers and all that jazz. So, Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm Mike Sanders. I uh, was the CEO of a company called Puny Human for about 16 years, uh, and now I am uh, Theo's development advisor with Goosebite, and I'm super happy about what they're building and really, really kind of believe in it. Big enthusiast, big fan of what they're doing. That's awesome. Let's start off with the name, Goosebite. Incredible yeah. name. Where, <laughs> who came up with the name? Where is this coming from? It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I was at Ubisoft Montreal uh, before I was lead producer on Rainbow Six Siege Mobile, and uh, studios were sprouting up left and right. And so I, I was like, okay, I want one too. I want to do yeah. like my own thing. Um, and I went into like pitching mode. Uh, and every time it was a no, I would have to like rebrand it and, you know, like kind of hit the reset button. <laughs> um, so the, the last game I played before this pitch was Untitled Goose Game. I loved <laughs> there it. There it goes. <laughs> 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 it was, it was just stuck it, in my yeah, head. Yeah. Memories forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a... Uh, I don't know. It wasn't like very, very philosophical about yeah. it. Yeah. But like the beat with the bite with the Y. I mean, that's yeah. that's yeah, big yeah, brain yeah. right there. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> also, I, you know, I could go into like we're Canadian, geese, yeah. blah, blah, yeah. blah. But yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> that's so fun. We're here talking about the signal. So you've been working on it for over a year now. This yeah. is in pre alpha. It's coming out uh, early access next year, right? Um, TBD. Around, yeah, TBD. So TBD. TBD. Yeah. Big TBDs. A little bit of TBD only because uh, I think a big sort of of pillar of what Theo's trying to do is, is work really intensely with the community and try and do a lot of work to, to sort of engage with them and see how, how feelings are. But um, yeah, definitely early access. We're trying access new stuff. Too. We're trying yeah. new yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, that, that stuff gets messy. We want to test it out with people. And um, 
uh, yeah, definitely not this year. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have we'll have tests with community members this year, but uh, but probably like uh, late 2025 or sometime in 2026. Gotcha. Yeah. So as we boot up a very pre-alpha, very pre-pre-alpha yeah, yeah. Uh, of the game, uh, can you give us the pitch of what we're sure, going to yeah. play? So um, Welcome, humanity kind of messed up with Earth. Um, so uh, that's weird. really hard Shocker. to believe. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. So generations, you know, generations later, you're you're floating in your spaceship tin can, um, and uh, you come across the planet, and you want to figure out: is this the place where we could start over, start afresh, start anew? Mm. Uh, you don't want to uh, beam everybody down all at once and you know die a horrible death. <laughs> so you are an explorer along with your friends, and. Um, the, the whole gist of it is to figure out, you know, is there breathable oxygen? Is there any existential threat? Is there enough power source resources, etc.? And then as you explore, you will find some pretty messed up stuff on the planet. Uh, there were other visitors in the past. Oh. Um, a little mysterious, a little enigmatic. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I love a little mystery. <laughs> and, uh, so we're, we're actually working with uh, uh, an author that we can't name just yet. Oh. Um, but yeah. uh, a pretty cool uh, person. Um. We're inspired a lot by uh, Nausicaa, by uh, Annihilation, in mm. terms of... Uh, Love that movie. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of, like, uh, games, I think Subnautica is really, really cool in terms of a reference, in terms of coming into a world and having a mystery and trying to unravel it and maybe using ingenuity and creativity for your for your uh, yeah. uh, problem solving. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, what you'll figure out is as as you explore, as you try and collect resources and, and accomplish your traversal goals and your your, your uh, like investigation of the planet goals, um, you'll find that everything that you do has an impact on the uh, on the ecosystem. Mm. And Very reactive kind of environment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. a lot of a lot of focus on kind of building the impossible to fit in one's head pyramid of what reacts to what and how and when yeah but the idea is to um to basically have multiple paths forward um and to always kind of have a different experience for each player depending on how they go about it so that's kind of why we have a really free form crafting system mm. so the crafting system it's it's all about components and fragments that you piece together in a free form style and then you build your vehicles your infrastructure your equipment um, and that's really about leveraging not just like, you know, the silhouette and the function of what you're trying to do, but mm -hmm. also manipulate uh, the weather and manipulate creature oh. behavior to get your stuff done. So if you don't, I mean, one of the, the cool anecdotes that we were yeah. talking about was sort of like, you know, you might have this lightning rod to help sort of power some of your structures and your maybe even your vehicles. And so how, how do you get lightning to appear on a planet that's so beautiful and serene? Well, you sort of, you know, you anger the planet a little bit, mm. and then you can start using the planet to your advantage there to, to actually, you know, power the lightning rod and power the, the vehicles and whatnot, which is... I'm sure that's the only thing it does, right? No, <laughs> yeah, there's so much, yeah, there's a lot, lot of cool things that you can do uh, to take take advantage of, of this sort of, uh, the back and forth of the reactivity that the planet offers you. Um, and then obviously it's just, an, it's an extra, extremely beautiful sort of place to... Run around with front. Yeah, front. yeah. Look at the sky. Oh my gosh, we gotta talk about that. Like <laughs> the, the sky box. Do you like the, the aurora borealis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like it's you know it's, we got a few of those. Yeah. Extremely beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible stuff. Um, you were talking about such a big game, right? Mm -hmm. So many playing with so many different of your friends. How many players do we have so, so far? So internally, we've only tested up to ten because okay. we don't have more than ten people. Sure, <laughs> small team. Um, yeah. Small. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're we're seven full time. Yeah. Um, we were a bit more earlier on, but then uh, some of some of our people yeah, spread into new jobs mm -hmm. uh, when we uh, detached ourselves from our former uh, giant Swedish conglomerate that I won't name. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, so, yeah, basically um, seven full time and then another seven or so people that are helping in part time capacity on stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, a, a lot of stuff that we're trying to do. Yeah. Um, the 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 art team right now is two people. Oh my super, gosh! Super super super. Wow! Yeah. And for having this kind of like level, I mean, even the background, the the crystals and whatnot, like uh, having this kind of level of fidelity, uh, you know, because I my background is I'm a developer's developer, right? Like just being able to see what you see with only two people who have kind of put that together, it's a feat. It's a it's a big feat for sure. Especially yeah. at um, this stage of development, yeah. too. Like yeah. very impressive. Yeah, uh, I was. 
I, I'm so interested in how you guys build this world, right? So it's it's not procedurally generated, right? It is it is a world that you yeah, are building handcrafted. from handcrafted. Yeah. So if I were to start a different game, it would be the same world as the previous yeah, game. So we actually started. We spent a year on yeah. procedural generation. Mm -hmm. um, it it was super cool, but we wanted to push the narrative forward a lot. We want the like we want we want to have a really really dope uh, story to tell and yeah. lots of mysteries to uh, also add in as you uncover ones. Um, and we thought that, you know, going handcrafted would be a better approach. Like, post-launch, we'll want to have, like, a free mode and, and, and you know, play with the systems <laughs> and use a proc gen um, world. Kind of you create a little bit more dynamicism for the players, yeah. like, long-term. Tell more stories as well. That's kind of a big thing, right? We saw that with Subnautica as well. Um, you know, we're both big fans of Subnautica. I'm, I'm a Charlie Cleveland got me into the industry a long time ago. Wow. And, I think that you know some of that is, is is great what they did, but there's there's such a sort of vivid world and story that that Goosebite's building that I think you know is one one of those stories you're just going to have to tell with the fans over time and engage with them uh, as well when you do it. Yeah, and i when I was playing this uh, a few days ago, I was struck by how fast the mood changes in this game. Right, like uh -huh. I, at yeah, first I'm quick. like, this is a yeah. beautiful alien world. You know, I could just chill here forever, and then yeah. the lightning storms happen, yeah. and then the bears, and it's uh, it, what it, is this? All the smoke that I found yeah. myself in. exactly. I'm like, oh no, maybe want to try that out a oh. little bit. Yeah. So if I go, so here you want to dismantle these uh, gotcha. these alien structures. Yeah. There we go. So this is um, stuff that was left behind. You don't really know what it does or what mm. its function or form are, you know, but when you get closer to the big power, you'll have uh, uh, more stuff there. Um, yeah, so if you saw the, the, the environment change in a drastic way, it's, 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 it's our um, reactive ecosystem again. So based on what you do and oh, how you approach it. Um, right. Yeah, I was doing a lot. I was taking a lot of those yeah. materials. Yeah. I gotta be yeah. honest. Yeah. I know it does seem like endless harvesting, and then I'm like, oh no. Yeah. yeah what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. What kind Footprint of impact worsening. am I leaving? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It adds to the to the metaphor of it all, but it's a great it's a ga great gameplay um, yeah. kind of modifier to it. Yeah. So like when, whenever the, the the planet does get angered, oh, the the resource regeneration on the different uh, sources slows down. Um, the creatures uh, get riled up. Sometimes you know titans might awaken. Uh, <laughs> some scary things. Yeah. Um, way too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should, I should save yeah. some for later. The, um, I, I don't know how much you've been able to build, uh, but just you know the sort of uh, big, big thing that I'm a fan of is that it was a sort of intentional decision on Theo and his team's part to be able to create a sort of console first, almost UX yeah. experience when creating sort of vehicles and structures, and so it's honestly just a lot of fun. It's really easy. It should hopefully feel pretty easily uh, yeah. to sort of. You know, craft a vehicle and then go and, uh, you know, effectively drive around the planet and, and have a lot of fun doing that with your friends. Yeah, I was. That's what I was struck with when we when we were first uh, playing this game of like, you messaged us really, hey, this is get a controller, and I was like, yeah. really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like, because I feel yeah. like a game like of this size, I would assume that this would be keyboard and mouse, a lot of different buttons, but having a controller it's and everything's easy. mapped perfectly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's tell me a little bit more about that of like, was that always the intention or was this something that, that happened oh, so, as, as a- So you want to press Y to undo. Oh, okay. That's a very, and then choose the front wheel on that oh, one. Oh, yeah, gotcha, my bad, my bad. Um, or else you get some kind of funny <laughs> behaviors. Yeah, it's actually yeah. really fun to see just like, woo, yeah. you know, like. Um, So yeah, the, the idea was um, I wanted to, so <laughs> I was playing uh, some other survival craft games and you know, like, I love exploring. I love seeing what's there. I, I, I love kind of like going further and, and getting into that danger zone. And sometimes you have to like build your shelter and all that stuff, right? And then, and then like time and time again, I'm fighting with the UI and the UX about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I managed to build my, my cabin, right? Yeah. And, 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 I've, and, and it's fun. I'm homesteading. I'm doing stuff. But then when I get further out, I really don't want to do it again. It's so painful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wanted to be able to have um, a system, system where you have yeah. blueprints. You can save them. Um, if you lay down something really cool that you worked on, a really cool vehicle design that's also like a um, a, a mobile base, for example, mm -hmm. or some kind of you know just Footprint. imaginative imaginative yeah. creation. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't put too much stuff you. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you do something and somebody else in your game likes that, you can just scan it 
and mm. then and then you get the blueprint. You have it because not now everybody it's like a likes shareable blueprint. I'm not a builder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, oh, I'm a pre-built kind so yeah, of now you can you can rely <laughs> yeah. on your friends who love building and just yeah. you know grab something from them. So one of the things I want to get to is so you, you know like when you start up a game like I don't know Baldur's Gate or something, yeah. you have a character creation system, mm -hmm. right? And it's super deep, it's super awesome, and you can go in there and tweak the eyebrows, tweak the nose, tweak the the, the facial skeleton, all that stuff. And then have your perfect person if you're that type of player. Mm. If you're like me, I click randomize a few times mm -hmm. and then do one or two tweaks and then yep. I'm happy. Yeah. So I want to get this system up to where basically people can do that kind of thing mm -hmm. with our crafting um, and have their own unique take, but put in as little or as much time into the system as, as they want. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it depends on like what you're trying to do and how you approach it. Do you... Do you go and, and, and do kind of aggressive methods to your, to your, <laughs> your uh, problem solving? Or do you like kind of bend nature to work for you? Yeah, kind of lowering the barrier of entry for building. You know, I, I play a lot of Rust, right? So I, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm a builder in that game, but I have friends who aren't. So it's kind of the idea here would be like, get past the sort of building if that's not your thing so that you can go and explore and you can spend time with the environments and seeing, you know, kind of engaging with the AI as well and the, the the, the creatures and the fauna. That's a great transition because I see a few creatures over here. Can we talk a little bit about that? So, yeah. um, are they, you say that they get a little riled up if you start messing with stuff. Are we fighting them or are we just letting so, them rock? Yeah, so I think <laughs> the, the, their official name is a saber. We call okay. them doggos internally. Oh, no. <laughs> doggos. <laughs> um, so yeah, our artist games had a lot of fun with it. Um, is there a plan to pet the puppy? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's got to be in the team. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so so doggos, they're, they're pretty timid, they, they run away from you, but if you mess with their specific habitat enough, mm -hmm. then they get mm -hmm. defensive. Yeah. Um, they're so, running after me when I was playing. Yeah. I gotta be honest, <laughs> yeah, so they, I was like, so, what happened? So oh, right now uh, they're chill, but if you continue building infrastructure in their area, then they'll get, they'll, they'll get uh, angry. Um, and then regardless of if they're angry or not, they hate electrical hums from mm -hmm. power relays, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, and, and I was gonna say, just speaking to that real quick, like one of the sort of, you know, I've seen some of the, the comments in chat talking about pollution, right? Like we think a lot about visual pollution. We think about a, a, a sort of olfactory pollution as well. We sort of forget about the noise pollution for sure. Yeah. You, know, you hear about you know, sort of whales in the ocean and whatnot. And that's kind of a, a, a very intentional sort of choice on, on Goose Bite's part to be able to sort of say like, hey, you know, all, all of what you do, physically and whatnot, will affect all sorts of parts of the world. So when, when we say it's reactive, it's really reactive, right? You gotta be careful. Um, but it also makes for a really fun sort of balance too, you know? Yeah. And is there a way to kind of become one with the nature and also build <laughs> or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can we have both? <laughs> Can yeah, we yeah. have our so cake and eat it too? this demo, which is way too long probably. <laughs> um, as I try so to find you, aluminum. What you'll find is that you... you <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of demo. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll anger the, 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 the doggos if you build too much in their area, and they will definitely go after your power relays, but mm. you need the power relays to get to this abandoned outpost where other explorers might have met a miserable fate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so um, what you do is you, you find... Like, earlier you found a, a, a sick, dying doggo. He was yeah. stuck in the, the, the gas and you collected the gas with a uh, gas extractor, you can then infuse your power relays with this uh, gas to make a creature repellent. So it mm -hmm. won't get close to your power yeah. relays that way. And that but way they, they won't kind of, they won't be irritated effectively. Well, I mean, they will be irritated, oh, oh, but they won't, yeah. they won't, they won't be attack, around when they won't, yeah. they won't attack the power relays because uh, that, that, that's toxic gas to them, right? But that's not like a very like cool way to do it. Yeah. In terms of, like, you know, you're, 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 you're mining uh, the gas, you're extracting it, you're using it. What you can do later on it, when you get to the bear forest, oh. face bear forest. <laughs> Don't um, get me started. <laughs> you'll 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 Trauma. find that um, you know the the space bears they love a specific fruit, right? Mm. Um, so if you get close enough to that area and don't get mauled by them, yep. you can gather that fruit, infuse your um, your your power relays with that fruit, and then the bears will migrate over to the power relays and defend them from the, the 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 doggos right and so that's going to be a way less intrusive way to do it interesting um going down like the natural predator <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. you're just kind of like there's a lot of those sort of it. yeah things that you have to cut kind of, there's i think the the idea is sort of like letting Check the player discover all of these sources. different little mechanics the that kind of feels organic feels natural or it's very important to sort of help 
people realize these things. A little bit trial and error as well. Oh yeah. Um, did you have enough resources? To yeah, I'm trying a, to find the aluminum. The aluminum for a uh, for the old. Yeah, for the uh, hot rod that you, you built. You can just cheat. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, this yeah, cheap yeah. one. Oh my gosh. We start do it? and then do toggle free materialization. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. The perks of pre alpha. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The perks. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Well, footprint worsened. Uh oh. For better or for worse, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, every single thing that you build is gonna <laughs> contribute a little bit. But there, yeah. there are certain things that worsen it a little bit, and some that worsen it a lot. If you put a, a, a like a like a mining device or extractor, that's gonna be. 20 times worse than just a simple, right? So it's always this kind of push and pull. Yeah, is there anything that, that yeah. helps the environment that you can yeah. use? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you can, good question. Like, we, we, being able to to add the forest and stuff like that is on, on the roadmap for us. Um, oh, oh. anti-grav oh, bubble. Almost, grav. almost got uh -huh. there. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, things like this, you, you'll, you'll study these and then be able to apply that to yes. your craftables as well. Ooh. Awesome. Love it. <clears throat> Such a good time. We, uh, um, do you have enough to make that uh, that hot rod? Uh, <laughs> I was curious if, it, if, it, no, if we I don't built think it the so. right way. Let me, yeah, let me, let me drop it down. I wanted to show everybody what we're talking about in terms of crafting, but let's try to drop it down. Let's see if we have enough. Oh, we, I guess we do. We do, because we got the cheats yeah, on. Yeah. We got the cheats yeah, on. Let's yeah. make it happen. Yeah. See, I didn't let myself cheat at home. You know what I mean? So like <laughs> now it's like, now it's all... Raj going for the purest. Yeah, thing. exactly. <laughs> but yeah, just this one little... Um, uh, area probably takes a there we go. hour to get Oh, through. wow. Whoa, now we're in a new game. You know what I mean? This is... Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it you carting around with your friends, carrying stuff, building stuff? Yeah, and I could... mobile base earlier, which I think is yeah. such a cool concept, yeah, yeah. right? We have a lot of fun making the most ridiculous wow. things possible. We still have to do some destructible uh, vegetation, so you oh, can cool. cut up on stuff. My, uh, like... When I will be happy with this feature is when we get, uh, when I can do uh -oh. uh, my. Oh. We were literally just talking about yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can just build yeah. another one. Don't you worry. Yeah. yeah. Just keep building it. We got unlimited. Exactly. Endless crap. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, when, when, when you can do Here like an 18 wheel monstrosity with uh, chainsaws and flamethrowers on oh, it, drive yes. through a forest, uh, and then just, you know, see what happens then. Yeah, uh, just destroy everything. Uh -huh, Who cares? Uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, well, I want it to be where, you know, if. Like when you play SimCity, yeah. you build your perfect city, and then you're like, okay, I'll unleash Godzilla. You yeah, know? yeah, yep. exactly. like, like you need to be able to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, um, it, it, always push and pull. That's how yeah. you got to do it. Uh, let's talk about that in terms of you mentioned chainsaw, flamethrowers. Are uh -huh. there is there combat in this game? Is yeah. there okay? Yeah. Okay. So, um, not yet because we're still developing a yeah. lot of stuff. It's a systems heavy game, but um, if I were to if I were to like condense the the two main. Um, inspirations for us, it'd be Subnautica and Monster Hunter. Ooh. So when I say Monster Hunter, it's not about like taking down the monsters. Um, it's more about the tracking aspect so that you can get up close and personal and learn about them and, and, and then figure out how you can utilize that knowledge for your crafting and the resources around that. Mm -hmm. um, no, but, like domestication. Uh, TBD. Mm -hmm. TBD. <laughs> TBD. Oh. There's, there's, we'll there's see. recent... Uh, titles that may start with P that could in inspire something like that. <laughs> um, TBD. Yeah. But the um, the to to learn about all these things, to do that tracking, to 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 to, to you know like get further into the planet and understand the mysteries. There's there's a big component of cartography, right? Like if you lo go back to like ancient explorers, like map making and understanding, mm -hmm. uncovering the the fog of war, if you will, is super important. And to do that. Uh, you will be using, you know, n drones that kind of like map things out and that will rile up the ecosystem and yeah. then that will probably result in some kind of like defend your equipment type of thing for a while. So it's a... Uh, um, that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm thinking more like Orcs stuff. Must Die in terms of like it's more mm -hmm. your equipment that's going to defend you and mm -hmm. then your combat is somewhat meaningless yeah. but yeah. It's still a little bit impactful, like in a pinch. But uh, it's not like a pew pew shooter game, yeah. Right? And that makes sense, yeah. Especially yeah. with what you're going for with this game and being able to the push and pull of it all, yeah. as I keep us, as I keep saying. Yeah, but there's a a lot of uh, things at play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see. And you have a, such a small team dealing with this massive world that is handcrafted. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about managing that scope of it all. I know that as the game is probably progressing, you're like, oh, we can do this, we can do that, but so, also trying not to get too crazy. Yeah, I mean the. Um, the advantage is that, like, I spent a long time on like the paper 
part of it of thinking what it would be and we've been really focused about you know let's get crafting up to a certain level that'll enable the player to have the tools to then do the next phase so we're kind of rolling it out in uh, different layers mm -hmm. um, and although systemic games are very very challenging they're also kind of um, <laughs> easy in a way that once, I'm sorry yeah. I'm sorry I was screwing with them uh, too much uh, once no. you get a, a, a critical mass of enough systems playing together you can start testing things out and figure out like what, what what's a tweak yeah um, but it is it is a lot um, but we've we've got a good good mix of uh, seniors and juniors in in, in the in the group that the, we have also the team just overall is is very sort of you know committed to the the creative vision yeah. right so a lot of it is sort of it's almost like ad hocracy of, of kind of mutual thought and um, oh, yeah. it's you know it, it's a great team that works really really hard to kind of fit with inside of the bounds of, of you know Theo, Theo's brainchild here. All right, now we're getting what to the tough do, part. What are you doing? You I start see, I start seeing. I think these are the bears. Uh -huh. the, yeah. Ooh. So I'm trying to I'm trying to just hide a little bit. You know, just drop this here. I'm sure that would be a big problem. Don't worry about oh, it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that, yeah. That they're, thing's oh, gonna. Oh, go they're gonna on. chill. Yeah, for, for put worse. And don't they don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Build another habitat of valley. It's just they're gonna see. So you're just gonna start throwing <laughs> down all sorts of stuff. Yeah, just yeah. Right there, and then we got it right here. I'm, wait, I'm waiting running, for aggravating these animals. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting for the, the thunder. Oh, I mean, if, if you want to speed run aggravating the animals, just just build. Do what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, just build a lot more. <laughs> build it all. I love it. Um, Judging by the bite marks oh on this saber carcass, muskeg bears clearly prey on sabers. Ooh. Oh. A little sort of. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, they're after you now. Now, is there a way that I can get away from them, or just I just keep on running? I just keep uh, running. You want to run out outside of their habitat. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> or build smart. something with a creature repellent on it and hide next to it. Smart. Ooh. The creature repellent. Yes, yeah, smart. Uh, see, and I love that because I was totally not thinking about the creature repellent, even though it is it is there. And I yeah. saw it, yeah. and I was like, oh, oh okay. He's still running. Oh, God. He's, <laughs> he's chasing me. He's so much faster. I do appreciate that you can at least outrun them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there will be a stamina yeah, meteor eventually, and I won't be able to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> right now, I'm just the fastest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to drop a car. Let me try to go back there. Yeah, and I love the the idea of being able to save the builds that you're yeah, working on, yeah. and I that can extends see the bases as well. So you can make oh, all really? sorts of different rooms and wow. compartments, and you know, people can add their own. You know, in, in a lot of the building games, you got like your own room. Yeah, with your oh own yeah. your own inventory, your it's own my stuff. Bad yeah, it's like, in I'm my gonna build bed. this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna add the creature repellent really quick. And right. that'll be really nice because inevitably, with our crew of people, Mike's gonna ask us to build like seven different swords or cars <laughs> for us. And this way, we can just be like, "Here you go." Yep. Can I put a tower on this? Mm, I think that one won't work. Okay. You can try. Maybe yeah. you can a try. bigger one. <laughs> a bigger car? Or? Yeah. Like uh, a. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I don't know. I mean, you can make a big, big car. Yeah. You yeah. know what you want. Yeah. Try, try a, a oh. new car. Okay. Let's do a new car. Let's build a new car, everybody. So right, how large. big can we make it, right? Okay. Yeah, just six go. for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Oh, wow. There's a lot of wheels. Okay. So this is the rear, rear. of the car? Okay. Rear. No, 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 that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the front that you're looking at. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Go. Cool. And then you might want to put like three engines instead of one. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it's a horsepower. It's a chunky little car. All right. Let's keep. Oh, did I do the? Yeah, I got you. We're good. You got the right wheels. Yeah, I got the right wheels. I'm a little See, scared when we about played wheels. this on Friday, I didn't even realize there were different kinds of wheels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's how deep it goes. <laughs> Maybe that was the reason One, we're struggling a little bit. Two, three. Okay, and then and I want to put a cabin also. Yeah. In the front there, yeah. And then Look at that. I guess Good while problem. you're at it, put a first aid kit there. So if oh. you're oh. That'd be down or, or, or maybe like some uh, platform and some stairs if you ever want to re wow. reach up and grab some space fruit or something. Oh, that's ooh. <laughs> I love that. I gotta be honest. Every, everything, fruit. everything we have is like, uh, what is it? Uh, it's a space bear. Space, yeah. <laughs> yeah. space dog, space, space fruit. I gotta be honest space because tree. this is such an early build of the game, and thank you for showing this. By the yeah. way, I know yeah. this is probably very scary to show an early build of a game on live on on yeah. stream. Yeah. But when I was playing this, I was like, "This has to be a mistake." Having stairs, you can't put stairs on a car. And it's like, oh, why not? You guys had it. You knew uh, it. You, you could do a three-story tower if you want. That's yeah. awesome, and I love that you're building from the ground up with that with that idea. And so then there's a first aid kit I could put. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. The... Would be under structures. One of these. Oh, yeah, healing station. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, Maybe two for this. 
Yeah, and maybe 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 turn it right right trigger or left trigger. Yeah, yeah so go. that if you're on the side of the car, Smart. you can access it. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We did it, everybody. Yeah, Let's do it. There we go. Save draft. Uh, no guarantee it's gonna drive well. <laughs> 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 yeah, traversal with the stairs Oop. seems like. Let's drop it here and then. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Primed for flat ground. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, drops on the floor. That's it's all that matters. There. It's there. <laughs> Will it drive? Oh, my bad. There we go. Oh. You put it in. The <laughs> yeah. oh, Let's try it again. Rocks. Let's try again. One more yeah. time, everybody. Black ground. <laughs> Black ground, everybody. I think sort of maybe different kind of wheels and sort of like bigger, smaller, kind of being able to clear up the terrain a little bit too, so that you know you yes. make it a little easier. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a it's a chonky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, like we're a gonna boat. have I love um, it. like a, a, a hover uh, oh. and. Then, Wheels uh, of different types, suspension tires, uh, regular tires, etc. Um, All I think unlockable stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As you progress, so as you as you, you figure as out more, you scan new things and learn new things. You'll you'll get new toys. So we don't want we don't want we don't want to like overwhelm people with like here's yeah. everything all at once, yeah. right? Um, but yeah, it's um, <laughs> I I would personally love spider legs. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. But but. but um, we're gonna need a dedicated technical animator yeah. for that one. <laughs> <laughs> need to have a little more help that's the team. Outside of scope. Like that. That's for the yeah. future. For that's for the future. Yeah. All right. We're almost done with time, so we just want to ask you guys: yeah. any last thoughts? Any uh, th thing, uh, places for people to follow or wish yeah. list or anything? So, yeah. So we we have a, of course, we have a Steam page up, um, and so you please can wish, wish list. list. Uh, yes. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Exclamation point! Wish list in the uh -huh. chat. Yeah. 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 And I know it's pinned up there too. It is very helpful for us as we speak with. Uh, all the money people. <laughs> um, and then uh, we have a Discord that's even more important, I think, for us, because what we would like to do is get to a spot where, if we're feeling, you know, not too vulnerable about, uh, vulnerable about things, mm -hmm. push these demos out, even if yeah. they're super early. Share with the community. Share with people. I love it. How people tell us, you know, it really, really Why? is awesome people that you do this, and guess. this really, this really stinks. Can you make yeah. it, you know, like, just get, get a lot get, of get, get feedback, feedback coming in. Um, because yeah. ultimately, <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah, 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 perfect yeah, yeah. timing. <laughs> yeah, so, so, you know, Discord, uh, Steam page, wish list, yeah, signal. Um, what's the website again? Goosebite. Yeah, oh, goosebite.games. <laughs> Goosebite.games. <laughs> Goosebite. Goosebite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they got links, links to everything's on there. Yeah. So, love that. Awesome. We got Goosebite in the chat right now. Woo. Hey. Oh my love gosh. That. Well, Thank you so much for coming out and yeah. showing off again a pre pre alpha. I know it's very stressful, but we appreciate it and everything. And thanks for showing off the game. This is very exciting. Yeah, thanks and, for having uh, us. Yeah. 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 And right now we're gonna just throw it over to uh, Mike and I think Andy, who are gonna play some Asafa guys. Ooh, oh my gosh! That'll be exciting really fun. stuff. Come down to the stage, everybody. Let's switch over. Yay! Woo. What's going on, gamers? Hit a what? That work? Hello, everybody. I'm so excited about this one. <laughs> we have... Uh, <laughs> Come on, a little party game action for us? We right have now? Peyton and Hendrick joining us Hello. for a game called Isafa Guys. That's right. And... Uh, I can, you can already kind of tell what it's going to be yeah, just yeah. based on the name, which is fantastic. And the shirts. And the shirts, <laughs> it's yeah. It's far out. It's Appreciate a, it. a home, great home naming me. convention. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I did love, I just, I did copy paste some of the game. Okay, okay, uh, hit me. Little details. Um, Isafa Guys is a silly party platformer where you play as old folks with elongating necks. <laughs> and that's all you kind of need to know. Yeah. That's perfect right there. It's just... <laughs> Guys, welcome to the spare bedroom. Thanks for Excited having to have you. Yeah. Uh, last year, I got to play this game at GDC. Oh my God, you did. Uh -huh, That's yeah, right. I couldn't stop talking about it. So yeah. I'm excited that you guys are back this year. <laughs> so we get to play it together right now, awesome. which is going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. That's right. I did remember you mentioning it. Uh -huh. um, I, I had just never quite seen it in action. Now, are we... <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> just like that. That's how you get started. Uh, what, was I just was I controlling that, or were you controlling that? Yeah, so you're the first player, uh, and uh, you pressed it. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're laughing. What is this game? What's going on, everybody? Tell us what the heck is happening. Yeah, this is a uh, party platformer. So uh, one to four players here. Um, this is we're starting off in our adventure mode. So it's like a co-op experience here for the first part. Who are we missing here on the? Uh, uh, I'm in. You're in. You're missing. Are you that in? one? So press that Xbox button at the top oh, of that, that one. Oh, it's not. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, I'll play that one. I'm always mimicking my movement. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine's still connecting. Art style immediately here. Oh, I got disconnected, but now it may work for yeah, you, go. Hendrick. If you hit start. Uh, it's, it's still flashing for me. So. May have a, may have yeah, some syncing issues. Off, sure. sure. Okay. Okay. Michael tried to do some engineering on it. And if not, we can always just rock with three players for now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't want to miss out on the fun. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm no, you're right. About this game. Uh, I love uh, We have a comment here from Slushy in the oh, yeah. uh, YouTube chat says, "God, the noises." Now that was another detail in the write-up that. The noises that the characters are making, it's just, that's all voice acting, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's all the sound effects are generated by this mouth right here. Nice. Perfect, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Mouth from the south, everybody. Andy, we gotta that's get right. you in the <laughs> doing this. this uh, now, how many, like, what was, like, what did that labor of love look like? Were you in the studio for hours upon hours? Long nights, you know, alone in the basement. <laughs> just, just making the most strange sounds I could. You know? <laughs> yeah. The offers just come in, there's a, hey, we... Uh, we have a wellness check call on you. We're hearing weird noises. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And so where did this idea come from to make this party platform? What, what was the thought? I could ask that a lot, and uh, I don't have any good answer. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it just, it's like spontaneous, you know? It just came to me one night, like uh, the whole design for the game, pretty much. And we've been, yeah, I've been working towards it. Was it not like the podcast creation uh, concept, or it's like you come up with a cool name for the podcast, then you Right. Was it like we we came up with a name? Now right. let's make the game after a Safa guy. It wasn't like that. No, it came at the same time. So. Oh my God! I just bit somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we could just walk around there. Oh, right, that's, right. that's perfect. Holy shit! There you go. You got me. Yeah. I was trying to do the same thing. Awesome. Oh God! That's teamwork right there. Yep. And so I saw you guys last year here at the mix. I, I think I got to play with you. What has it been after a year now? What have we been doing for? A year what are you looking at now as we head hopefully towards release i'm sure oh yeah you want to take this yeah one? so that's kind of where i came in um the, the physics is uh i'm a software the software engineer on this so the physics with these kind of games it's always very tricky to get it right so a lot of bugs have uh, were happening last year so yeah it's probably been like nine months of just testing and wow. keeping things stable feel. I, feel yeah i think that's one immediate thing that i noticed is that it it controls and feels how it looks it does mm -hmm. like yes. it's it's very one-to-one -one. there's not a whole lot of like i need to figure out how this mechanic works it's like no you swing the right stick it long <laughs> makes the neck long <laughs> and the swinging mechanic feels really damn good uh how long did that take to kind of get to feel right i mean long, yeah. it's been long yeah, yeah. Long time. i mean we, we tweak and tune so much so. We're pretty happy with the current state. Though. Nice. Yeah, we're working a lot now on uh, developing secondary mechanics. So, pick up like items you can pick up. You know, interact with the world. Okay. Uh, we're looking at some pretty cool uh, new neck interactions, like traversable necks. That's uh, that's gonna be a big one for us. Okay, I like. Yeah, yeah traversable necks. I mean, I like the grab right now. That's a brilliant idea there. This is some next gen necknology. Yeah, like. that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that out there. You're right there with the crew, is right. Uh, and okay, so the, the way the levels will. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. I needed that help. Yes. I needed the help. All right, so left bumper is. What does left bumper do? All right, there. Yeah. So oh, that. God, was that, that a real burp you just recorded? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. A lot of sodi pops for that. <laughs> so this is like our hub area right here. So okay. This is going to be like kind of the spot where you can play around. It's like a little playground. You also pick your levels. So these doors will take you to a certain level, different game mode, different types of, uh, yeah, different levels with, between each. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah, that I think that sort of aspect kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. Yeah, yeah like, it's kind of hub That's world, awesome. Right. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, Andy. Very, so very cool. what is there? Is there a story campaign mode to this? Is it mm -hmm. always, hey, we're party gaming it, kind of like Ultimate Chicken Horse it's, where we pick the level? It's a deep introspective story <laughs> about life. <laughs> we, have, we have a story mode in the works, so we have a solo story mode. You can play single player, but you can play with your friends. Cool. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be like a narration through it. It's gonna, it's going to be uh, we're trying to get some. You're going to be on the deep track lore. For that? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's great. That's so, beautiful. That's perfect. We have the, the mini games. Yeah, the yeah. mini games are a big ones. So competitive mode. Okay. Uh, right now we have one mini game in the demo. It's called Isafa Ball. It's like a soccer-like mini game. We'll, we'll get to that. We're gonna be great at that. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy. Yeah. And oh then my we god! Have, like, look our, at this. Our main co-op mode, which okay. is kind of what we played. So it's like a traversal. Work together, 
Kind of like a Pico Park. Yeah. Yes, I love oh, that. I love That's that. great. Okay. Well, yeah, let's do it. Let's tee up another level. Let's get lost let's in the, it. Yeah. Another down, one? Yeah. Down we'll here? The, okay. We'll do the mini game after this one. This is another co op. And so now this is a co op experience. Is this going to be on the couch co op? Will it be online co op? What kind of things are you working on for that kind of aspect? Couch co op is what we're going to start with. So, okay. Yeah, we're, we're still kind of looking at some online uh, plans. We're not sure yet. But, um, <laughs> we got, oh, we were gonna work together there and get yeah. you. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> well, let me, like, yeah, my head's too I extended. Did, did. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, go. There we go. Oh my god, Perfect. I got launched. <laughs> that looked amazing and felt really awesome. Okay. Oh, we have someone with the you. shovel. Oh no. That's a great chuck right there. <laughs> What is that? Okay, first off, what was that thing we were just grabbing onto? The flying bug thing? Yeah, it's exactly flying that. Bug. Oh, okay, oh, perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Was that a checkpoint we just hit? Yeah. yeah oh, exactly. I love that. So okay, checkpoint. Respawn. So if I die right there, that's where I'm going to come back. Yeah, someone oh, have to it. cross over, so uh, I'll okay. die. pick you up. There's so here's the next one. one. Oh, nice. Amazing. I exited out. That's beautiful. What are some of the inspirations to making this game? <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Character, uh, oh. stop moving. Oh, try respawning. There you go. Oh, there I am. Now, now I'm back. Now I'm back. You just skip that part now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> we were getting launched up there. Oh. Uh, everyone, okay. There we go. We're all together, man. Yeah, this is we gotta make line. the ultimate. We gotta all yeah. combine, yeah. right? We have to. <laughs> oh, we lost next one. one. Yeah. We lost one. I don't know if, if game oh. development is ready for it. <laughs> or uh, I gotta. <laughs> okay, let's try a four. four yeah, let's let's game. let's link up. Wait a second. Yeah. I'll come over here. Oh, yeah. here, here. Okay. Yeah, like, oh my god. Oh my god. Bite. Let me get a bite of it. Yeah. Take a little chunk out. Freak it out. Freak it out. Oh my god. Okay. We did it. Now grab all the fly. Yeah. Let it. Let it take it. Top right. Top right. Look at us. <laughs> Who's fighting the fly? Let, let go, let go. Oh, okay, it's fine, we made it. We're fine, we made it. Oh. Good teamwork, good teamwork. This is incredible. I mean, I'm sure it's laughter at the booth every single time. You can show this off, right? It's always got to be laughter. Mm -hmm. Now, what do the concept art look like? <laughs> like, Are these just sketches on paper? Do you have, like... You know, like, are we gonna get a, an esophagus art book? No, that's, <laughs> then, that's actually something we should think about. Put on the coffee an table. Book, I'm definitely putting it on the yeah. coffee table. Yeah, want it to look like a Dark Souls sort of like <laughs> retrospective. Yeah. That's a great idea. We haven't thought about it. <laughs> I'm trying to get launched. Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> And are you guys aiming oh, at a certain oh no. release date now? Do you have one in mind? Are, what consoles and uh, platforms are we coming to? Uh, we're going to start with PC. Consoles okay. we're still in the works for. Cool. So yeah, we definitely want to get into the consoles, but still let's, working. Uh, on. Let's try one of the, the mini games. Yeah. I yeah. think that one bugged out a little bit there. Uh, get one more player in. Okay. Like grab There's someone still missing. Oh well, yeah, I think we're missing one. Uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm missing you. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I just disappeared. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. this one. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm. That's not me. I'm in. There we go. I think, yeah, one of them is switching. One, yeah. The controllers. One of us, I think, I'll, I can sit out for the next one. Okay, hold up. You just press the. There we go. So you're on that one. Yeah, stay on that one. Oh, no, I disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that I'll happened. I'll try that one more time okay. for you. Let me sit out then. Let me sit. You're going to sit out? All right, okay. all right, all right, all right. He's not playing. I'm in. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. Yeah. I think, uh, okay. There we go. Okay. So you, you, you three go. Playing. You three go. Oh, no, I'm back in. Okay. I I'm got in. the blue overalls, Mike. It's overall I'm Monday. <laughs> so, so this is like uh, where you pick your team. Okay. Uh, so you go to the right door or the left door if right. you're on the left. You're going yellow. I think, uh, yeah, you, you two go yellow and okay. I'll, I'll play against you. 2v1. We're in 2v1 yeah. right here. 2v1. We can't leave this. Developer there. superpower. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you just, uh, there's like a, a juice harp over here. You just pull it and then we kind of ascend into the mini game. Yep. Oh, oh, that's oh, fun. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's nice. Cool. <laughs> Look at these sketches. They're so cute. Yeah, so that's just, the, <laughs> that's just the instructions. So there's going to be this blowfish or pufferfish or whatever, and you have to just bump it into the frog's mouth, and you get a point. For it. Okay. okay. First to ten wins. All right, let's see. We've been practicing all week, Mike. Yes, we've been working on <laughs> we've been this. Running right. plays. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I want a spider two white banana right here from you. Yeah. So yellow, try to go for yellow gold. Then get blue for blue. Oh, take it back home with us. Oh, oh no. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Okay. You see how he wrapped his neck around that? You got to do that. Tactic. That's a that, that is a look good at this, look strat. At this. Oh, look he's at that strat. 
I got it, Andy. I got it. I got, got it. Up. I I'm got playing it defense. Up. I'm playing defense. Uh oh. <laughs> nice shot. Yellow's looking good. Oh, God. Ooh. What a wild one. <laughs> and so, can we bite onto this or no? We got to no. wrap it up? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, you whipped it into that oh, oh, that's, all right. that's all right. <laughs> Up or maybe I whapped. I think maybe you I did. did. I'm on the far right. Yeah. Oh, we got with oh, what oh, I am. Oh, oh, hey, now. You he really lamed me. Stuck on that. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, Get in there, it's son. up top. You see it's it up top? top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we actually oh. did a uh, community on our Discord, like a little competition on this a couple weeks ago. A lot of fun. Uh, we oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost had it. <laughs> I'm gonna defend over here so he can't score. I love the defense, Mike. Have you sent it? To oh, oh. oh, look, we're throwing it at each other. That's reverse. amazing. Reverse. Oh, and I'm bouncing off this lead, oh, too. I must oh, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. I stopped that. Nice job, Andy. <laughs> we just gotta get it. Oh, Andy, oh. perfect. <laughs> I almost did it. That was a close one. Technical foul. That's a foul right there. All right, this Come is on. a fun oh, little mini game right here this for everyone. Cool to play. How many of these have we thought of and created? Yeah. I guess as we, well. We have a lot of mini games in the works. Okay. Been like a dodgeball one we're looking at. We're looking cool. at a racing one. Now, when you're in development, what sort of takes the priority? Like, are you like, all right, well, we've we prioritized the last two uh, mini games. Now let's yeah. get back to the main level creation for like the the campaign or right. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we kind of try to work on all simultaneously. I think. Okay. Like, uh, build them all because like, I think we all we all can like build levels on the team. So we uh, we try to we try to balance it out, even it out a bit. At at what point do you kind of look at each other and say, Yeah, I think this level is done. Like, what's what's sort of like the thing that says, like, Yeah, this is feature complete. I Ooh. think uh, just. Ton of testing. We yeah. play a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So so even the um, the the biting each other was not very good in in last year's demo. So that's something we realized. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so useful and it's so fun that mechanic. So we kind of took an iterative uh, approach on it and we developed the mechanic and made sure it works well. Um, and now it's like one of the highlights. Being able to like throw someone away from their goal or throwing them off the map even. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god, that was a nice <laughs> Did you score. see him bite you like that? That was, that was amazing. <laughs> oh god. Yes. And Wait, I'm scoring for them. God yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're, not going for we're not going for blue. Okay. And is there a demo available for people to play right now? Right now, yep. Nice. Of course, we've talked about it all day long. The best way to support all these incredible developers in their games, go wishlist the game on Steam. Mm -hmm. You can do that. We got a Nightbot command. You can go look up the game, especially when there's a demo out. You can just go grab your friends and start playing right That's away. Right. We're making a small comeback, Andy. We're no, no, the nice comeback starts now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a halftime speech. Yep. You know, we just talked about, like, you know, what motivates you, you know? Like, do you want to go down in history as a loser, or do you want to be the Asafa oh, nice. guy? 7-4. No, we, no, we didn't lose. Come back right here. Nice First job. I'm right, I'm right there with you. Oh. 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 Nice. There it is. Oh, there it is. One. I feel like I'm just giving us a chance right yeah, now. Yeah, I think he might be. I think he might be. I appreciate be. it. I appreciate it. We ne I needed that for Maya. <laughs> oh, no, I might have scored, scored on myself. That Come on, on Mike. That was on me. Wood. I'm Aren't trying to work this long neck right now. It's tough. It's tough. Why aren't you playing defense, dog? Oh, that was almost a nice little bat right there. You batted it in. Playing defense. Nope. Oh, oh I missed it. There we go. Put it back. Oh. Have you all ever, uh, in like the the main modes of the game, mm -hmm. have there ever been moments where you're like, this level is too difficult? Like, n none of, all of us oh. are having trouble with it. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, yeah, we have had that. We redesigned it, you know, just start, kind of start, you know, from scratch in those kind of situations. But we also found, though, uh, when the players get really good, like, we felt there's a there's a high sk skill ceiling to this controller. Yes. So the more you play, the better you get. And, uh, it becomes like Rocket League at that point. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I'm going to get really good at this game. Really? You feel? So yeah, I'm going to need the most difficult levels is. possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Just for. Don't take it yeah. easy on me. <laughs> that that <laughs> Mario Maker type vibe where it's like, oh, this is so difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working oh, on those no. really, really hard ones where they're just brutal. Like uh, the for, for that player, you know, it's not gonna be like a big, a big section, but it's gonna be there. Mike, I'm just gonna play defense on Hendrick, okay? Okay. He's gonna yeah. try to bite his ass, damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He scored right That's away. The problem I've, with I've been, I've been him in the butt right there. This tough, but this top part is tough. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta really work it. God damn it. 
You gotta stretch Get back your head. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. Don't oh, that little bounce. I didn't even realize oh, that. There it nice is. Nice job. Yes, the point lethal for bounce you up. Okay, I can All right, now now we're way over here, Mike. Yeah, should be winning, winning keep, it, it, keep, it, keep it low, keep it low. Don't go high, keep it low. I'm just going to be a pest. I'm going to be Patrick Beverly out here, Mike. Just playing defense. There we go. Know, being a nuisance. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, bite him on the butt. Bite him on the butt. I'm taking him with me. I need to steal this ball. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, we're no. gonna get an accidental no. bounce in, I know it. Come on! Oh, no. damn it. Yes! 9-9, okay, nine, nine, Mike. It's a 9-9 nine, nine game. This is where champions are made of. It's the top. It's You're the going neck-to-neck. Neck. <laughs> oh, no! Yes! No! Oh, oh no, Andy! Got a deep change. Here we go. Swing it in. Oh, Andy. Oh, it's gonna bounce over. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Hendrick scored for us. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Totally fair match right there. That's that was awesome. Sweet. That was very, very cool. Oh, I can't wait to see what else you create with those mini games. I think you can have a lot of fun with that. I'm sure yeah. it's right. Let's go to another, like, uh, or oh, even, oh. like, one of the past levels we were doing. Try okay. 1.5, though. Very one the, at the bottom. The last one? Yeah, I think that would be a nice one. Okay. Yep. And so, yeah, what is it like Ooh. building out if someone is to play this single player as opposed to with their friends? Is there a limit on, like, oh, now the single player person can't reach that? because they can't connect with all their friends to be able to do certain tasks. Yeah, so the co-op mode, like this level, it requires multiple players. Okay, okay. Th that's why we have the solo narrative, you know, that experience, so that's completely, completely single player. Sweet. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of, pretty, yeah, spread across the, the whole game, a lot of content for all types of- Yeah, that's a lot of content. Co-op, competitive, yeah, multiple players, single player. Oh god, yeah, there we go, there, there it is. There it is. Hold up, there we go. <laughs> there it is. Let me grab it. Yeah. Can so we me. put those, those gates uh, pretty early in the level, so you're gonna reach the stage yeah. You know, it's impossible to do this by yourself. And oh, oh, man. oh, man. That, that was crazy. insane. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. <laughs> I don't know if you're making that. I think I'm screwed. I'm going to try to come yep. back for you. I'm going to come back for yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to bite you in midair. I was trying to grab you in midair. How do there I go back to you? Go back right there. Okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay. Hey, you, can get some, you can get some big yeets in here. Yeah, oh. toss my ass. There. Oh! oh. <laughs> There we go. We're working together. Okay. okay. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I was I was dead already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah. That mechanic so feels cool. so hilarious. Let's try that again. Bro. How did you know the limit of how long the neck could go? When when did you draw the line of like that's yeah. the line right there? The neck length. I think it's actually yeah. kind of camera. Well, it's kind of like the definer. Okay, okay. We wanted a little tight camera, right? We don't want it to be too far out. So. The, the current console tech is like not really. Yeah. <laughs> you can't handle not built it. For it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next generation of consoles can handle it. Yeah. Next gen next. No, nah, damn it. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, there's a spawn, the uh, respawn problem there. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Happens, happens. Yeah. I think it's the reason why. Mm. Oh, you got teamwork it. There it is. There you go. Okay. And then pick him up. Pick him up. Get yeah. over oh, here. Sandy. Yes. Yes. Good teamwork. <laughs> oh. I always just like make the jumps terrible. I always whip back. <laughs> Looking like a bungee cord. All right, so we hit this. We hit the shortcut. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do the triple neck chain, huh? Yeah, let's nice. triple neck it right here. Triple neck it. Let me bite on him. Come on, bite it out. Bite that. There we go. Come on. Nice. Oh my Whoa. god. Oh. I love the whipping and the flying. It, it's, it's awesome. So it feels so fun. natural. Like it doesn't feel awkward or like it, it never does anything unpredictable. Is what I love about it. It always feels like what it should be. Nice job, Andy. That's cool as shit. Good pickup over there. To Thanks, help homie. Out. Thanks, homie. That's a move I learned back in '82. <laughs> Born 88. Man. <laughs> keep whipping, keep whipping. Oh Whoa! My oh my god! <laughs> get my buddy. Yeah, go back, go back. Oh no, here oh, we go. Got, we gotta check more here. Oh yeah, you're back there, yeah. Yeah, what is I want to see like what the what the end of a level looks like mm -hmm. like like you succeeded team Okay, oh, let me grab onto green right here. Let me grab on oh, trying to grab on the green Yeah, what kind of cool stuff do you have at the end this right? I'm thinking like Mario level right you mm -hmm. jump through the gates and there's yeah. like that little bar there Maybe you do a 
a little bit of a, what do they call that, the limbo? You did a limbo? Oh, yeah. Long neck yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now we have some, it's not final. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Launched me. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're stuck. There, yeah, I mean, we could reset the game. It would, uh, yeah, we could definitely do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. You want me to do that right now? That, that'd be control. awesome, yeah. He knows how to do it. Absolutely. Because we can get all four of us, I think, back in there. Oh, actually, oh, this is like a, I forget, this is like a keyboard for like Mac or something. Oh. So <laughs> There we go, let's get back in there. Awesome. I think we play that one. Yeah, I think 1.5. Okay. Yeah. Fines. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. fun. It's, uh, it's Furry B Production says, not gonna lie, the trailer disturbed me, but this gameplay has not changed that, but now I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm in. I'm green. One more. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. We're all there back. We nice. Cool. Nice. Alright, let's, let's, right, let's work together now. We we got this. Yeah, we got to see. Yeah, the four player whip is gonna be yeah. something <laughs> yeah. the internet's never seen before. Where it's all about, yep. The esports <laughs> greatest moments. It's gonna be happening. <laughs> see. Oh, let me. Oh, is that me? Great oh. toss, though. Good try. I'll bring him back. There we go. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna get across. Yeah, get across that first. And then I can catch anyone. Oh, who's oh my god, oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, spell. Okay, Whoa. I'm gonna leave you there. No! Okay, we lost one, oh, dear, okay. but we can still go. Give me that, give me that Nick. Oh. Look at him. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Look at the teamwork. Yeah! Oh, no! Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Got a checkpoint right, right here. Alright, we got a checkpoint. We're good, we're good. No. Sometimes I get too cocky and I think like I'm gonna have the most perfect swing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me try to get the neck swing right. Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I'm trying to grab. I'm trying to grab. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Let it go. Oh my God. Perfect. Even skip that part. Let me get a hold of somebody. Let me bite you. Let me bite you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Give me. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> oh, this is spawn point. Yeah, this is spawn. Okay, there we go. Okay, All right, let me, let me get a hold yeah, of that. Extend. Oh, wait, we need one more. One more. Somebody. We got it. Big swing. I'm extending. Holy oh, <laughs> spot. Ready? Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my God, you made it. You got to get up. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're back with these little fly guys. Oh, oh my. I fell down. Oh, my. <laughs> That is with. so amazing. One is left alive. Going. That's me. I'm alive. Oh, and I need my best friend. Oh, oh I man. You might be able point, to yeah. reach. Yeah, you can reach that tree with a oh, good no, swing. No, you can do it. Come on, whip it. This is all you. Oh, this yeah. is what hero plays this are. This is it, man. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> the excitement yes. factor is amazing. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. There's my friend. Yeah, what's the, uh, like, uh, uh, right there in that little move he just did, I'm just imagining, like, what the weight proportions are telling the character to, like, well, the body's over here, so this is, like, you know, more weight over here. I see Hendrik laughing because yeah. I know that it's, like, a pain in the ass. It, it <laughs> was. It was. But honestly, we just feel, like, if it feels natural, we go with what it is. There's there's no science. To did, it, you also just, it's physics. did you also decide, like, what just feels funny in some moments, you know? Like, this would be more realistic, yeah. but let's go with this because it's hilarious. All the time. Yeah. Like, those neck coils that you sometimes get stuck in, that's just something we leave in because it looks funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> like that. Okay. You can just walk around like this. Oh, God. Oh, it's the one we so all have to This is a real gamer moment. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, cool. Okay. The depths. <laughs> what kind of world <laughs> will we see in this? Where will you take us on this journey? That's that's what we're defining. I mean, yeah, these are like entry levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell else are we gonna see? <laughs> oh god, hold on, hold on. You wanna get a hold of me? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm also, just go. For I think I could just whip it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm there. But I'm just scared. I feel fear in my heart, Mike. <laughs> hold up, hold on here. Let me let me reassess my life. Let me reassess reset, my life. Reset. There you go. Come on, come on. Hey. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I got my friends back. All right, here we go. Back. There we go. Oh, now you can go low if you want. You can go low. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sound effects, man. Like if you put the sound effects in a in a Silent Hill game, <laughs> like it's around <laughs> sound, you'd feel like it was natural. This is actually the support surround sound. <laughs> it's perfect. Five point one told me. That's right. I got my friends. Oh, back. there we go. Yeah, back. good call. Good call. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Oh man, I really went. I went okay. places. Let's see if we can catch someone that doesn't make it. Yeah. Just in case. 
Ah, oh, damn it. I can't make that jump. Yeah, you can bite my body here. Yeah, you know I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, there we go, there we go, oh my god. Oh my god, oh, you dragged you down, everyone oh, with you. That's amazing. <laughs> it's gonna move. Lone survivor. <laughs> the Duke wants to know, how large is the development team on this? How many people are working on this? It's only four of us. Amazing. Yeah, only four. Amazing. How long have you guys been working on this? It's been a, we're a part-time team, so it's been about a, a few years now. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, our, our pace is slow and steady. What does everybody's family think about this game? <laughs> when you call up home, you're like, Mom, Dad, uh, I'm, I got a job. Still I got working on the job. <laughs> Still working on the throat game, huh? <laughs> they, they have major concerns. <laughs> where do we go wrong? <laughs> or where do they go right is the real question. <laughs> I love that you just have like the uh, the Asafa ball here as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. gotta yeah. practice. Gotta, gotta practice. practice. Is there another uh, kind of level like the one we just did that we could do to kind of sl uh, close out this segment yeah. here? Yeah, we could do uh, this middle one. Here. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Can we start with that one that can work. Right. Sounds good. And while we play this, what should everybody know about the game? Where can they find it? What should they do? Let's let's get it all out there while we're having some fun. Yeah, you can find the game on Steam and Epic right now. Asafaguys.com for all your long neck related news. Um, yeah, we'll get the demo available, you know, uh, appreciate any wish list. We're hoping to come out on consoles, but that's still in development. So, uh, yeah, I mean, really uh, appreciate you checking out the game. You can join our Discord. Our Discord, uh, there's a link on the Steam page and on the website. So we, we do some competitions, we do some giveaways on there. Uh, any kind of, uh, yeah, any kind of suggestions or feedback, you know, we really appreciate, want some community uh, help in development, I feel, some of the, uh, in the game feel, secondary mechanics, that kind of thing, we appreciate. Wishlisting, very important, gamers. So make sure you all are wishlisting the projects. Oh my god, oh, oh never mind. Okay, I thought that we're was alive still, we're alive still. <laughs> Someone just got tossed. <laughs> Here we go, let me try to oh. practice these swings that I've been working on for so long. Oh, there it is, yes, wow. Oh my god, who's just there fighting like, yeah. leaves up there? It sounds disgusting. <laughs> That's, that's what we're going for. All right, get the team together. Get the oh, team together. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, who's left? Who's left? I'm trying to go down. <laughs> go down and get me. Oh, all right, we, all right. we gotta work together now. We gotta work together now. Neck chain. Who am I biting? Get the neck chain. I'll bite the blue. There we go. Bite right, blue. Put right. me up at the top. Put me at the top. Here, let me grab. Here. Wait. There, there we, we go. go. Okay. Oh, oh, hey now. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Straight to the top right. Straight top, top right. right. Top right. I don't know if I have a whole lot of control I over believe it. You. Oh, I believe in you. Oh, I believe in you. It just, oh, holy it just shit. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Launched him out of the level. I thought I saw him like leave the TV screen right there. That was incredible. One more time, team. One Let's more time. Let's do it. We can do it. This is fun. We can do it. <laughs> I believe in us. Once again, it's Safa Guys on Steam and Epic Game Store. Safaguysgame.com or what was it? Safaguys.com. Safaguys.com. Yeah, the socials are uh, Safa Guys Game. Make sure you all are wishlisting. Once again, wishlisting wish -listing is so important for these uh, indie games. Helps with the getting them on the algorithm and on like, you know, trending and all those sections that are very important for game devs on Steam. So make sure you all are doing that. Steam Deck, uh, possible? We do, yeah, we just got that set up. My yeah, yeah. How fun, oh cool. Yeah, we actually awesome. tested it in the hotel today, so. <laughs> Perfect. Works great. That's awesome. Yeah, Steam Deck has changed the way a lot yeah. of us game here at the office. <laughs> I'm gonna make a massive swing right here. Oh, oh my god. I got to hold it. I got hold of you, my bad. <laughs> You're grabbing my ass, god damn it. Here we go. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. That's art right there. That's smooth. All right, hold up, hold up. We got a team up. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Let me get it. Oh, yeah, here, here, yeah. I'm at the top. I'm at the top. One, one sec, one sec. I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Let me get it. Hold on. Come on, come on. I'm scared. I'm scared. The there we go. Room. There we go. Okay. No, okay. I'm... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going crazy. Here we go. Here okay, we go. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On three. On three. Oh, shit. We got to do it. We got to do it. One more time. One more time. We can definitely do it. We can do it. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. Purple's coming. There we go. Oh man. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh my god, we lost someone. Oh, no. Go get go get our phone. No soft guy left behind. Absolutely. Oh, oh, damn. No. We're fine, we're fine. We can do it. I know we can. Come on. There we go. We need one more. Nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go, team. Oh shit. Swing it. Oh, oh everybody's going places! <laughs> 
We're getting well, a bit greedy. We can yeah. go to the left, but... but uh, no, we never go to the left. No. <laughs> we only go right. We are, we're one team. We got two minutes on the clock. Okay. We can do this. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, there, here we go. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Wow. I don't know as the middle what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. oh, aim it up. Help. Aim it up. Push it up. Aim it up. There we go. Get up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Come on, we have one minute. We I think I'm one. dead. I think I'm dead. You gotta revive. Oh yeah, here, okay, come there back. Go. All right, now I'm the bottom. Now I'm the bottom. Okay, I'm biting. I feel like as the bottom, I'm the anchor. You're the I'm anchor. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the game anymore. Oh, oh, there we go. I made it. I made it across. We did it. Amazing. Oh my god. Everybody, make sure you are wishlisting Isafa guys on oh. Steam and the Epic Game Store, and they are also working on console, possibly. Yep. Yeah. We're hope, working on it. Hope so. Very, very cool. I got Thank one you. question for you guys, though. Yeah. Let's hear. Is Isafa guys kind of funny? Yes, oh, okay. absolutely. <laughs> this fits the bill. This is our heart and soul right here. Thanks you two so much. I appreciate much, it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank to you, see Sam. You again. Thank you so much, y'all. You know it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. For all right, guys. Up next, we got some more games coming your way oh. as we start to hit towards the end of the live stream. Don't go anywhere. More games. What are you doing? You wait till somebody comes. You don't just leave, Mike. Good lord, what kind of stream is this, Bannon? You sit there. Don't get close to me. Don't get close to me. Actually, sit all the way over there. Get over there. All the way far away. Good lord. What's up, everybody? Guess what? It's 2.59, and that means the beers are finally flowing yeah. here. Hour. For the kind of 2.59? <laughs> That's the rule. That's the rule, Justin. That's amazing, yo. Uh, we have been streaming all day long, if you didn't know, uh, supporting and showcasing a whole bunch of amazing independent video games, and we aren't done yet. Uh, if you are watching and you want to be a part of this and you want to take care of these devs who are doing this for you, kindoffunny.com slash mix to wishlist all the games because it really helps. Right, Justin? For sure. What Did Greg said. Yes. I didn't ask you. Did I say Bannon? Did I say? Sorry. Did I say Bannon? Yeah, calm down, Bannon. I don't want to get like sumo, <laughs> sumo plex. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, goodness gracious. So this is Bannon, everybody. Here to talk about their game. You're supposed to pronounce the B a little harder. Sorry. Bannon. <laughs> Thank you. This is still my first beer, by the way. <laughs> For the record, everybody just joining in. I want you to know. You first. busted out the glow. Well, that's hilarious. Uh, it's, and I want everybody to know the bad influence is Joey. Oh, yeah. Joey said, well, You want a beer? I was like, Yeah, I'll do it. Here's the thing Roger was Why like, not? How come nobody's drinking the beers that we bought? I was like, Probably because there's no cups over there. And we didn't tell anybody that we had beer. So then I went around and I was like, I appreciate you putting an IPA in there. You know what I mean? You guys did a good job. You yeah, took care that, of it out there. You can thank Kevin for that because I. Kevin, would not thank have. you very much. Yo, he doesn't have his <laughs> headphones on. He can't hear me yet. Uh, Justin, thank you for joining us and coming in. For of course, sure. this, this is this is the homie, so I gotta yeah. <laughs> that's a bad sign. When that's, you're like, yeah. I want to be on the panel, I'm like, uh oh, what's that? That's happening? the only reason why I'm here. <laughs> homie <laughs> status. Oh, but homie status. Sure. <laughs> yeah, homie it. status. Uh Bannon, why don't you introduce yourself? Who are you and what do you do? I'm Bannon. I work over at WayForward. I'm a director over there. I am probably known best for the River City Girls oh. two and River City Girls in general. So I make those games where girls allowed to swear fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> where girls beat the shit out of dudes yeah uh, that's mainly what that game is about but we have a different game where ladies slap the shit out of ladies <laughs> Hell yeah. you're really branching out <laughs> really branching out from what you're known for tell me all about this game where ladies slap ladies. uh rose and camellia this rose is a game camellia. of the the best way i can describe it is a kind of a we're publishing this so we did not make a game about ladies slapping ladies we just happened to publish it um, it is a anime Downton Abbey melodrama uh, with Come on. kind of a punch out, but replace punching with slapping. Okay. Okay. So, and we're about to show it over here, and I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, this looks like the dev kit. You're in a dev menu. You ever have you ever made a game? <laughs> It's like for babies. <laughs> <laughs> How do we go over Click here? Click on it, probably. Yeah. Press the button. Right. I've never seen a switch. Yeah, you guys are seeing like so. You do it? You Which it? button would you like me to press? I was, uh, you know, we won't remember Nintendo's weird, so you hit the A, but you think it's not the A, but it's the A. No, no one can see it right now. We're just cut. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. You want to you get a million views, don't show it, but show it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, Mr. Nintendo, when it comes for it. Nah, don't show it. They'll get I all, wasn't good. They'll get all mad. I'm not crazy. Andy left his phone. It's oily. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it's like really slick, Andy. Is that just how it is all the time? Literally, no button makes it. There's a real story. Come That's tell me right. in the come tell me in the microphone. I picked it up and I was like, damn, this is a slick phone. Like, why is it like this? I put a bunch of Germex on it. 
Damn. Why? <laughs> oh, and he's oh. real afraid of getting sick. There we go. Here we go. Ooh. Technology, everybody. Okay. Now Are you gonna be so, play solo dolo? Are you gonna? We, we we can go solo at first. Okay. Wait for it. That's where I work. We know them. Th there. And, and what a story of way forward. You want to talk about a developer that has just been consistently, this isn't a bit, consistently killing it for so long. You know what I mean? Like, way forward has been around a while. Straight up murdering it. Yes. Straight up murdering it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I want to congratulate you on that. Every Thank time you. way forward pops up, you're like, oh, these guys know what's They've been around for uh, Voldy Way, who is way forward. That's why it's called way forward. Mm. Voldy Way, he's been doing it since he was like a teenager. Crazy. It I did crazy. not know that. Yeah. That's why it's called, oh my God. He's like a little, he's like a little child. You learn genius. someone when you come so here, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was Christina V doing that opening intro here. Uh, David Liu helped out with the intro for this. And like I said, this is a game that we're publishing. This is the anime Downton Abbey game. It's ridiculous. I had to give a warning when we did Comic-Con before when we were about to show a brand new game trailer. I was like, it's not another River City. It's not another Shantae. It's going to be weird. I apologize for <laughs> what you're about to see. But... It's ridiculous. So let's start with the Rose Bridge of Legend. Beat the shit start. out of somebody. <laughs> so I can pick uh, the different fancy ladies. <laughs> We're just going to start off with her. Oh, you don't want to slap the so. grandma? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> grandma. That would have been my first <laughs> choice. Yeah, mine too, yeah. <laughs> Shunsuke, my husband, gave me a rose, my favorite flower. Damn, and then left and this then world. So left let the drama world. begin. Oh my gosh. Since that day, I don't know why I keep looking at you to just say these things. I love it. No, I like it. You're locked in. I appreciate that. So, I don't know how much we should be showing of this or just like let this play because it is a lot of like tech stuff. Like, so is it like a visual novel? Then you have a slapping that goes into slapping. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Once once the drama has ceased, gotten to such a crescendo that words cannot do sure. justice anymore. The hands got to do the talking. That was eloquent. Yeah, that's how. You got me to get on this show. <laughs> Let your hands do the talking. <laughs> All right. So now this is a what we call loading. Oh, scene. okay. So the duel has begun. So this is pressing A to get. Oh, oh, oh. the faint. There it is. Now I have to. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> did. So they like punch out. There are tells I'm supposed to look for. All sure. right. Make sure she doesn't. There we go. Give her a slap. Yeah. And this is all done by the Joy-Con. Yeah. She does that little smirk. That's when you got to do yep. it. Yep. Wait for the smirk. Got yeah, it. she tried dodging here. Okay, Camellia's turn. And I will let her the... Little, her cheek is a little bit red right now. Ooh. And then you can do the counterattack if you dodge properly. Perfect. So I this do is... I appreciate the different flowers coming. Yeah, and that is here. their health. Oh, here we go. Oh, rush! Oh, oh <laughs> goddamn! Oh, look at her neck! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so that's how, that's how that's how ladies. <laughs> this is how you always end a argument or a confrontation. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, this with is a what rapid. This is how Joey beats me in every <laughs> argument. <laughs> that <laughs> gameplay part, I am gonna let it just go into the actual drama, so you can sure, at least sure, see sure. Yeah, the please, dialogue. Please. So now that I have slapped her. <laughs> I hear it, girl. Me like that again. <laughs> Key indeed. What are you two doing there? Sister, this woman means to disgrace me. What is your intention, Reiko? You should be grateful. Did you forget that we allow you to stay here? Thrilling. We feel pity <laughs> for you. I am the wife of Shunsuke, the eldest son of the Tsubaki Koji family. Now, mind you, have a right of it's not serious. It gets oh. more and more and more bizarre as this goes. Is the only gameplay slapping? Owns. Yes. <laughs> Just <laughs> slapping. <laughs> but so the other gameplay, so it is still slapping, but there is a versus mode. Okay. And it is not Jealous. balanced at all. <laughs> I've been waiting Joe. for a and game that is like something, this. Yeah, that is something I want you two to play. It's not balanced at all. You could play as the bosses and just destroy. Destroy. Mm. I won't do that to you. I, I, would I want a fair you. fight. Oh, though. okay. All right. Joe, be one of the bosses. Be one of the bosses. <laughs> there's like a robot. I'm taking every advantage yeah. I can get. The, uh, there's a demon. There's, there's demons. Oh, yeah, there's there's a, fairies. Yeah, there's. Funny. Oh, it gets oh, weird, yeah. like I said. So now, gonna battle again. It gets harder as we go along. Here we go. Looks like gotta Bailey. slap her. Give her a nice, simple start. Here we go. Wait for the tell. What's the Bailey thing right now? She's not about all about hugs, right? No. What's no, up? She's she's evil. Or no. she's, you know, she's not as evil. But uh, she's, 
She's fighting against damage control, but she made damage control. All right, wait for it. She's going to try to dodge. All right, here we go. Camellia's turn. Nerd she did that says, Oh, that, that was happy. a... But that was like a back palm reverse. <laughs> oh. oh! So then the back swing with the Joy-Con, that's like the dodge. Yeah, so I'm holding... Oh, right there she did a two. That meant she... So she gave a two. That's a, the double slap that I got to mm. be... I'm not good at this game, by the way. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. No, you're just showing what happens when you fail. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's one. There's the other one. Counterattack. She's got a little... Uh -huh. Whoop! Oof. Counter attack me. Amelia's turn. Okay. Counter attack. All right, give her. A... And it's okay because it's ladies hitting ladies, right? Exactly. She had the t oh, she oh, she put the, the deuces up. Real yep. Quick. So oh. I, she is down Little to. Oh, and I looking rough. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. Oh, here we go. Grab her up. Oh. The neck physics. Give it. <laughs> It's really elongated it real quick. Really <laughs> okay. So, so now the maid has been watching this drama unfold. So, what is the or origins of this game? This was so. Yo, this I like is, Downton Abbey, but I wish they slapped more. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is like I said, we are publishing this game. This is a collection of the four different stories all put together. That we're publishing, I believe, is like a solo dip that did this. Wow. And we just kind of like collected it, and here she is. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when things start escalating. So yeah, uh, we got the maid just hanging out on the the ceiling okay. as maids Casually. as maids do, yeah. as one does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta get the cobwebs somehow, you know. What are you trying? Justin has money. You have. Ton of maids just crawling on yeah, the ceilings, are. right? <laughs> Spider maids. <laughs> <laughs> Matter call Matter Web. You know? <laughs> that's good. That was real good. That was good. <laughs> no, it's <was> good. <laughs> it's top. It's topical. So prepare yourself. So now, me to the maid. She's challenging. Is this me. the boss? Her first boss? This is. We'll say the mini boss. Okay. Mm. With that's arms about. like that. Yeah. She comes in. Oof. Um, her eyes are up there, everybody. <laughs> it would feel kind of bad. Slapping your maid? Yeah. <laughs> well, mostly that she's seemingly at a more advanced age, but she asked for it, I guess. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, she didn't have to be part of this. Seems like she's maybe trying to blackmail the family. So I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's Remember, crawling eyes, on the ceiling. Eyes up, every, everybody. Don't. Are you gonna pop a button? Is that what's happening? I mean, her neck physics are wild too. And I mean, we all saw her clinging onto the ceiling. Like she's not. She, there's something. She's not on. feeble. <laughs> Either that. Got those big soup bone hands. She has some huge palms. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Knocked her out of her sandal. <laughs> nice job. All right, I'm ready to take on Joey. Oh, All right, man. please. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna this get. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot over because I don't yeah, want to no, get. Yeah, this definitely seems like a knock your drink out of you. She is... got the rose watch. <laughs> the rose watch in the eye. Like... I'll just let you see how absurd it does get. I think. Sure, sure, is... sure. Okay, no, it's not her. But yeah, they do start incorporating weapons. But there is a boss after this one that brings up the absurdity level a little. Ten okay. plus. Okay. But we are gonna go to. Where are we going to go here? Rest time is over. Return of the title Pixelated screen. Pixelated Soul in the Twitch chat says, do they have straps for the Joy-Cons? We don't. So, Kevin, I'm no. sorry for anything that's about to happen. Oh, no. We're adults here. We can hold on our Joy-Cons. <laughs> <Okay>. eh, questionable. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason there's a, we have to use Joy-Con straps. So, this is what I was talking about earlier, um, where there are the scenarios. So, these are the different stories that are all Oh, selected. got it. Got it. So, we are going to... A daisy. Versus mode. It takes two to slap. Thank you. Perfect. Joey, the little fairy. Be the little fairy. <laughs> oh, oh, Greg, the robot. The robot is pretty, pretty dope. I like this girl. So mind you, that's what I was saying. The bottom ones here, these are kind of the bosses. If it looks like a boss, you're going to be OP. 
Don't be doing boss stuff. That, that Android one? That one's I'm doing this one. Well, let me go. I have one. to pick someone down. Um, that one, the anime girl has, that is a fake face. That is a fake anime face protecting her face. And who's the one on the very right? Uh, is that a zombie? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that scenario yet. Creepy okay. twin girls. Fair enough. So now it, it will give you the prompts on screen. Okay. Um, but it's just holding A or whatever it is on the other Joy-Con yeah. to get ready to slap. And how do you? And you really don't have to do like this to slap. It's just flicking it. Okay. Well, okay. Like moving it slightly. You'll see. Kind of gets you prepped. How do I then, unlock? Uh, that is the trigger button. You oh, okay. hold down the trigger, and that lets you dodge. Okay. There's the dodge. Oh, no. So hold that A. Here we go. All right. God, I'm joking. So I guess the tells right now is just <laughs> literally just looking oh, up wow. your opponent next to you. Oh, wow. Her neck went crazy right there. Get out of here, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> so you could tell when Greg's about to slap because he screams, yap, <laughs> I think was the word. Get him, Joe. Get him. Oh, oh counterattack, counterattack. You're going to pay for that one, Noel. If you do dodge, <laughs> get ready to slap. <laughs> I can't even figure out the. Is it? It's this. It's this guy. Uh, R one or L one. Yeah, yeah. I just hold it. No, you, yeah, you, you hold dodge. it. You, still, you move your hand. But, oh, but it's your turn. So. Oh no, it's my turn. Slap! Slap! Joey, slap! <laughs> hey! Oof. Now, if you do successfully oh, sorry, dodge, you do get a counter attack. So be You're prepared for that. I am holding it. Not well enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to really crank that. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Soldier boy. Yes, soldier boy. Yeah. Crank that. <laughs> Try every button. Hold every button and see what happens. Not at once. You know what I mean? Alternate. Which, I, I can't tell. Which one are you? I, I mean, I'm trying it. She's the duo. Them. Oh, Left you're the duo. Right oh. Okay. So, yeah, right now it is. Oh, I can hide. What? The <laughs> <laughs> slap, <laughs> Joey, slap. I'm trying. She's like. <laughs> now, Greg, that would have been your chance to counterattack because you oh. could dodge it. She's playing patty cake over there. Greg's cheating. He keeps just dodging nonstop. It that's works. Unfair. No counterattack. That's unfair for Joey. So, so I dodge. I, I when you dodge, immediately counterattack. Slap her. Okay. Joey, you want to dodge that? In the I'm pressing the buttons and they're not working. Ah, there there you go. There's counterattack. Oh, oh. I don't know what to do. Yeah, something's going on where you can't block. Yeah, you're work. blocking. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, you are slapping. He just happens to dodge every single time you. But no, I she can't. can't Joey can't dodge. Yeah. Hmm. Something's going on where she can't dodge. Not that I care. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> Not fair. It ain't right. And he's just dodging nonstop. You literally dodge. See? This, oh, wait. Oh, I think they have a different mechanic. Yeah, they have a different mechanic. Yeah, they <laughs> have, <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> It sucks to be you, Joe. What can I say about it? Yeah, anyway? you may want to sleep after this. Do me a favor switch. and get Boson ready. Mr. Yeah, Boson, this. start coming out here. This is going to be a kill in a second. I need Matt Boson. I don't Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't have picked the boss because then I don't know. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I said let's have a fair fight. I think you fight. picked the Why one character that has ah, that's the That's right, ladies and mechanic. gentlemen. Perfect. So, wow. Send me I that bows on. She must do something. Yeah, it must be like catching their slap or something with a patty cake. I don't know what that is. Flawless just, victory here. for Greg Miller, of course, ladies you, and gentlemen, you as you expect. You three lives out of five. Flawless that's victory, that's Kevin. That's not flawless Thank you so words. much. Thank you, everybody. It's me, Greg. This King is stacked against of you. Rose and that was Miller actually collection. stacked against you. I'm Again. so sorry about that. Do it Man, right and when's it side. coming out? We don't know. Okay, well then it's you. coming out soon though, <laughs> but we don't know. Wish list that piece. Yeah, yeah. wish list it over on, on that, Switch. That yeah, piece. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us, Soldier Boy. Stop, stop bringing up Soldier Boy. Can we send in Mr. Boson? Ladies and gentlemen, Boson we need Mr. was going to tag in by slapping yeah, me in the perfect. face. If okay, he doesn't, fine. he's he's a coward. Is that a yes or no? I think so. Yeah. Because oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. send in the next host. Send in the send in send in Mr. Boson. Uh, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is the spring yeah. game showcase live. We're doing this, uh, making sure you know about a whole bunch of cool indie developers. Uh, we've had more than 14 games come through. Uh, remember, of course, you can head over to kindoffunny.com/mix to wish list all of them and help those devs out. Of course, head out to the mix slash kind of funny event tonight in the city of San Francisco. The night is gonna be fun. Watching. Yeah, yeah. And then the moment tomorrow. Man, shush. I mean, it better be. shush, shush. Okay, shush. You're put. You're giving way forward a bad name. Just putting that out there. Okay. There we go. Thank All you. Right. That's much better. Now, now the name's good again. Now the name's good again. Hello, Hello swap, everybody. Swap, Welcome swap, swap, to the swap, stage. Swap. The one, the only wow, Matt. Cool. Matt Boson. <laughs> Matt Boson. Uh, yeah. Remember, I worked for years with Mark Boson. This is not him. This is his brother. His much better looking brother. 
There it is. There it is. There you go. There's, this, this is not really live, though. Right? Oh, this is super live. Yeah. Right. It was how we always do it. Look at all, look at all the stuff oh you brought. Oh my gosh, I'm stepping on stuff. Ah, it's fine. It'll all, all right. be what fine. Don't worry Here, about I got it. Here, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You guys like right. link cables, right? We love link cables. We love making it as complicated as possible to play a game. <laughs> That's what you're doing here. Of course, you brought an analog pocket <laughs> and an actual link cable. Got a four-player link cable. We're not going to use it. I don't think we need it. Yeah. It really now, now, to... kids, back in my day, if you wanted to play multiplayer games, sure. you had to plug them all in together. So first, you'd empty out your game. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to find which is player number one pose right yeah 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 this is a big part of it and then everybody adds it everybody in. adds it in there and that's it in there but well, let's just talk about right now that yeah. gba clamshell design and how good looking yeah. that was they don't make them oh, like I, that anymore ladies oh you want me on the mic it's helpful jeez guys you're doing a fine though right, John. Sit in the chair? With it. that'd be great this is yeah, complicated yeah. you know everybody thinks it's so easy to sit here and do this <laughs> They don't know, Bose. They don't know like I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we're not using this. This is just for us to giggle at. Um, yeah, so I've got the way we're doing this today is I've got the game on Analog Pocket. on Which is dock. incredible. Thank you. And talking to the mic like this. No, you're fine. You're doing well, I mean, you're, you're setting close? it all up. We're just screwing around talking. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so. You like your Analog Pocket? Totally, totally legit. Cart. Straight up. That's a real cartridge right it, there. It That's is. a real okay. game. Um, Way forward, pushing the latest and greatest <laughs> technologies. Thank you. Oh, and 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 one of these, of course, okay. yeah, the so latest and greatest I, controllers. Yeah, I do like it. It's great. I yeah. like Analog Pocket a lot. So, um, and for this, it's fantastic because we're like, how are we going to show this to anybody? It's, yeah, it's an actual Game Boy Advance game. Um, it's not a retro. <laughs> you guys game. are psychopaths. I love it. Yeah, it's not. I'm not even. I'm not even on the chair. It doesn't That's matter. Yeah. We're winding down. We're having fun here. Yeah. In the spring game okay. showcase. Am I live. too close? Is it weird? No, everything's fine. All right. You brought nine thousand cables and connections. That's weird. That's a weird. You're making a GBA game yeah. in 2024. Too many. I'll say That's it. weird. <laughs> that is a weird part of it. It is. It's good. So um, I think I'll need to see this a little bit. I'll need do this. you think? Take down. I'll yeah. keep talking. So how show. do you want to? Yeah. What what do we do? Oh, I'm on the thing. Uh, once it's plugged in and running, we'll play the game and talk about it. All right. I can I can play while and ask you questions while you talk over what I'm doing. I I will if if it's okay, I'll play it so you don't wander off into into strange spoiler places. Oh, I'm actually kind of worried. Sounds about like that. they're trying to hide something, doesn't it, chat? <laughs> what do you mean? What's way forward? No, that we don't know. That's a good question. I know with a plot of this game, and then I don't want to mess it up for you. Hi. Hey. I don't want to mess it up for anybody. They're like, oh my gosh, send somebody in. <laughs> like it's, like it's going, it's going hey, this is a lot to work out right now. This is a GBA game in 2024. Thank you, yeah, Mike. yeah. I'm gonna push you into, okay? All right. Actually, can you Thank rotate you. the mic a little bit to your right, so clockwise? There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Not you. Not me. What was that, Greg? Me. I'm good. Uh, here, here's what we're gonna do. And then if I can just get this in here, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. Limited run. There you go. Yes. Let's see. What we got? Do we get something? Hopefully. Give me one second. I'm not seeing a Three, signal. There two, it goes. There it is. One. Did it show up? It did. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. Hey. All right. There we Perfect. Go. All right. Boo, 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 boo. So we're not going to do battle mode today because that requires link cables. So we'll stick to this. So, um... Hi. Should I, hi, should I explain this? It's weird, Yes, right? 100% you should explain a GBA right. game in 2024. Okay. <laughs> so I know this is really odd. Um, so if, uh... If you know Shantae at all, it's a game series that you know it's been going on since uh, beloved, a long time. Beloved, it, it, I mean, for sure. Like it's Thank a game that like when it comes out, people are always stoked about. Thank you. Okay, so um, yeah, first game re uh, released in 2002. We worked on that. Aaron and I, uh, my wife Aaron, creator of Shantae, worked on that um, together for from my gosh, 1994 until 2000-ish. Um, then we did the, made the first game on Game Boy Color. Um, so that game wasn't out yet. That was published by Capcom in 2002. I think we got development kits for Game Boy Advance in 2000, end of 2000, okay. beginning of 2001. So we started working on a sequel because we hoped this game, the first one, would do well. You're like, this one's going to kill. Yeah. So we're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And everything's moving on. Like, you got to keep up with it. So, um, yes, yeah, so we went right into a sequel game. First game wasn't out yet. So there was no fan base. We had no idea if people even liked it, but. Sure. Um, <laughs> but so, sure, whatever. Sure. Why not? Well, yeah, yeah. And, Gamble the house on it. And, and also, I mean, this all kind of ties together, but there were not off-the-shelf game engines back then. You wrote your game engine. You got your dev kit. You're like, all right, what can this thing do? You write a game engine. You're going to make a... Your game engine is kind of your business. So it's, we're going to make this kind of game. We're going to test out these features. We're going to do it just like on Shantae 1. We're going to test them on Shantae 2, Shantae Advance. 
and we're gonna everything we do a spongebob game barbie game whatever it's going to use the same kind of baseline features right yeah, yeah. so that's what this shantae advance game was it was like the proving ground for that um but retail market was terrible by 2003 2004 awful oh my gosh it was a horrible horrible place to have an original game um so we had to pack it up so this sequel game which i guess you could have called it shantae 2 back in the day yeah was uh, canceled. I mean, we self-imposed cancellation. We, we sure. We're like, you're like, we should probably try to keep this company afloat. Yes, yeah. it's it's dead. <laughs> we're moving on to other things. Um, and it stayed that way until a tail end of 2022, early 2023, when you know Aaron and I are like, is there going to be a sequel game? Are we going to go back to something like what do we what do we do? Limited Run has the the GBA um, like preservation cart type stuff going. Like, oh, it this might be the time, but. Should I keep going? Yeah. I told you. I You're killing you. it. You're <laughs> um, the, uh, the, um, Michael Stragge, the programmer, we had worked together for, for almost 20 years. So he every so often, he's like, I'm cleaning off a hard drive, and I found that's a th like a thing you had stored the data on. Um, okay. I mean, hard drive still exists. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, cool. All right. So, uh, something you got to so explain going, to the kids watching like a link cable. Going, they don't know what a hard drive is. They're going through the, the, the link. Yeah, yeah, they're going through the, the, the jazz drive or the whatever. I don't know. What do you Jazz call? drive. You got to explain. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a Sony so mini disc. We're, we're free. <laughs> yes. Well, we did have some of those. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, he'll find stuff and he's like, oh, I found a part of the Shantae Advance game. Are we ever going to do that? I'm like, someday I'm doing this. What are you doing? Finally, we had a moment in time, though, when all this came together. He was between projects, I was between projects, right around these same conversations. Where, yeah. Well, maybe this is the time. So that's when Limited Run came in. We did like a partnership deal, and Amazing. it was fantastic. My gosh! And they and and thank goodness, like you guys totally believe in this project, and I think it's the spirit of what you guys do, also, right? I mean, yeah. I don't want to speak for you guys, but so so I think one really interesting and cool thing about Shante series in general is when. The first GBA card came out. It sold decently, but not that well, right? Game, you're talking Game Boy Color, the first one? Exactly. Pe fans made, they loved it, but it was, yeah, a flop. Right. Like, by any, it was, any it was, yeah. It was not a, not a commercial plain, success though. at all. And then when Limited Run came in and we reprinted it, it actually sold more in, what was it, 2023 oh than it oh, did gosh, when yeah. it first came out. Oh, like, oh yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So That's like, great. That's awesome. So, like, already Absolutely. we have something there right so yeah. I, I think when josh which is the ceo of limited run got wind that there's you know another shante advance game that had never been released living on hard drives yeah, yeah, just, like, on, yeah. Hard drives. on jazz drives yeah, yeah. and it's, <laughs> and it's I, I could have brought it in if i was thinking ahead but there was um yeah there's literally a a dev cart that's where it's at it's just in a wow. drawer so it's sitting in a drawer in, in a little tup a tupperware box a pokemon sandwich box if i'm gonna get like really i mean that's what it was and and just sitting in this box for twenty years. Amazing. <laughs> then pull it. Is that too well, much? Start it up. I want to see what it looks. Oh, like. Oh, you want to see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here we go. Okay. So the way I'll do this, um, I think I'm going to debug. Everyone, avert your eyes. Don't look. Don't look at it. Don't. I said Multiple don't look chapters. at it. I saw chapters. I said don't look chapters. at it. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to. No, we're gonna go here. We're gonna do. We're gonna do this. All right. We're doing. We're doing. There's a toolbox quest. Don't don't look at it. it. You're so much cooler than this. So. Um, yeah, because I'm trying to I'm trying to not give away too much Love story it. for those of you who who care about such things. Um, but this is just an example it's of amazing. Hey, oh, thank 100%. you. I mean, it's amazing. So it looks like if I mean, you know, it looks like some retro game, right? So it's uh, I, I won't I won't give away I won't give away too much, but I'll show a lot of don't cool do it, stuff. Don't give anything away. Um, but here's your uncle. Yeah, that's cool. We're gonna deal with him later. I'm just gonna. Is that a toaster? <laughs> Did he get his beard stuck uh, in a toaster? We can go back and look. Yeah. So <laughs> there's you know Game Boy Advance. Happens all the time. Yeah. Game Boy Advance yeah. stuff. It's it's. It's what it's what you kind of think of with your your retro uh, in, indie game stuff, I guess. But there's it's like a Super Nintendo, right? Yeah. It's basically what the guts are. Um, but yeah, you got all your your usual stuff. Your um, oh, for for those of you, there's your your line scrolling techniques that were popular on Sega Genesis. That's why it looks like oh, look at all the layers of clouds. That's what this hardware would do. I mean, this is kind of how you make a game look cool back then. You got. Even now, your, okay, okay. Yeah, so I make your, a game look cool now. Oh well, now and sure, sure, and you'd probably do it some easy way now. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> probably much easier. But oh my gosh, but back then it's like, oh, what can we do? We got to design a game where you can rotate sprites. We got to, we got to put some rotating sprites on this game. We got to have some. Uh, we got to have some. Cool. There's some seagulls. Hey, buddy. So, so one thing that I wanted to know too, and mm -hmm. that I thought was really interesting, that Matt and I were talking about earlier, was like when look away, when, look when you first started working on oh, this game. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was cute. cheating right there. I was like, 
Stop being cheap. When you first started working on the game, you uh -huh. probably didn't realize how big the audience was going to get. And then you made all these no. games in between. So, like, like, what type of stuff did you get to incorporate into this that maybe you didn't even think you could do back then? Blah. Well, okay. So, and I'm going to dive off this platform. Do it. Just, do just it. Look. Oh, oh, rotating, my God. guys. Did you yeah. see the rotating yeah. spray? Did it. Look at you. Got oh, all the I miss, I miss, did I miss one? No splash. Yeah. Well, hang on. We're <laughs> Dude, half <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, the toolbox. That's where it is. Where now you know. Oh, everybody's. Oh my gosh, now everybody knows. All right, I'm gonna move it. Well, so when they buy this game, when don't we get back to the it. office. I'm moving that toolbox. No one's gonna know. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, oh, there what was. was what was your question? That's a dope splash. That's yeah. odd. <laughs> <laughs> you were asking what is new. Okay, so. Were, were there any things that you incorporated into it that you didn't think you could back then? Yes, and there were a few things that are a little bit weird that kind of got smoothed out to make it fit in better as. Um, you know, for a lot of people, this will be, I guess for them, it'll be the sixth Shantae game. For us, it's the second. Yeah. But, you know, like all those quality of life improvements you knew, forget about <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, well, uh, you know, so a lot of them are, are in there. There's a lot of things that weren't in there originally, like the way save points are handled is a much sure. more fluid. I'm going to jump around to another spot. If sure, please. Mind. Do. Um, we are running out of time. We took are we really? to set up. Yeah. We oh had, my god! You had 15 it's minutes. Amazing. You it's burned a, it all. Oh, I love setting it. this thing up. <laughs> I love god it. forbid you well, put I'm it on the Well, I'm going to say, if you, you go, like you what go. you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can pre-order this on limitedrungames.com right now. Go. It's limited pre-order. You can only buy it through April. So make sure you pick it up now while you can. There is going to be a modern version of it. PlayStation, Nintendo, did it, Xbox, PC. So be sure to check it out. Yeah, April 7th is the hard cutoff, right? Yep. All right. So as far as the, the gimmick of this game, maybe I could talk about that real quick. Please. Is you are moving between front and back layers. So now we're in the back. Oh. Layer, and now we're back on the front layer. Um, and what you are ultimately going to be doing is switching these layers back and forth. And if you guys don't mind, since we are short on time, yeah, we're going to yeah, just no, like zip <laughs> on through using a little of the cheaty cheat here. Um, uh, but you can move these layers independently for puzzle solving. So you're okay. like, okay, I need this door, this front part of the world to be located at a different location. Um, and actually, you know what? Based on the time, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to dump, I'm going to show you this. I think this would probably be maybe more of what you guys might okay. see if you're uh, more familiar with previous Shantae games. It's just jumping into one of the labyrinths, which is like the big the big dungeon areas. Sure. So, um, yeah, things that are different this time around. Um, the dancing is easier to pull off and, and it's not so complicated as it used to be back when this was first developed in, uh, what, 2002, 2003? Um, but it's still, it's a lot of just fun, fun gimmicks and, and you know, do that. This guy. Um, things like this, like we never had stuff like dance to suck up the gems, but now you can dance from, <laughs> from far away. That's great. Uh, I just appreciate for all the people who have never seen it before. Like, dancing's easier this time. Like, yeah. what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. I was thinking the same yeah. thing. It's like, uh, well, because the first funny. game, also the first game, notoriously difficult. Um, this game would have been the sequel, would have been harder, but now it kind of fits as a, it's sort of a sequel to one, but it also is a more of a, it has, it does have plenty in common with the modern ones, with the, the, the ones you find right now on Nintendo Switch or PlayStation. Um, yeah, what else? What else can I explain about this? I just I mean, you don't. Shant Shantae dances here. I'll just do real quick demonstrate a. Um, we're gonna do. There's some. Oh, someone's gonna screen grab He's a that. He's genie. Um, yeah, so we can dance, turn into stuff. Nice. So turn into monkey. That's uh, what the monkey has in this game. Is eventually you do get a power up that lets you see through <laughs> see through that walls. It's great. Um, so kind of like your Metroid, um, Super Metroid, X-ray vision. Fantastic. Guess, you could say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. How am I doing? You're doing great. This All is right, fantastic. Right. Where can people pre-order again? You can pre-order the Game Boy Advance version at limitedrungames.com right now until April 6th. And if you're going to wait for the modern version, you want to play it in your Switch or whatever, it's going to be out early next year. There's no solid date yet, but you can follow way forward, limited run, and we'll be pimping it out. <laughs> fantastic. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much for making the time to come by today. Yeah, thank you. Tell, yeah. Me your, tell me your most embarrassing story about your brother. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> he's really gonna. Changed. He's really gonna do it. <laughs> wow! I mean, for real. I think he. I he. I think he destroyed the house once. He left a toilet running all night upstairs. Perfect. Yeah. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Spring Game Showcase live. Believe it or not, we Sorry. are almost out of time. We have thirty minutes left, and we're gonna end on Rugrats.
So right now we'll start breaking down all this stuff because you, you had all to right, bring nice. so much complicated. I know. Things. You know what I mean? We're just gonna pull, pull things out. Look Good at Lord. All, Before oh, there was oh, all yeah. the systems yeah, yeah. is on yeah, Game yeah. Boy Advance. The yeah, yeah. first time it's been probably Thank on this desk. <laughs> yeah, man, exactly. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Oh. Remember, if you're enjoying what you see, <laughs> of course, ladies and gentlemen, go on over to kindoffunny.com/mix. You can. Wish list all the games that are coming to Steam and not Game Boy Advance uh, and have a great time there. Support those developers. Remember, GDC is happening right now, so make sure you support all of our friends and colleagues who are doing cool podcasts, YouTube videos, everything else, and reporting just from GDC. If you're in the city, of course, go out tonight to the GDC uh, Kind of Funny Mix uh, Shindig where you can play all these games and have a bunch of times. Okay. For now, though, to close out your day, it's Tim Geddes and Justin hey. Woodward. We're about to talk about Rugrats. Justin. It's me. It's you. It's Rugrats, baby. I love this. We got uh, the leather fan. You know I know. I mean? All right. Uh, cool. I'm gonna grab this out. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. What a sir. day we've had, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Can't believe we're wrapping it up here, where it all began for some of us. Rugrats, <laughs> yeah. right? Like that's one of the coolest things ever. Of course, I'm Tim Gettys. We are joined by Justin Woodward, and I did not get your name. My name's Chloe. Welcome, Chloe. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm a little nervous, but excited. Yeah, I need you to talk into the mic a little oh. bit. There we go. Yeah, you right up in there. Oh, okay, okay. How? And no need to be nervous. No need at all. We're oh, having fun okay, here. We're having talking fun. about cool stuff. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're talking about Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. It'll be an interesting one. Yeah? How come? Why is this interesting? Because this is one of our games. Yeah. It is. And I helped on it. Yes. So that was fun. What did you do on a it? producer. I was a producer on it. Very, it very cool. How did this come to be? Because this is a very exciting prospect. It is. But I think Justin might be able to talk about the beginnings a bit more. Because I came in a little halfway through it. But gotcha. But finishing it up. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, yeah. Um, this, this game... It's been an interesting process. Mm -hmm. We like basically pitched to Nickelodeon, uh, Viacom, Paramount, a few different games. That Bro, we that's wanted cool to... as hell. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like you actually pitched it to Nickelodeon? Yeah, we well, we made a game called a uh, Jane Sound Bob Mall Brawl, which was an mm -hmm. NES game. We work with Limited Run on it, and so we were pitching to Nickelodeon like different ideas about doing another NES game, and this one just happened to work. That's one of the craziest things is Rugrats didn't have an NES game, at all, which feels oh, really? like a, yeah. a shock, oh. right? Like given the time, the popularity of the NES and of Rugrats at the time, I saw the first Rugrats game was on PlayStation, PlayStation. One. PlayStation oh, One, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's kind of surprising, but yeah. how, how important is Rugrats in your life, Chloe? I grew up with Rugrats, so like joining the mix and then be like, oh, we're gonna have you work on Rugrats. I like, oh my god, what? Like, <laughs> it's like nostalgia royalty, at least for me. So of course, it was, it was really cool. Yeah, it's what, important. What about you, Justin? I mean, it's amazing. I think what was really great, we work with Wall Ride and my partner, uh, Thomas, um, and they all have kids. Yeah. So something that they loved in their life, now they can make a game and pass it down to their kids. And guess what? You know, daddy worked on. You know what yeah, I mean? No, like exactly. That kind of and then what's so. cool, too, is you. this is one of those games. You get the the old school style, and then there's also the, the modern style as well that you get to, to pop into. And, like, what what do you prefer playing through? Uh, this has to be controller, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. And I think... Are you going to I play? mean, you could play it, too. Totally fine. Oh, can I? Yep. Yeah, okay. I would love to do for that. For sure. Go for it. But like in terms of one. NES or HD, I don't know. They're both good in their own ways. Like they're both really good. Yeah. The NES is very like nostalgic because it's like it's that old like graphics and it's just like so appealing. And then the HD is like, oh my god, like I'm in the Rugrats world. Like it's a little clearer and crisper. Like they're both really good. That is very exciting. The controller not connecting right now. Mm -hmm. Is it this one? Let's see. We gotta turn it on. I think gonna come back out yeah the interesting ask the the interesting thing about the game is it is an nes game mm -hmm. made in assembly language mm -hmm. and uh with that we actually developed it in that way and then uh we created all the artwork in a hand-drawn version um and so you could swap between the two so at the heart of it is actually an nes so while Kevin tries to, to get this set up a little bit, uh, what how important is the canon of Rugrats to this game? Hmm. Like, there's inspiration. I mean, we did work with 
Paramount on it or Nickelodeon. So they did go through like, this is like, uh, what's his name? Chucky wouldn't do that per se. Or like, I don't know if Reptar would be that. So it, it stays in line with the Rugrats. I, I'm not, I'm seeing a distinct lack of dill in this. Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, you do see that. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget watching the Rugrats movie in theaters when it first came. It was the, the first sound or first uh music i ever bought myself was the rugrats movie soundtrack on oh. cassette so oh wow cassette yeah, yeah okay. Okay. it was a it was a time for sure you had it on cassette i did dude and that's i listened to it on my talk boy from uh what? home alone too <laughs> that's, yeah that's so good. i was really 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 <laughs> into that <laughs> well, such a fun time yeah exactly exactly um so d- oh. tell me a little bit more about this like what what this it, is it playable on an nes let's start there yes yeah. yes it is it is yeah like the um, we're does it work yeah. with uh, Xbox controller? It, it should, should yeah. yes. So you can actually, we'll be making a physical cartridge, which you can actually play on the NES. So you just hook it up and it, like, all the modern, like, settings are there. So it's, like, the old but a little improved. Yeah. Awesome. So here you get to see Tommy and Chucky. You could do mouse and keyboard. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, cool. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh, there's more of it. You get to be the whole crew here. It's all okay. the babies. Well, I gotta go Tommy. My bo- the leader, he's in blue. He's Big fan of my boy Tommy. Uh-huh. Oh, this is great. Just like the episode starts. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh-huh. So this is the HD version. You're gonna have to play around with the the, uh, the buttons for the controls. I'm trying to figure out, yeah, what, what do you assume jump would be? Up? No. Shift? Mm. So you can look up and down. That's awesome. You can crawl. Great. Oh, here we go. Little Metroidvania action for you. Yeah. Does this have Metroidvania elements or is it? No, more not really. Um, it's it's level by level. It has more. It's more like Mega Man. Okay. Where you get to pick where you want to go. Oh, oh, there you oh, go. Oh, there. And nice, nice, nice. Wait. You're getting it. You're getting it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's locked in. Okay. Cool. It is. So W A S D and then. That would be. Yeah, that's a little baby bump. There okay, the baby That's bump. all you really Love needed. that. Yeah. Cool. There is. Yeah. So I'm going. I'm cruising. Uh-huh. Oh man. From the from the theme song, the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So the elements in the game, which are interesting, is you're in the real world, and then you go to the imaginary world. So you start out. Oh my god. Like, yeah. This, so this is the theme song we're playing through here. I like yeah, this. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Oh, 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 let's go back up. Something up there. Oh, the cookies, the little cookie nom noms. Mm-hmm. That should work, yeah. I know this makes sense because it is a licensed game 2D platformer, but this reminds me a lot of Toy Story on the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Mm. Oh, there he is. And so then, there you go. So you have to interact. Yeah. yeah. Back in his day, he had to walk 15 miles to get to school <laughs> yeah. each day. Mm-hmm. Through the wind and snow mm-hmm. rain. And little little Sorry, bounce inter- on that. So try the yeah that the lever. side of the lazy chair. What's oh, that? Right. The, yeah. Lever. Oh, there you mm-hmm. go. Awesome. Do you guys remember the Rugrats rap? Yes. No, and we may try rock. to recreate that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is new to me. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, did you jump? Yeah, jump. Yeah. Oh. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get him in here. Our door. I wonder what the number stands for. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, hold on. Oh, um, I missed it. There was an NES in there. That's cool. Mm. It looked like it at least. So cute. Mom and dad, gotta love it. I like the mysterious at the end of yeah. Super Mario World 2. His parents were shown. Silhouettes. What's going on there? What secrets do they have, Kevin? Yes. I'm going oh, Chucky yes. this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you. So this is how you're supposed to play. Yeah. That's Chucky? Well, you can no, play no, with no. the babies. Oh, with the, yeah, the controller. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and each of the babies well, maybe have not. a bit of a different jump. Oh, oh. There you go. Well, just, you can use the, the mouse keyboard. Yeah, I'm going it's back right. to if you're, it. If you're getting it, yeah. You got it. It's all good. I am a pro here. And then if you hold the jump a little bit, just see what Chucky... Oh, he's, oh, he got a little Luigi jump. Maybe a little Yoshi-inspired situation here. Really? Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh! Oh, well... So in each level is a bit of a cameo, so you just saw a bit of a cameo of, uh, yeah, the, gr- the grown-up. Oh, man. Go for it, yeah. yeah. 
It's all good. Oh, Chucky. How do I switch to the other graphics? Is that a... Yeah, so you go to the menu, which is mm, yeah, just... not that one. We gotta find the start menu. Yeah, there you go. There we go. All right, so press enter. Oh, okay, so we're playing with HD visuals, but we were playing with 8-bit audio. Yes. I'm gonna switch that up now. For sure. 8-bit audio. Sorry. HD audio, 8-bit visuals. Let's go. go. Whoa. Isn't it cute? Um, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so different. This is, yeah, this is what the game looks like mm -hmm. when you're playing on the NES. Oh, that's fun. I love the and We're going to have hot too. keys for that, too. So you could switch it, and there's going to be cool transitions. Mm -hmm. This reminds me a lot of Mario 2 World 6. Yeah, and the limited colors are really... They're nice, difficult to work with, but they made that's it work. That's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's incredible. really Mario 2 inspired here. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's awesome. Can you switch back to him? Or? Yeah, you could switch between the characters, kind of like Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. Are you are oh. you looking at the visuals? I meant the visuals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, let's check out what, mm -hmm. what CRT oh, filter. CRT lines. There. That old oh, what? What, what hit me there? It's He's okay. It's on. Down. It's on baby mode. I think so. Mm. Uh, yeah, there's, there's another one. <laughs> oh, so okay. it's a, got it. It's like the Ninja Turtles Konami yeah, yeah, game yeah, exactly. where it's like each character has lives. Oh, exactly. interesting. That's your, that's your life. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yes. Oh, cool. They're they're a team there. You could also play two players. Hey, can, can we just appreciate for a second the oh god oh. the overlay shaking? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a really nice touch. All right, I'm gonna switch it back here. Now let's go HD wide. Cool. Wow. <laughs> very very that's different. That's so cool. Yeah. So it's the exact same physics because it's you what know you we're right we're drawing over yeah the uh, the sprites. Yeah, he's not the best jumper, but he can dig very fast, Phil. Oh, uh, yes. yeah. Yes, yes. Good he's for the digging in that nose, you know what I mean? And then the nose and sandbox, yeah. Yeah, chill for him. Chill right now. Just stand there for a second. Sorry. Playing. <laughs> Stop playing. Oh. It's breaking my brain a little bit with the, <laughs> the, yeah, the no, D-pad on the, the wrong there you hand. Go. He, he, he did his digging thing. situation. Oh, they, yeah. Oh, okay, wait. Awesome. I'll see you again. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> You called it for sure. <laughs> awesome. So he's like Toad. Toad. Should we give tips or like? Go ahead. Okay, okay. Tip it's okay. Me keep, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, so with this one, yeah, just keep jumping. Yeah. And then with the uh, bugs, if you butt pound on them, sometimes they drop. Oh, okay. Gracefully, you gotta. Yeah. Butt pound. No. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, sometimes they drop little like baby bottles, which can help with the life, regain a little life there. You guys remember baby bottle pop? Yes. Wait. That was, that was a moment in time. The rings or the the one that you like dip it. The dip one. No Baby way. bottle okay. pop. Baby Tim, bottle pop. You like it. Don't matter, pop no. It. Oh. Oh. Tim, I how? Kevin, how? It's, I, the, I know, it's I know. The keyboard situation. Yeah, the mouse yeah. and keyboard. I'm so sorry that I couldn't get the controller to work. That's our fault. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and it's also kind of a puzzle, jump puzzle thing. So it's like, oh, you can't go that way. What way? What are you going to do? You do? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, there's some fun jumping and spatial puzzles in the game, too, for sure. <laughs> keep it interesting. So when's this coming out? Uh, it will be out this spring. Awesome. So we don't have a specific date yet, but... Oh, we really got the soon. Peach character here. Mm, mm -hmm. With a little, a little floaty, floaty dress. Yes. I love the Angelica Sphinx. Oh, yeah. The backgrounds are pretty cool with the HD stuff. They all, like, snuck in, like, little, like... Details. Yeah, details. Yeah. There you go. The struggle. I didn't hear the sound before. The but like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was cute. Was there any oh, yeah. thoughts on getting voices? We were that. So that's the thing about like licensed stuff. Especially we're a small team. This is an indie game. Yeah. For sure. You know, and there's a lot of like red tape 
when when it comes to the voices because then you have to communicate with the, the voice actors, SAG, like all. Oh yeah. Yeah. Were you surprised that you that they said okay? Drink the bottle. Drink the bottle. Because <laughs> this is pretty wild. Like, I, it was we were we were talking about a few different games, Beavis and Butthead and Turtles and like a few different things, and and this was one of the ones that we really really wanted. It's blowing my mind. I'm so sorry, guys. This is like. Breaking me. Yeah, no. It's like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you can and, try. Um, do you want to try plugging in one of the other controllers? Don't hit the home button because that takes you back to the Steam menu. And then the cable, I think, is on the floor right by you. Yeah, hopefully. Because for a minute, it worked. I went left and right. Don't hit that home button. Okay. Nothing? Nah. Uh, it's all yeah. good. Do you want me to try on the keyboard or? No, oh, I okay. would not wish this on anybody. Okay. okay. <laughs> but no, nah, it's great though. I'm gonna go back to the. Let's try out some different things here. Let me. Oh, HG43 too. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. Exactly. So, so you that's really that's... just got the options here. Yeah, we went in there to make it look as uh, as good as possible. Mm -hmm. Various modes. Yeah, the, the cutscenes, I'm looking at the chat a little bit. Uh, the cutscenes are an 8 bit, but we do also have HD cutscenes as well. That's really cool. Which is fully animated. And it's fully like animated. Oh, yeah. awesome. The yeah. HD is fully animated, and the, the SD is just are just stills. Yeah, for the limitations of the NES cartridge. Yeah. Andy with his controller collection. <laughs> Try it, yeah. I thought, I thought that was a Stadia controller for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> no. Oh, no. It's rumbling. It's rumbling. Oh, no. Press again. Well, we'll note that. I'm running. <laughs> a Luna controller. <laughs> yeah, just like send it. That's a new one. Oh, that's a Luna. Okay, the Luna, the, the Amazon controller. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, nice. Fun. <laughs> so if you no, this the, is so awesome though. Like I love. Yeah. I love that it's so seamless to transition back and forth between the two, and I so clearly you see the inspiration from some classic games to this. So it's very yeah. cool. It, the controls are really good. <laughs> yeah. Like, but it's like the the mechanics are solid, like really tight. Yeah. Which for feel sure. like a you know a retro NES title, which, which was what we were going for. Totally. Uh. No. Oh, you. Yes. Oh. Yeah, be good. You got it. Oh, there it goes. Is there. I, I know this might be spoilers, but is there any allusions to Reptar on Ice? Oh. Reptar on Ice. There's, there's an ice level. There's an ice awesome. level. There's the kids on the ice. <laughs> What's a dinosaur to do when there's kids on the ice? Well, yeah, so to continue, just go up a little bit more. Yeah, just keep going up, keep going up. Yeah, yeah, and then to the left. Left. Oh my god. Wait, is that- You gotta get the- Okay, okay. You gotta get that. Fully restock, nice. If you want an easier character, Chucky kind of jumps a little bit better, but- So how do I switch then? Uh, oh, there you yeah, go. There you go, and then switch it. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe you ran out of babies. Oh, only had oh no, if it's I, his last if baby. If I had a nickel. last baby. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a baby. Babies. Oh, yeah. And then so try to go to the right for more. Or, oh, oh, hit it. Ooh. Hit it. Oh. Oh. I can't explain to you guys. That's okay. We will make it past It does level. have some of that NES difficulty. Oh, for so, sure. For yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. It is made for all ages, but it is. There are some times when I've played the boss, and it's uh, it's tough. <laughs> we got the jams, that's for sure. And this is the first time we're playing on stream too. Oh, really? So yeah, yeah. But well, we're gonna have to do this again at some. Got the needle. Too. One more. Oh, okay. And for everyone out there, the demo will be out soon. Very cool. Hopefully around PAX, so look out for it. We'll um, we'll make sure you guys get a proper copy. Yes play through it um with the controllers i want that for sure yeah for sure cool. wait so don't fall <laughs> great <laughs> okay, so that okay. Advice? i'll keep that in mind <laughs> just some advice yeah, i need to wrap my head around this all right so 
Nice. Nice. Yeah. Killed it with the handicap, you know? Stomped. Oh, God. Nice. You, you can, can pick, pick them up. Yeah. There you go. Or, no, yeah. no, it's good. It's good. You, you got it. <laughs> Make sure it's dead. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and butt bounce. Oh, no. Oh, or there we yeah, go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoop. You've made it. Yes. Oh, switch oh. to HD. It looks really cool here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I like his dopey boop little walk, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredibly, like, it's incredible how, like, how much it looks like this show. I know. That's wild. great. I love it. Yeah, shout out to Angry Metal. Who's Angry Metal? Angry Metal is an animation team that we work with on a lot of our stuff. Um, they're just really good at recreating that the visuals for, for um, cool. the games. This is so cool. Like the Mario Two vibes or Doki Doki Panic for those in the know. Uh, off the charts. Love it. But bounce it. Trying it. It's quicker. Yes. Now that is a. Full diver, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Look at that, you're getting the hang. I'm of getting the there, bar. man. Huh. Yeah, he's just making things happen right now. I love this background. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Tell tell us a little bit about like some of the folks working on the game. Yeah, so we partnered with Ro ah! Oh my god. Okay, sorry. okay, sorry, I won't say anymore. Well, so we partnered with Wall Ride, let me get the name right, with uh, Nathan and Ty, and they mainly came up with the, I guess the overall like idea, like, ooh, the BBC like, a Reptar ad, and they're like, yeah, let's go have our own adventure, and this is the adventure. Um, and they came up with like a lot of the art direction too, and like, um, Especially for the 8-bit. <laughs> yes. And, uh, the enemy... Ah! Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll what? I'll you're stop. No, no, you're, 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 I will stop. You're invested. You're good. You're good. No! You got it. You're good. You're good. You got this. Yeah. And then, uh, the puzzle... So the blocks, you can actually pick up. That's where the puzzle comes in. Uh... So you just gotta stand on it. Gotta, yeah. Oh no, how do you get up there? You can't jump through the blocks. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Okay. Nope. Thank there you, you go. Oh my god. Back. There's a hack button. Knew you, at least you killed that one. This one's gonna be tough with the keyboard. It is. Yeah, this is like hard mode. <laughs> It's like super hard. I'm so uh, sorry, is, Tim. This is Kevin's so favorite sorry. thing, though, is watching me start I having like so making sorry. sure the controllers aren't working. It's, it's so unfair. <laughs> like, okay. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Tim. No, it's okay. I don't know why the controller is It's okay. I'm taking working. it as a challenge. You're doing the thing, great. It controls very well. Yeah. I just, I am not able to control it well at this moment in time. Oh, that was your last okay. one, too. Oh, man, I'm all out of babies. Yeah. All out of babies. He did a great job. I, really I did a job. Yeah. I did a job. I just, it's like the the whole, like, patting your, your tummy yeah, and rubbing yeah. your head and thing. Yeah, you're trying to, yeah. It's just, you know, we're there. But no, this is great. So, sorry, continue. You're talking about the, the great people, great team, coming up with great ideas for yeah, these characters yeah. in this so, world. It was a pretty cool collaboration and everything, and, uh, yeah, I mean, anything else, Justin? I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, again, Thomas who's who's a part of the team he's a nes developer very cool so he helped work on the, the Dude, development what games did he, he work on back then he has alfonso and um and then also alfonso, bob, eskimo. eskimo bob alfonso then we worked on jane Bob yeah. mall brawl mm -hmm. together and then we worked on this and there's several other games that we have in development after that. So, very cool yeah very it, was cool. A, it was a really good team up situation yeah huh. so again this game's coming out spring it's going to yes. be on what systems again? Switch, PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. 5, Xbox, Steam, all the other, you know, uh, PC platforms. Um, and right now, it's available on Limited Run. Well, there you go. For, Everybody. Uh, Pre-order. Check out Limited Run. Make sure you wish list. Make sure you pre-order. Do all of the things. Chloe, thank you so much for, for joining us today. You have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thanks for coming on. It was good. You Thanks. did great. It was awesome. And Justin, thank you for hanging out all day. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Sure. This is our last segment. This, this is, is it. This has been amazing. Greg!
Oh. Greg Miller! Oh. If Greg hears me, you should come through. Hang yeah, out. Yeah, you should come up. It's yeah. how we communicate in the office. That is. That's what we do. There's a lot of screaming. <laughs> this is the most okay. screaming I think a segment's had today, so okay. I'm sorry that you no, had no, to deal no, with that. No, no, no. It's great. The energy is good. It's good. Do <laughs> you want to hang out with us while we do our, our outro here? Sure. What do you? Sure. Yeah. yeah let's we're just do gonna it. have fun. Greg, you just want to join us and say goodbye to everybody? Rolling in, you know? Uh-huh. How do you feel about the day? Up until I got screamed at, I came out of the bathroom. I was like, God, I peed. I'm sorry. <laughs> everybody. Not be no, Normally, it's Greg here no. screaming at everybody. We heard yeah, earlier. So. Bless you, just like flew in here. It's yeah. Like, What's going on? I feel great. This went fantastic. Thank you all so much for joining us and hanging out all day long. Uh, you know, an incredible amount of incredible games, yours included. Thank you so much for coming through for it. Uh, Justin, of course, thank you for teaming up with us. Of course, you know, the Pretty mix good. has been doing the mix stuff for years and years and years and years. I remember the. Ice cream cake days at IGN when you guys oh, ice cream cake days. Do you remember that? Yes. That's always yeah. When John Drake and Harmonics. That when was John oh, Drake wow. from yeah. Harmonics showed yeah. up with an ice cream that was, cake. That was, it was pretty, insanity. That was pretty dope. Yeah, so thirteen it's awesome years. To, yeah, it's awesome to do something years. like you know official with you and kind of funny in our community, in your community, and everything. Yeah, else. we love you guys. It's it's this has been an awesome start of the week. Yeah, I know, it's not, exactly. That's it. I was yeah. about to so say so much more. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two major events still to happen. Of course, the in person mix kind of funny game showcase tonight. You can all go too if you're in the sf area and of course the the moma which is fantastic tomorrow mm. yeah so many cool things and so many cool people that i want to say thank you to Greg. oh some of those people include our sponsors well then if you're new to sponsors oh. kevin do the thing because i got in trouble because i read off the page but then they're different on the screens so hold okay, okay. our bronze sponsor is the hey, idea at xbox quick. development accelerator program uh wilson sunsini astrolab games freedom games neon, neon doctrine uh rabbit age I missed the one up there. There was one in the middle I missed there. I'm too, it's eight. Bring seconds. it up again, Kevin. Hurry, Kevin. Hurry, Kevin. I got the last one. Who did I miss this time? Indie Angels. Indie Angels. Dang it, I was so close. Services. Last and time then it was Raven Asia. We got the rest of them here, right? Well, you know, there's more screens. There's more screens. That's just the bronze yeah, screens. You gotta wait till this one ends. All right, here we go. Tim, don't Silver. forget. Silver Monsters PlayStation, Planet of Lana, Noodle Cake Games, Maximum Entertainment, Hype Train, and Raw Fury. You think that's it, Tim? No, I don't. Not a chance, brother. <laughs> Kevin, do the next screen. Gold sponsor. Uh, UNCF. Fantastic. That's a good one. This, these are, you know, gold sponsors. They take long. They're the big ones. Yeah, they, yeah, get, yeah. they get the pomp and circumstance. Yeah. And then the final one, Justin? Zai. There it is. There it is. There that. it is. Like the that Zai logo. Fund. Yeah, it's a sick logo. You Very know. cool. Great logo. Well, great thank logo. you for your support and allowing shows like this to happen. Again, so much fun for us to do. Gives us a great opportunity to invite people to the studio, hang out, talk to people about making games, which is one of the coolest things in the world. Uh, and also just allows us to hang out with all of you guys and tell you to wish list cool games because wish there's a lot of cool games. That's the biggest thing. Kindoffunny.com slash mix. We can't tell you how much it helps if you saw anything. And even if you're waiting, you know, I want to come to Switch, PlayStation, whatever, go to that Steam account. Go ahead and wish list. Broadcasting partners. Of course. You, <laughs> you mean IGN, GameSpot, Steam, Twitch, and YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. yeah killed it. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I mean, to everybody who's not, but thank you, uh, Twitch. What a great yeah, partnership that was, that's been. That Mary Kish cool. in particular, yeah. who yep. made sure both this and thank you, course, Mary. Uh, the thank showcase so on Friday got on the front page, and that really killed it for views with us. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to, to the devs. Of course. Shout out to all the talented developers yeah. for, for coming through for this stuff. Thank you for everyone that was part of the showcase we did on Friday yep. as well. Um, just want to make sure I'm hitting all the thank yous. You nailed it. You great. crushed it. I You're amazing. Good. And then tonight, there is an on-site uh, showcase here in San Francisco where folks in town for GDC can come play dozens of unreleased games. Uh, nope, that's not right. Tonight is the Indie Games Gallery at SF MoMA. Starting at noon. No, you had no, it right. No, you had I got it right. right. I got it right. Don't tomorrow. get in your head about I'm it. You're feeling it over there. You I'm in my, Greg, I had to play backwards. On I know, I know. It, it Kevin kept thing. coming out. And he's like, what else can we do? I'm like, here's a Luna controller? He tried, yeah. The I Luna controller was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I love the Luna we controller. We tried everything. You want to know, when I go into the lab, I'll talk to you. Okay. Like, what I'm talking about. Yeah. When I go in the lab yes. and they try to make me play with an Xbox Elite controller, I go get the Luna controller. That's a real controller. All right? He that's a really controller does. for a human being. I, like that's he's he's an octopus the truth. would play with this with all these paddles. I don't need this many paddles. Well, everybody, this has been an absolutely <laughs> fantastic start to the GDC for many of us, uh, and I hope that you had a great time hanging out with us today, whether it was on Twitch or YouTube, whether it was all day or just for a segment or two. We really, really appreciate it. And yeah, we will be back every single day. I hear it kind of funny. Yep. You know, and the mix is popping off, doing stuff all the time too. Is this our last partnership? Absolutely not. We, we got to do more stuff. Hell yeah. this, was, this was dope. This has been great. Yeah. Till next time. It's been our pleasure to serve you. Deuces.